Uh, can I have a link to the Ugh. show? Please. Do I have to, or...? Yeah. God. She'll be found here, I think. There we go. Thank you. There we go. I watched The Gentleman, by the way, as that is a strange format for a movie. What? I, 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 did you like it, though? I did like it. It was just weird. It, I, I just didn't see it coming. Weird? Of... I uh, thought it was fucking awesome. The... Awesome film. It was cool. I, 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 I'm not sure I prefer it over Snatch, though. Snatch is still bay. Oh shit, we're live. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. You didn't even warn us or get no. our consent or anything. You just you just took advantage of us more. Who's yeah. more? I am Wombo. Spookler. Spookler, <laughs> yes. Please don't say the word spook without looking into its racist origins, critical oh. drinker. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. God, I'm spookler. always doing this. <laughs> Unbelievable. What about can we say spunk? Is that okay? Spunkler. Yes, he can. I think it's always mm. good. Yeah. Excellent. Spunk uh, Count Spunkler. Oh. Count Spunkular. Somehow it doesn't inspire the, the type of scares that you would kind of hope. You know, but that, that's where we how, are. How spooky should wait spunk? Yeah. How spooky should spunk be? Um, just completely all of it. Spunk <laughs> sounds like the past tense of spank. I have spunk the prostitute. <laughs> oh, I have well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I have spunk in the prostitute. Yes, one could, that is well, one. Yeah, one could interpret that many ways. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I see people are in chat. Excellent, we got it. Welcome to the Halloween Eve. <laughs> we decided to kill a. Just, <laughs> last year we covered a really scary movie called Van Helsing. This that was year, very scary. going equally scary with the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So terrifying that Sean Connery was scared from acting ever again. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, literally scary. killed Sean Connery's career. Which it feels like the first thing anyone would ever say about this film. It's more famous for that than anything else. It's just like, yep. Aww. It's not entirely fair, but it is what it's known for. Because, <laughs> um... We wa we watched it. We did a new fat movies for it. You guys probably won't see that for a year, uh, much like the Van Helsing <laughs> right. one. Loads of people in the Van Helsing one were like, "Wait, didn't they already do new fat movies for this? They just do it again." Yeah, a like, lot of people thought that. Never came out. We had a new fat on it. Yeah. We had a new fat with uh, um, what's it? The the weird guy, um, nostalgia critic. We did a video. <laughs> weird guy. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I was pan I was panicking for a second. Then I was like, shit. Please don't be me. Oh, fuck. I'm right here. Yeah. On the other side. I don't know how much of it will make it into the final, the final cut, but like, yeah, us watching League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was a blast. It's pretty much two hours <laughs> of us just going, "How the fuck does that work?" <laughs> <laughs> it is a weird film. I mean, that's that's the plan. We're basically just going to talk about that and then uh, <laughs> check out Nostalgia Critics review of it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do on Halloween. You check out the scariest creators, and like, yeah, he's uh, you know, he's up there. I, he's... I love the aspect of this movie, and I guess we'll get into it like as we go. But like, how it makes really old, clunky, inefficient technology that was probably a nightmare to work with seem really easy and slick and effective. <laughs> oh, do you mean like, like movie making stuff? Yeah, like, in, in the context of this movie, like, because it's obviously set at the turn of the century, so they don't have all the things that we take for granted today, but they use what they have in the context, like, how we would use iPads and cell phones and stuff nowadays. Like, they, they get given a gramophone record, and they just immediately have, like, this old tiny gramophone just right next to them ready to go so that they can play it. <laughs> it's, I'm, it's awesome. I'm surprised you don't just open with the Nautilus feed like so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they're they're in a fridge and they've got like a telegraph system that's set up to send messages from the bridge to the, the, the fridge <laughs> for some reason. It's a huge that's ship. There's one per room. Communication. It, was, it was very, it was the cutting edge of naval mm -hmm. technology. <laughs> they are asking us to buy a lot, though, in that movie. They're oh asking us my to god. Buy the Nautilus a did, a, did appear in a 10-foot paddling pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm still wondering how that one worked. And then watching, I'm still yeah, trying watch... to wonder how it went through the, uh, the canals of Venice. <laughs> yeah, watching that thing go through Venice was one of the highlights of my week. <laughs> and they didn't even What's really like... bother trying to do anything about it. Like, 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 oh, it's only in the very big part of one part of it. They were just like, nah, it's in Venice. 
Well, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, that. I didn't know the canals were like a hundred feet deep, you know, to allow this uh, this absolutely ginormous ship uh, to go through. But yeah, I t well, I've only seen this film twice, you know. The first time I saw it was back in two thousand and three, and then the second time I saw it was today. And uh, I do re recall seeing it back in the day and thinking, this is mm, stupid, stupid <laughs> film. <laughs> and then <laughs> watched it today and I was like, oh my God, by <laughs> in 2021 standards, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I found it fun. Uh, I'd seen it a whole bunch when I was younger and I just remember like specific parts, but there were some parts where I was just like, holy fuck. Like this, this, sh this film is actually insane. Just, um... The amount of work that went into making this thing, um, clearly. But then the, yeah. and, and the, the weird time of the, where they can't, they, they're still doing practical stuff, but they're also just using really horrible CGI. Yeah, um, yeah it, was like, it was that horrible era of uh, we're playing with CGI now, and uh, yeah. yeah, there was a lot of just like mess and shaky screen, and we're shaking it because we don't want you to see what's actually happening here because the CGI is not great. And... and it's a shame because there's a good combination there of really crappy CGI, but some really good practical effects. <laughs> yeah. But the, the two don't stuff. mix. Yeah, yeah like we were talking really about... costumes and props and... Yeah, it, it's got this... It, it's like the art department really went to town on this film, um, despite the shittiness of the script. And they, <laughs> they produced these big elaborate sets like these extravagant uniforms like all the characters are dressed amazing and like mm. even things like the guns are all ornate and like they're all like silver and embossed with all this engraving stuff on them that's totally pointless and unnecessary but it just fits it with the aesthetic yeah. of the nautilus and and the crew it just it all looks great it's it's just yeah, fun to see you've got um a when it comes to a lot of the unnecessary things that they did to the film's benefit, um, you were talking about the like the Nautilus crew, right? They have very nice uniforms. They yeah. all kind of match. They got the blue, and it's very opulent and ornate, and they have these refitted, decked-out Sten guns that are shiny and chrome. Mm. And there's a, there's a scene when they are in Venice, and they have a bunch of divers from the Nautilus who are going to go underneath Venice to try and disarm the bombs. And they don't they don't do anything in the story. Um, they, they have basically zero role in the film other than here's what they're supposed to do. Oh, they can't do it almost that quickly. But these divers walk out of the Nautilus and there's like four of them and they have their own jumpsuits that are white. They have these helmets that have these metal faces on the side of them with uh, with the tubes coming out to their breathe packs on the back. And that was totally unnecessary. All they had to say was, yeah, we're going to send some divers. But no, they went out and they just for a few seconds, they had these divers walking around in their own dedicated uniforms. That must have been a pain in the butt to make. And you know what? This this is this is a great example actually of subverting your expectations. Dare I say it? Like that whole <laughs> sequence, because your assumption would be that it's going to lead to some really tense scene where they find the bombs and they're trying to find a way to disarm them in time before they go off. Um, and you know, and it's all going to be your ticking clock scenario while there's fight scenes going on and stuff. In reality, they rock up. The divers, as you say, come out, and you think, right, these guys are going to get used. And then the bombs just immediately go yeah. off, and they're like, yeah. "Oh fuck, we're too yeah, late!" Then, and then we get this crazy car action scene with. Yeah. <laughs> Can I like, just say that when when they introduced the car for the very first time, I was just like, I'd forgotten what the car was like, and I was just like, "Holy shit, that that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life." The red that skull was wishes. The red skull wishes he had a car like yeah, that. Yeah, Captain yeah, America. Hell yeah. The best part it of it was, was magnificent like magnificent and ostentatious. It's brilliant. like arguably the first automobile in, in history. That's how he introduces it, like brand new technology. And then he also yes. um, Sawyer just <laughs> knows how to use it like perfectly. Easy, yeah. I thought he was going to say. And then he's uh, naming it. Is, I, this is the, I call it. I he should have said an automobile. That's it's, what he should have called it. What, what's great and, about and it like, as well? It's Tom the says, first. I don't know. If, I don't know. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. Maybe you should call it. You know, automobile. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. I call it an automobile. An automobile? No, an, an automobile. Well, you know, because he's American, so it's yeah, just something like that. 
But, but as you were saying there, like it's it's set in the year nineteen hundred, so it's and we keep I, getting the date. It, Sorry, eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, but it tells us every it. fucking scene what date it is. But, <laughs> keep so this is this all occurred in the year that it occurred. So this is literally before production cars were even like invented, um, yeah. and yet it's got performance in excess of like a Bugatti Veyron from today. Like this thing <laughs> yeah, is cold, uh, like two hundred miles an hour. Over the Nautilus, just so we're being clear. It's uh, uh, the part I was gonna re reference is just so funny is when they're about to leave and they're like, "You can track this thing, right?" And he's like, "Yep." It's like, "What?" Oh, oh yeah, radio <laughs> tracking. That's good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I love the the concept of this that because obviously it's like some kind of primitive version of the Avengers where you've got to assemble a team of superheroes and you know they're gonna have to fight some master v criminal or villain or whatever. Mm. So it's the same exact premise, but with the Avengers. They at least had one, they had movies for most of the characters before because Marvel were actually kind of smart at setting that stuff up. But most of them you kind of knew anyway. You know, if you're talking about someone like Thor or, or the Incredible Hulk, like most people know what they are anyway, they're, they're familiar with them. In this case, though, you've got guys like Alan Quatermain or, you know, um, Dorian Gray or, yeah. or Mina. Like, people yeah. you just never fucking heard of, and it's like, okay, they all have to get explained then. We have to understand where they came from, what their powers are, and everything. And oh, the movie I, has to... I was fully averse of who these people were, apart from Alan Quatermain. But I, I was probably the I, least known of I, them all. It seems yeah, to me that everyone... Very aware of Dorian Gray and the story of Dorian I, I, Gray. Everyone's got different amounts of information by the looks of things, because me and Rags knew Dorian Gray. Um, I think when we were watching it, but everyone else was like, who? And we were like, oh, it's the painting guy. Oh, okay. But they, was, they, yeah, they messed up his origin because it was just like, uh, when I get injured or die, it transfers to the painting, but it's not because it's when he does evil and, and all, like all of his decadence and sins and all that, that's what all translates to the painting as well. So every bit of decadence, every bit of, uh, you know, naughtiness that he does, evil that he does, everything transfers to the the painting, which they should have set up because of course he's the one that betrays the group uh so they should have set that up instead of just being yeah, if i, I get you killed it goes the you know it transfers to the painting and keeps me alive he probably should have been smarter about where he kept it as well instead of hanging it on his actual wall in his house like <laughs> maybe just put it in a safe and and bury it in concrete or something so no one can ever get yeah because it. apparently moriarty stole it it was like you ain't having it back until you do evil stuff for me yeah. But he, he, he should be good. Keep it. Because <laughs> I don't want to... I can't Keep look at it. it yeah, I'm that's a good point. Yeah. If I see it, then it's going to... What gonna... was the thing about his death scene? It was just like, if you just close your eyes, dude, you'll be right. <laughs> yeah, that was a little weird. Yeah. You know what's coming out. Shut your eyes. Someone said spoilers. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, we spoiled this 20 year old movie. I was going to say, we will be spoiling it, yeah. Because I feel like it's like, should we have introduced this better? It's like, Drinking pretty much did with the whole Avengers thing, but like the way this works yeah. is evil guy is doing evil. Th I think he's trying to start a worldwide war, is his goal, yeah. as his false persona, the Phantom. Meanwhile, yeah. he's um, desperately trying to get access to the powers of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen that he builds himself to get access to the abilities to then sell. Uh, well, I, I, I would like to apologize for, for spoiling <laughs> Oscar Wilde's 1890 Dorian Gray story <laughs> for, for anyone well, else. Well, again, I was going to say, depending on who you talk to, I don't know who is the least known character in this movie. Because, uh, I mean, we all know Sherlock, right? So Moriarty, there's a good chance everyone's heard of him as a villain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, you're gonna know who the Invisible Man is. It's all kind of yeah. self-explanatory. You're Harker, gonna know. Yeah, Nina, you're, you're gonna know who Captain Nemo is. Clearly. Yeah. Nina Harker is like the idea is that she's because if you've seen Bram Stoker's Dracula, Nina Harker's in that, right? But she's not a. Is she a vampire? I can't remember anymore. I haven't seen any. She's. Yeah. She's the I, wife. Uh, I she, think we were meant to get. I mean, I think the person she was we were meant to get was like Van Helsing, but for sake of you know, flavor. We we got her instead, but I think that... Oh, Van Helsing would have been awesome in this. Uh, I feel like so he I was think, so much think, better. Dude, especially Hugh Jackman's Van Helsing. Fuck it, throw yeah. it in. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. God damn, what could have been? <laughs> um, Captain Nemo, I doubt many people have ever fucking heard of. I've heard of Captain Nemo. 
Yeah, but I said I many old, people. I am old, so yeah, I gotta take that into consideration. What's cool about it, though, is just that Captain Nemo was definitely someone I wouldn't have heard of. I was just like, this guy's cool. He's got a lot of style. Well, it well all I knew about Captain know. Nemo was I, he, he was in a submarine. That's all I really knew about him, though. Captain Nemo in a submarine. The yeah, submarine's pretty OP. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> we, we talked about, you know, obviously there's quite a few characters in this, and you have to spend a bit of time introducing them all, because, like we were saying, some of them are not going to be too familiar. And it's a shame because guys like Captain Nemo don't get much in the way of character development. And they seem like they would be interesting people. Like the, the yeah. movie kind of implies that he's a pirate and he's he's raided, uh, you know, merchant ships and things like that. Like he's not necessarily he's a good person. Past. Yeah. But yeah, but then you mm -hmm. never really delve into it. And, you know, it's it's unfortunate because I wanted to know more about guys like that. Yeah, the most interesting element of Nemo is more so just the fact that Quatermain and Hyde both go from being like, mm, with him to, yeah, I like you. <laughs> like, that's, that's yeah. like pretty much the... Because Nemo himself is pretty static throughout the whole film. Um, he's pretty solid. He's just like the facilitator for the most part. He's just, you know, you need a, you need yeah. a ship. Okay, here's the Nautilus. You need a car. Okay. Well, yeah, one. their team is yeah. nothing without him. <laughs> he, no. Like, provides I mean, everything. Yeah, he's, he, as well. he, he's, he's the Tony enabler. Stark of the team, basically. Yeah. He's the plot enabler. Um, I liked Hyde as well, Jekyll and Hyde. Yes. You know, again, he's the, probably they, the best. Developed I, he's probably of the best one, the yeah. Characters, yeah. He's got um, he, you know, I guess his thing is like he's like the Incredible Hulk. You know, he turns into this monster, and like by the end of the movie, he's got to try and um, form a truce with it, I suppose, so that they can work together. Yeah, that's yeah, like it's, an arc. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty it's much not yeah, a the... detailed or complicated arc, but it's an arc that works. Yeah, it's, they um... they were both fearful that the other would dominate. So they were reluctant to give up their forms, and then but as it turns out, they were stronger. Out, they, together. Yeah, they were stronger together. <laughs> I would say as well that there was there was an angle of like, oh fuck it, be rage monster, or what, what what could I possibly use this for in terms of good? And then it gets a few opportunities. It's like this is working out actually, you know, because Hyde still just loves beating the fuck out of people. It's very similar to Hulk Smash. But I yeah. like the way that they describe the potion. He describes the potion. Because he's like, how are we going to beat this guy? And he's just like, oh, he's burning through the potion. Because he's, he's expending so much energy. So you, you realize that <clears throat> expenditure of energy in the, in the hide form burns up the potion. So it, uh, inevitably, he will revert back to... Uh, sorry. Yeah, it, inevitably, he will revert back to Dr. Jekyll. And the, the hide prosthetics, the man. It's just like, pretty good. Like, that's, the, that's the unfortunate thing, because he looks good for the most part, but then the guy he has to fight, the big red steroid yeah. guy, it does some of the worst CGI I've seen yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Again, it, it, honestly, I think I said when we were looking at it, it was like it's the it's like the the, the eras are fighting each other. Like, <laughs> like uh, CGI. I am the new. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's that like I said, it's that awkward period in history where they were just switching over from uh practical to uh CGI and this was trying to balance some of it and oh god, you know. Because we, yeah. we, we commented as well, like the, the transition from Hyde to Jekyll, uh, where he's kind of like morphing between the mm. two and like it's you get like kind of camera flashes almost and then you see him like this horrible kind of combination of these two things all deformed. That's really cool stuff. Again, I think that's practical makeup and stuff that they used and it looks great. You just you only see it for a, a moment or two, but it's enough to give you a, a real impression of what's going on there. And I, I like that. Yeah, and some horror, some like the the horror the guy has to go through uh, in the transformation phase. Because there's one bit where he's transforming when he's all chained up, and I think he's like halfway through the the transformation, mm -hmm. and his face is just like completely distorted and contorted. It was just like, oh, that's really good. Yeah, that looks really really good. Panning, they pan through all the characters, just being like, Jesus. Yeah, mm -hmm. fuck. Yeah. I like Rough. the way he said. Don't come near if you if you value your life. Meanwhile, all the fucking soldiers on the ship are just getting smacked around everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just keep walking right up to. Yeah, them. don't worry about these guys though; they're expendable. Yeah, um, it's funny as well because Van Helsing's uh, Hyde, he's the opening action scene. He just gets killed. This is like in this movie, Hyde is like the heart of the movie almost. <laughs> it's like yeah, different focuses, different adaptations. Yeah, I I, I think. Hmm. Again, when we were talking about the antagonist there, obviously Moriarty is kind of your main man, but there's quite a few secondary ones that I, I think they could have 
they could have introduced more because I guess the problem they had near the climax is all these various characters have to fight someone, but there's not mm. always a, a developed character for them to fight. Like Mina's obviously got um, Dorian, which is yeah. fine, um, but then you've got like guys like Jekyll and who's got to fight an equivalent Bigger monster. Jekyll. But then, yeah, so the, there's just this crazy soldier guy who just fucking drinks an entire bottle of the potion. <laughs> it's like ah, he'll do. That guy, like, where did he come from? that guy is like a standout in terms of zero like development and yet so engaging because he's just laughing and cackling through all of his little scenes. It's just like I loves I just love being a bad guy. That's just yeah, my thing. Just fully embraced it. I think it's kind of a shame that they did sort of revert to the fight you but evil kind of thing at the end. Um, I think that they should have mixed it up. They should have had. I feel I think it's okay for Mina and Dorian to fight because of their history, but it would have been neat if you had Dorian, who's essentially this immortal guy, and that could have been a fun fight for like Alan and Tom to have to fight him because they're just mortal dudes and they have to keep him at bay while maybe someone's fetching the portrait, and so that's a, yeah, a timer like, that they're on. Just or peppering him the, with bullets, but it, all it does is delay him, you know? Yeah, they have to slow him down. Uh, you could have uh, Skinner could be fighting, you know, the big the big Hulk man. Uh, you have you know, one's totally invisible and the other one's just brute strength. You could have Jekyll fighting, I don't know, arm big armor dudes. Something yeah. instead of just, you know, let's really mix it up. How, how would you play them against each other if they had to fight? Because it was but, so... I, 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 I did like the Battle of the Immortals. I thought that was that was all right. There were some good quips from Dorian where he's just you know because they're running each through each other through with swords and obviously it does nothing and he just sort of shrugs and he's like, "Oh, we're going to be at this all day." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> little bit of self awareness, which is nice. Yeah. Like, honestly, I think when we were watching it, like someone said that like seconds before he did. It was like, "Oh, there you go." Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, they put Nemo against giant. Uh, Mr. Hyde, which was an interesting choice because yeah, he helped. Yeah, I guess he ha uh, well he didn't, but uh, he was there. Well, he helped. There was to save uh, Jackal. He just he uh, just goes into like mad swordsman mode for a few seconds. Yeah, he like, yeah. like then he gets insanely fast. He gets booped yeah, think, and it just doesn't do much. <laughs> I think Captain Nemo's most impressive invention, though, is his incredible plot armor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> though, yeah. I think that, that counts for a lot of characters in this. Uh, there's a lot of plot armor in a lot of these scenes where there's all a the lot baddies of have these machine guns and they're just shooting and shooting and shooting and the good guys never get touched. Not a single time. Nope. Yeah. Well, the first, Honestly, the if first I was... scene with uh, Sean Connery where they come into the, the bar in Africa and then suddenly they all pop out with machine guns and he's just stood in the open and they yeah. managed to miss with every single shot while he dives for cover. While, while would... Sean's stuntman dives for cover. Yeah. Very yeah, clearly yeah. not him. That was and you know what? Him. The shame for that to me is that uh, they could easily have made it so that he's just like, because he, he clues on that they've got armor and he deals with that by aiming in the gaps and stuff. And it's like, oh, that's good. Because, yeah, his accuracy and his intelligence as a combat face. veteran sort of thing. that, oddly enough. Instead, he just walks out into the middle of the room, sees they all pull out <laughs> machine guns and goes, oh, <laughs> it's Whoa, like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> like... There's a weird thing as well where he keeps grabbing chairs and like pushing people against walls <laughs> yeah. with them. Well, it's, like, it's this one. I think it's think this of? one guy specifically. It's one guy that he ends up hitting with multiple pieces of furniture. <laughs> <Finish> <laughs> of <laughs> but the, the guy uh, must be just getting pissed off. Like, why'd you keep coming at me with chairs? Stop it! If I could redo this movie, reformat, if I had total creative control, if they said, "All right, Rags, uh, you you get to remake the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen." in this time machine that you've used or whatever. I'm, I'm cutting the Venice scene almost entirely, or we're doing something else. Oh, for um, sure, yeah. I think the Venice scene is basically a, a total waste. To be fair, I, would, I think... I would add something. I would actually add something. I would add Sean Connery actually caring about all his friends dying at the beginning. Because uh, he just doesn't seem to give a oh, shit. Oh, you're right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. point. He does, they do just sort of die, and he's just like, oh, well. Okay, let's go to um, London. Which is... Actually, more of a problem than I, because you've made, you, that's true, because like, he's very much characterized in this film as someone who's lost so many people that he doesn't even want to go on adventures anymore. Like, yeah. that's the idea. So yeah, he's this should have hit way two. harder to lose everybody in this building. Yeah, a son, two wives, yeah. uh, and then all his friends who, are hel who help him get harassed. 
you know, who, who prevent him from getting harassed by people who want to yeah, know the, who he is, just get mowed down. He's just like, don't care. Yeah, it doesn't even acknowledge Because like, that guy gets shot and he's just like, wrong quarter made. This is like... You don't, yeah. Is that more of a just haha, or is that you're actually upset? I don't know. Your I guess. buddy just died yeah. for you. I, I think he you've died. Got the problem. It was a, it was a cute relationship make... because, like, that guy clearly likes recanting his adventures, but he doesn't anymore. So that's like yeah. their setup and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you're right. The whole building blows up, and he's just like, hmm. <laughs> like, There's probably a lot of people <laughs> in that big hotel. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's the um. Uh, the... I don't know. What, I don't know what you call him. The uh. The, I don't know, the porter or whatever at the beginning who shows and he's like, you know, look out this and look out that during the fight and then he just stays in the hotel. Yeah, and he explodes. Well, well yeah, <laughs> he just gets mowed down and he's like, take me to London I'm coming over. And he's just like, oh, don't you want to say oh my god, my friends, they're all dead. No, okay. All my friends are, all my friends are dead. All my friends are Dead, so let him go. I'm gonna try and find let it, but um, I skimmed past it while we were talking. The possibly worst, like, compositing of a thing ever and mostly unnecessary. I don't know if you guys remember it, but I'll try and uh, describe it as I'm explosion? finding it. I, I wasn't even gonna talk about the explosion, because there's a couple of things in this movie that kind of suck for that, but... It's when he's got the gun on Moriarty, and <clears throat> someone turns up behind him and Sawyer, but they're on a green screen for some reason. Oh, yeah, that's, that's near yeah, the end. Yeah. The other Invisible that's Man. That's near the end. It's yeah. not Invisible Let Man. I... It's, uh, I'll show it now. No, other Invisible Man. No, it's not other... So, if you guys just pull up the stream, I'll show you. It's, it's so fucking bizarre. They've got Moriarty dead to rights. That. And then you see this spooky little soldier who, doing a peek. You see him by there? He's like, ah... Oh, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, Peaky look at dead. this, where it's like... What the fuck's happening now? Why is he on a green screen? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, fuck. look yeah, at the that. hideous. There's a lot of that in this film. Look at that. Oh, look at the lighting. So much, so much lighter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks They're so ugly. <laughs> I don't know I how it that. happened. Yeah, I go. Okay. <laughs> no, and and now, surprised. yeah, look at. <laughs> and now it looks like Tom's on that green screen, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, What's well, crazy about it is just like, that, why did you need to that? do that? <laughs> what exactly. the fuck after they all I can shot. imagine, yeah, that's yeah. all I can imagine is they shot the movie and were like, oh shit, that didn't come through right. Or I just put them on a green screen, fuck it. And it's like, hey, do you want me to like adjust the lighting to match the scene? Nah, nobody would notice. Nah, <laughs> it's, well, it's the it's the beauty of magic. It's the magic of visual effects. This in two thousand three, you know, <laughs> it, it it can only go up for me. <laughs> Well, it's possible that. that because they don't shoot movies in order chronologically in the film, this might have been something they shot early, mid, wherever. And then, I don't know, maybe someone realized, wait, Man. how do we get the showdown with Moriarty later? Because, like, how do we go from this to... How does Moriarty get away? Yeah. You know? And then they're like, I don't oh, know. Shit. Like, uh, I don't I, know. I couldn't explain it. That is, like... that. That is, you're right, that is like the worst compositing ever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really ugly. There is a reason for it, I just wish I knew what that Yeah, well, it would was. be great to know why why it ended up that way, but all you of us were like, ugh, <laughs> when we saw it. Invest like... resources into figuring this out, a documentary on why did you make this decision, <laughs> this specific Why did you decision. do this to us? Someone said the filming was severely interrupted by massive flooding. But this would be okay. all in one scene, right? Like, yeah, this I'm shouldn't be... Yeah, I mean, you could maybe speculate on all the different possibilities for sure, but I guess we're talking about, like, it would be great to know the specific reason for definite, you know? I doubt this room was... Maybe it is just, um, it's funny. You know how you were, t you were saying earlier, it's like, this was the awkward part where, like, visual effects wasn't quite there yet and practical? Maybe this is, like, the same for reshoots, because now... There are, like, reshoots where they can actually just do digital stuff to fix it all up. But here they were like, yeah, let's try that. And then it didn't work, and they should have actually just gone back to the set or something to do it. It really feels like they would have wanted to do that, but Sean Connery was just like, no, I'm not fucking <laughs> no, going I'm near not. that movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm already retired, all right? Which, <laughs> that's, that's a fair topic to bring up. Um, I, I was keeping my eye out for it, and I just didn't spot it. He seems to be engaged with this film. He doesn't come across as an actor who hates his life when he's, he's doing this film. I agree. Yeah. Comes across yeah. into it, I would say. 
this isn't this isn't like great amazing performance level for sean connery but this is totally like you you're never taken out of the film he seems to be doing it you know yeah yes. uh into it up at least um i mean are we gonna go through this sort of chrono are we gonna start doing a little brief synopsis of a lot of the stuff are we just gonna um, jump to a response or i was totally fine with just jumping around if people wanted to but at the same time uh i guess we could it's um these these we, strange people from all over the world are pulled together to defeat the phantom this, after uh, well, there, there should have well, been the a, whole a, opening of the film is a like a tank sequence in it London. is <laughs> yeah Mm -hmm. I just, I God bless that policeman who stands right in front of it with his oh, hand raised, and like, no, halt! He <laughs> just runs the him law. the fuck over. <laughs> Have you got a license? No. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, he just goes right down. Poor guy. And then they kill them all. And anyway, so apart from one, it's just leave one alive to tell the story. It's like, ooh. Do the rest not start chasing it and hitting it with their truncheons? <laughs> they hit it with their 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 mm -hmm. what are the, the, the bobby sticks? Things, what are yeah. they called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're smacking it with the club, <laughs> just like boop boop boop, <laughs> get oh, it all of He <laughs> went over the inspector. Right, remember, they they would have never seen anything like this before. I don't think the first time appeared to like what 28, 1918. Yeah, or something was, like that. Yeah, oh, they were invented for the War first World War. World War, War yeah. It's yeah, video yeah, game logic. If, end. if that thing well, has a million hit points and the truncheon takes off one, it's just like, well, it's did it. <laughs> yeah, I think even if I wasn't familiar <laughs> with tanks eventually. as a weapon of war, I would look at this enormous like metal thing that was moving at high speed and just think, nah, my 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 truncheon ain't gonna do much against that. <laughs> no, I think it. I think Mauler would make it save rolls as well against those hits. You know, <laughs> yeah, you probably have a two a two plus save. Yeah, yeah but against the, those truncheons. There is a they weird. I don't. I I would totally change this plot line. This idea of the bad guy uses a tank. He's invented a tank because he's super. He's the big smarts and he has all of the brain. He's like Nemo but evil, and so or Nemo but eviler. I don't know. It's complicated. Yeah, yeah. And he 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 Nemo. uses this tank. To just roll right in downtown London, brazen as can be, crashing into a building to get some schematics for Venetian, uh, I guess, underwater column placement thing schematics. Bombs, so that he just can. Blueprints for put, Venice, basically. Blueprints for Venice, which are, of course, in downtown London at a bank. Um, and then he uses those to plant a bunch of bombs there later so that he could sink venice or something and i can't remember I why would, he wants I to would, sink venice was there something about that i think it's just he's because he's a real he's evil yeah. was, wait, was there some kind of not like a peace conference or anything was there not some kind of big gathering of people maybe yeah uh, place to venice was quite party, dignitaries and, was... and diplomats and stuff that he wanted to assassinate because the whole know. point I feel like is this is a really roundabout way of doing that when you when you have the bombs you know and like do you need mm, these images to just you know what I mean? Because they, they don't seem that detailed, and you could just plant bombs. Lots. Because remember how many bombs yeah, he has? He's really like a million bombs. bombs. Yeah. And you have yeah, tanks. And stuff. Venice, Venice seems pretty fragile in this movie, so like just blow up random buildings, and that would probably do the same job, I guess. Just don't go to Venice because this film makes Venice look like London anyway, and it's super lame. Because well, as well, it's not part of his plan that you know he stages this attack in London to get the plans for Venice, but he also frames like some other country, like Germany, I think, for being the ones responsible for yeah. it to push all these you know nations closer to war. But you're staging the attack with technology that the Germans don't even remotely have, <laughs> and everyone involved would have to know that. Like, um, I mean, yeah, somebody they, has this technology, so I guess. I'm curious and how they managed to frame Germany for it. Is it just... Yeah, and he's got all of his goons over all of the buildings, and they have all of the machine guns, and it's just, it's nonsense. The I, There's no, there's no, like, subterf... There's no clever subterfuge, really, when it comes to his plan. He just walks um, in and blows stuff up. It, it yeah. just, yeah, it, his plan relies on every person involved, like, taking everything that they see at face value and just immediately believing the, the lies that he concocts. You know, and the the framing of of other people being responsible for things, and not really investigating it to any degree, 
uh, and that that's the only way this could really happen. Yeah, and like there that are... sequence closes out with like on the brink of war. It's just like, oh, oh okay. Well, okay. we know what one of the biggest uh, things that kicked off World War One was was some guy getting shot. And so you have the idea that maybe that's something they play into where the stakes aren't. I'm going to start a like I th this. He's well, got it this. Would be, mass it would be interesting because um, the theme of the film is kind of like the clashing of the old world and the well, you know, like the 19th century into the 20th century, this new world order. But like it doesn't really explore that aspect at all of like, yeah, these countries for like. You know, why are they allied with each other? For what reason? Like, what do they have in common? How can we manipulate these archaic political it, it's, systems it's, to our, you know, to our uh, advantage? And it's ironic because the good guys have, like you say, you're exactly right about the, the clash of the old and the new and, like, modern industrialized technology versus, like, yeah. old-fashioned gentlemanly conduct and stuff. Yeah. But then the good guys have got the, the by far the most advanced technology <laughs> yeah. the world has ever seen at their disposal. It, and yeah, it's and like, there's no ah, you're, you're nice. against it your own really ideas. Nice. And there's no real it character really conflict that like it's not like Quartermain versus Moriarty represents the old versus the new because Quartermain's using new shit throughout the whole thing. That's yeah. It's like um, if there was a theme that they were going for, they really didn't care to commit to it at all. Um, <laughs> we, we, I guess we would like, just try to look for it. We were like, "Is that there?" Well, a lot of this, <laughs> I think they I rely think on aesthetics a bunch theme. that aren't they like do. meaningful yeah. differences. Um, they just look you cool. have at the beginning, you have this gray and black painted Mark One style British World War One tank. Um, all the baddies, their guns are just like riveted, bolted iron blocks with AK-47 mags clunked down to the bottom of them. It, it, when, and the, and, and at the end, in his mega evil fortress, which is also Moria, you have the guys <laughs> with their the, the big armor suits and you see the rivets and the welding lines and they're just clunking around. And it looks very evil and super duper industrial. But Nemo's guys are all nice and they're very they're they're well stylized and opulent and shiny, both inside and out. There's statues yeah, clean. of Ganesh and everything is just lovely mm. and that's kind of as far as that goes. In Do you guys remember the Army of Iron Man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was oh, no, it was yeah, it was yeah. it was it was like um Ned Kelly knockoff. I feel like these are closer knockoff. to Iron Man than Ned Kelly. <laughs> There's yeah, because um, oh, like especially yeah, later oh, on, they are definitely <laughs> They're like they're like mechanized later yeah, on. Yeah, and they have like uh, weapons I'm, and stuff. <laughs> they, they're very much like the Mark One yeah. Iron that, Man that's suit. True. I did notice though that's CGI. Oh, it's, it's this like, whole um, sequence where they like look at the crazy evil factory. It's, it's all CGI, it's, dude. It, yeah. it's Odd World. It's just Odd World Ibs Odyssey. <laughs> like, that's yeah. what it looks like. <laughs> Except Odd like, World had like a style, you know, like kind of a unique. Yeah, it's just and, too and soon, he, too early. You start to ask questions like Resident Evil. We're like, who's paying for all of this, and how is this? Yeah, even? Moriarty I, I just, is just fucking loaded. It's hard for, fucking how loaded, have yeah. you done this? Who are all these people that you've employed? Well, like, do <laughs> they just hate the world? That's well, a question. That, so if, I, he's I mean, that, if he's that rich, why does he need more money? As like, does he want to foster war for the fun of? It's like he's clearly trying to make money, right? Yeah, because he yeah, says he just, more he wants war to profiteer makes, off of yeah, war. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like he's going to trigger the war, and then he's going to supply all these weapons to the various sides and make a shit zillion dollars. But then he already had a shit zillion like, dollars. Why? Yeah, like, <laughs> he has like, no. Like, how is that going to materially aspect, improve though, your situation? Himself. Yeah, Moriarty's like, kind of oh, just. Yes, this a... is about humanity. I hate this about humanity. Or I'm going to show the world what humans are really like. Nothing ever really changes. It's just all the. It's like yeah, now we have guns and tanks, but it doesn't change anything about who we are. And Alan's like, no, people are great and brilliant and Josh, ha, 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 ha. and then, then, and then they go on and do their. See, that's yeah, and like, they, thing, just us talking you know? about this here, you can see how rich this is with possible ideas that you could explore in this movie. movie. is filled Absolutely. with possible ideas. This is ideas the movie yeah. that just don't well, It really... is ideas the movie that mm -hmm. they don't commit to, because they, they have a lot of things that they throw into this film that it's like, oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, that could be kind of interesting, but it feels like there's no meaningful effort to explore it or commit to anything. So, like, it's, it's very shallow, I feel. Um, I mean, it's, it's extravagant, but shallow, sure, yeah. Like, there's just so much stuff. Yeah. 
there's so much stuff, but very little of it is of substance. Part of the fact that like they have, we have so many characters that have such rich histories that we don't even know if our audience knows, and so they desperately try and like throw a lot of it in, but also are like we need to develop the relationships with everyone else, also the villains, like this. Yeah. And the Avengers locations, the technology, Avengers. the point of the film. <laughs> There's just so many things yeah. going on at once. It could be a, a warning about relying on technology, maybe. Um, the, the, the late end of the 19th century was maybe the aspect of, like, oh, you know, the Industrial Revolution and that age has really brought us all of these wonders and gadgets and gizmos and electricity and gas and all this sort of stuff. But... You know, feel, a warning of what it could bring and things like that. I and I feel like the easy anything. things that's happened to would be the idea of it, maybe the technology. I feel like should almost not be the most important part. The most important part should be just like the changing of the the way that we approach life and just these sort of situations, <clears throat> like less rigid, less bound by like you know old standards of um conduct and things like that and so then you know in that sense you could have maybe a villain who's incredibly ruthless and just does anything like well, by any means necessary he doesn't care about rules or being a gentleman it's like well, no there the, is still the, a place for gentlemen in this world you know the the other interesting thing about world war one is the war that did away with with aristocracies all across europe yeah exactly exactly uh, and so that, that like Again, you could explore interesting ideas there about, you know, him wanting, you know, almost seeing himself as a champion of the people. Like, I'm going to sweep away all these corrupt old monarchies that have been dominating Europe yep. and the world for, for that centuries. That would be ironic if he was, if he was aristocracy <clears throat> and he thought that wars like this would allow for the aristocracy to hold power by oh, issuing their political yeah. stuff out, but... Then it, you know, it's it's not in the movie. We just want one of those. Well, we know in World War One, that's not quite how it worked out. But he thought it would be the other way. Um, that could be or interesting. Maybe, yeah, um, and like, they could have done something that cool. It was inevitable. Maybe. Maybe. Um, uh, I would say I probably would. I mean, uh, in terms of the the aristocracy's Change power, the yeah, yeah. Um, they could have done something cool where Moriarty, he's super well connected. He has all of these influences and everything. So his baddies would try and they'd infiltrate the, like the the he would in the the what the Kaisers and the Czars and the stuff like that and he would have like they would be giving him bad advice or trying to set up some kind of conflict in a more clever way. He's got kind this of some Rasputin-esque person. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, he'd make a cool villain, Rasputin. Yeah. Well, and yeah. speaking of um, villains, by the way, I just I do want to make sure we highlight. That is Dracula from Van Helsing, who is our villain. It's just funny that he popped up here, there, <laughs> yeah. and in Mission Impossible 2. He, he was a busy chap career. Yeah. in that like early yeah, was... 2000s period, and then he just kind of faded out. Nobody has any idea where he is now. <laughs> He's gone completely. Um, Someone asked, uh, has Rags mentioned guns or World War II yet? He does at least once per stream. Well, there are a few interesting things that I did notice about this. Um, I mentioned that the, the, the tank at the beginning is clearly like a, a british mark uh, one tank it doesn't even have the gun turrets on the sides of it yet it's just, yeah, it just the yeah. um the the for prop wise the bad guys they just got ak-47 mags and stuck them on the bottom coming out of the big block yeah. that is their machine guns you could just tell by the ribbing on the mags nemo's guys they have sten guns that are just chromed up and really highly stylized but they're they're sten guns they uh, weren't so invented to World of... War II, were they? They were for, like, paratroopers and stuff. Yeah, the Sten gun didn't come around until World War II. That's right. Um, and the, the little prop things you notice, like, oh, did they... Which makes you wonder, you know, did they purposefully go out and make guns that look like that? Or did they have a bunch of either old Sten guns or just old props, and they just used those as a base that they added a bunch of parts to to make them all shiny and nice looking? Don't know. I don't know. That's another gentlemanly thing you brought up as well. Uh, freaking, I was just thinking about how like there's pieces there because you know, like at the end, he Bordermain shoots to save the kid, and then he gets stabbed in the back by his opponent. Yeah, so, like, eh. mm -hmm. that could have been the payoff in a if you had that idea going through. I feel like that's the 
the right idea that they should have had for this story is the idea, yeah, the world has changed, but that doesn't mean that we have to stop, we have to sacrifice our values in the face of this new technology, we can still be gentlemen. Yeah, don't lose what what great things you know, this, this, the this, past gave yeah, us. Yeah, this could have been a through line for Quartermain during this movie, where he's in a way, like bound up to that old-fashioned idea of, of chivalry and gentlemanly conduct, and because of that, he keeps almost losing. You know, he it allows Moriarty to outsmart him in various situations, um, and it's only at the end that the the value of of that, you know, that spirit of self-sacrifice and and um, you know, honor comes through and saves the day, right? Proving like that it's still are- relevant. You could it's have worked off of that idea. It will, you have Alan Quartermain, who's you know older, and he's the more uh, gentlemanly type. And instead of Tom Sawyer, he could have been the other extreme, right? And then they end up meeting in the middle by the end, where they're like, ah, oh, there's a time and place for it, but there's also like sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. And uh, yeah, I, I, I thought the Tom other. Sawyer character was meant to be the surrogate son, and it, there was meant to be a son. You know, him trying to reconcile the death of his son relationship with him, and it just went nowhere. They didn't do that. They they just, yeah, they... they... It just sort of, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, they're trying to juggle a whole lot in I, this movie. There's something and in terms of, off. had Quatermain chosen to delete villain, he would have lost another person, and so he chose to save him this time, and it cost him his life. You can argue that's there. Um, as a result of the history he's had and stuff, because he says, "Let this new era be yours, son," or something like that, right? But it, but it didn't feel as if it was a payoff because it didn't feel as if they really worked at the relationship. They didn't get enough uh, no. substance for sure, yeah. Because the main scene they yeah. have is when they, he's teaching him how to use the gun. If if we had more, yeah. And then he and he pisses, pisses him off. off. Yeah, he says something yeah, really fucking really... stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. is this how you taught your son to shoot? And it's like, oh, just told you, you his son's yeah, dead. <laughs> Just fuck um, you. <laughs> there's never any. There's never any. Um, as far as I know, reconciliation with that moment. They just sort of carry on with the movie. Um, yeah. Oh, while it's on my yeah. mind, was that a real tiger? Was it supposed to be a real tiger, or was it like a hallucination? No, it was a real tiger. They saw the tiger walk. Uh, ne- Nemo saw the tiger walk away. Oh, do you mean production wise, or do you mean in universe? Oh, I mean, well, I mean, like in the in the sense of the movie was it supposed to be some sort of weird mystical thing or i think, I think it's a real tiger but, tiger but i think it's also up. symbolic as well i, I so don't I, think we could possibly bit, miss that the film says it <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get the symbolism thing i didn't know if in the context of the film it was a, a literal tiger flesh and blood walks up and is like hey what's up i'm gonna go now or yeah. if it was like symbolically this mystical kind of no, it, it was subtle, it was subtle American uh, symbolism, as it, i.e., right in your face. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what Literally I was telling you. What's meant to happen? Yeah. It does. <laughs> you know yeah. that tiger that just came up? Well, that <laughs> symbol, like, yeah. well remember yeah. when you talked about tigers? An <laughs> old tiger sensing his head. That's kind of like that tiger. You're the tiger. Thank you. <laughs> Real subtle <laughs> stuff there. Real subtle. The strange movie. Uh, the, the, it's a very <laughs> strange movie. I'm, well, I'm, it's funny, I'm wondering. Um, shall shall we talk about? Because um, we haven't really talked about Timothy uh, Chalamet or Ishmael, um, but in oh, yeah. the the Mina, right? They, yes. I I so Mina. Any thoughts on what they do with her and her? And Tom flirting with her a bit and her vampire powers. And are they well realized in this or do they get too silly too quick with in Venice? Well, can, can um, we? It's, it's a shame all, because, again, you, you could have put her in a position where she's the bloodlust has her almost kill him like because she needs it that badly. But it's like her her affection for him or her her humanity reasserts itself enough for her to pull back. But again, the movie just never takes the time to establish that and set up something that but would is, put her in that situation. Is Tom Sawyer, though, 
meant to be Tom Sawyer from Mark Twain's Tom <laughs> Sawyer. What other Tom? Oh, I assume so. That I mean, the yeah, logical I, progression. I mean, that's clearly what they're the, supposed the to. I mean, that's what, uh, so. I've yeah. got another question. Why wasn't he dropping M bombs? Well, because he learned mm -hmm. because of he had a friend named Nick, named Jim, and he learned a very important lesson from <laughs> Jim, from Jim, and he doesn't call people that anymore. Okay, because okay, of, yeah, he's learned a lot. So, yeah, he learned a lot. But I, I do, th I would have, I think it's the surely you could have Tom Sawyer. Really, no, stop it. That's not Tom <laughs> fucking Sawyer. They should just. Given him just a, an American name, and he's just this gung ho soldier man, something I don't know. But did Tom Sawyer fuck off? Wow, it was really it was really off putting. Uh, so I kept on thinking oh, yeah, because tough. these are all established characters: Dorian Gray, Jacqueline Hyde, except you know uh, Professor Moriarty, yada yada yada. I was like. You can't just call somebody Tom Sawyer and have it just Tom <laughs> Sawyer. This has to be the Tom Sawyer, <laughs> well, surely. I feel like with the rest of them, you you recognize, you understand. It's like, yeah, yeah, they, they're pulled from this story. So him, it's like, Tom Sawyer, the gunslinger. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> what you know, yeah. No, he was, he was slinging something else. It's, uh, it's bizarre. It is very strange. Um... Uh, this is he, a movie he, he that dumped Tuckle to be. He, he dumped Tuckleberry Finn, joined the FBI, and then became a leading sharpshooter. Yeah, pretty this much. This movie is an hour and 50 minutes. <laughs> yes. And let's see, I'm wondering... There's cause... no development of any character whatsoever. Well, there Mr. is. Hyde. It's just a little from, bit. Apart from Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Hyde, a little bit of Alan, uh, yeah. but... But the rest of them... You know, like Invisible Man, for example, he... I th is is the arc quote unquote there supposed to be that nobody really trusts him, but he comes through for Sawyer and gets himself almost killed in the end? Is that is that well, something? Yeah, well, that's the, not really the, an arc. arc. That's just him being he nice. was that way the whole time, <laughs> yeah. sort of. Yeah, it's, he's that, sarcastic, he, but he means it. <laughs> he's a good guy. By the way, uh, he's called Skinner in this because they couldn't secure the rights for the origin, the actual Invisible Man. Yeah, well, they yeah, because you, you get he? this little explanation that yeah. he stole the formula yeah. from him because he's not like a scientist or anything. He's just a fucking just a guy. Yeah, because he said you, the Invisible Man, he's like, no, he's dead. I nicked, I nicked the formula or whatever. <laughs> this is Batwoman levels of fucking yeah. control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the show still got the film still got sued though by you know people who uh, claimed to to have the patents, didn't they? Even though it's it's meant to be public domain for these creatures oh, now i mean it's so old like how can any of this still be applicable you know it's... and then i think sony was it sony whoever settled out of court with it as well uh yeah yeah because there were, there were problems yeah, yeah, there with was. where they got this script from because not much of it is even in the graphic novel right yeah um and there's a different script at the time that's a little bit too similar that they had uh, so yeah they got into trouble with it but and you wonder why Alan Moore is so just like run down and <laughs> defeated. <laughs> just Watchmen and League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and all this stuff. Is what what like, do you oh. think of, um, I don't know if you know, but what do you think of the Viva Vendetta adaptation? I, I really enjoyed it. it. I really enjoyed it. Do you know what he thought? I'm assuming he hated it. I don't know. <laughs> right, he, probably, he, got, he hates everything. Alan Moore hates everything that he's adapted. Yeah, probably. Gonna be be. Well, if I, something. like, as I understand what happens in the book, like it's or the graphic novel, like, it's way more convoluted, and it's less... A mini-series. Yeah, I mean, it's it's far less, like, passable than the film. I, I'm trying to find the right word for it, but, like, the the kind of conflicts aren't as clearly defined in that. Um, and, yeah, I just think they, they kind of made the cuts they probably needed to make to turn it into something that was filmable. Which is funny, because, like, at this point, I'd be like, this thing needs to be, like, a season of TV to make it, you know, function properly, because... I guess you could try and cram it into a movie, you could still fix it up, it's just that it seems like a, a season would be perfect, because you get plenty of time with everybody at that point. Um, yeah. Really flesh out them conflicts, get that theme foundationally, the bloodline through the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if we, because we were kind of talking about, was it named Mina or Nina? Mina, I think. Mina. Yeah, um... I liked the reveal of her vampiriness being the this guy picks her out as the one he can use as a hostage, but then she's probably the, uh, well, I guess outside of Dorian, she's pretty much immune to getting 
like a knife to her neck's not going to do shit. Um, I, I, I'm always a bit confused about her powers because, like, okay, I get that she's kind of invulnerable to normal weapons and stuff, but then at one point she just turns into bats. Well, every universe has like a whole swarm of them. Yeah, it's she goes from the when she when we get to Venice and we see her turning into this bat goddess. It's really strange when you go from how she was a, was in the first library fight to that. She it was almost like this. I'm a, like I'm a vampire. I'm very subtle almost, but ferocious on a small scale. I'm resilient and quick, um, but I have this charm about me and this good presentation. And then she gets like a whole. It seems like it's a whole outfit change, and yeah. she's got her yeah. hair down now. And yeah, she's and, just and this wild and... bat lady. <laughs> Well, they, I don't know if yeah, you caught like, it, but they have her in the bats, and she like looks like yeah. the mummy or something. I'm trying to get a shot for you guys. It's it's bizarre. They, I just, I think they were just, they didn't know. They were just like, fuck it, maybe this will work. Bat, Batman. <laughs> trying to get a picture of her at the at the at the end, and a picture of her at the beginning when she's fighting Dorian here at the end. Still, still um, better than Batwoman. But I'm afraid uh, it seems that Drinker has to go. You know, it's it's um, even though it was an hour, it was a good hour. You know, and I'm glad yeah, you got I to get <laughs> your feelings. I'm this really movie. sorry. We we were talking about this the other day, and I totally fucked up when we were meant to be doing this. I thought it was tomorrow night, and we were doing it on actual Halloween, <laughs> and then I find out it was tonight. It's like fuck, I'm supposed to be going out tonight. <laughs> Uh, so you. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to stay for longer because honestly, it's really fun talking about this movie. I think yeah, there's a lot is. to break down with it. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, you lads enjoy yourselves, and um, um, yeah, I'm catch yeah. For a proper one next time. Thanks yeah. for coming. We'll see. We'll see Toodaloo. you when we see you. Um, Gary I'm, may very well replace you at any moment. Who knows? Ah, uh, well, there you go. That's a suitable replacement, I would say. He's got a bigger beard than me. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right. Well, Have a good night, man. All right. Catch you later. Later, dude. Later. Later. Trying to get a picture of her at the beginning when we first meet her. And then at the end, she has this weird fucking BDSM outfit and her hair is all floompy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just everywhere. It's very sexy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me her. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Look, I was, I was looking for this. She's like that at one point. Can you see this? In in on inside the, her bats, she's like screen. a spooky gremlin person. Yeah, she's in. She's this crazy bat person. Mm. And then she's feeding on them as well as she's doing it. Yeah, she suddenly you're like, Jesus Christ, how OP is she? You're like pretty OP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think she's I was, the only I one who gets a on okay. No, yeah, yeah okay, it just cool. turns into a. Just feels like she turns into a totally different character by the end. Yeah, and then she has this little like hero shot when she's knocked out all of the guys. She's like standing up, she's just like, Yeah, I did it, and now she's like in her sexy it. outfit. Yeah, and all the blood's gone from her mouth. And she doesn't look like a zombie like, anymore. <laughs> yeah, she's just like looking up to the sky like she's fucking Batman at looking for the symbol <laughs> or something. Yeah, there she is like, yeah, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. I'll, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll hold your hand. Oh man, check out this incredibly real background that Nemo is walking past. I get the feeling it's not gonna be very <laughs> oh, real. God. Oh yeah, that one. I Odyssey. Look at my machinery <laughs> of the Nautilus. Yeah, that one is uh, very real. As he talks yeah, to oh, his yeah. uh, first mate, Ishmael, yes. I feel like just the scale uh... of this movie went too big. Um, it, I guess they too, thought they could pull it off. Like I guess they did. That's the problem. <laughs> what were they? What movies are they trying to compete with in two thousand and three? Lord of the Rings. Um, well, oh, yeah, wow. Lord of the Rings yeah. ended in you know two thousand three. Well, Spider Man. I think. Came Prequels out had just come out not long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. There were a lot of, like big boy movies big. that it has to compete with. Yeah. Well, yeah. So they, the they, with... they had to go big or go home with mm -hmm. something like this. Yeah. Man, this released the same year as Return of the King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 this would have worked. Mu I think this would have worked much better as a subtler story and as a uh, <laughs> a more practical film. Buddy, it would work if it was subtler and more practical. Things which it isn't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it definitely exactly. isn't those things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What it isn't, it would work better if it was.
Do you guys remember what the part is... where the car is like fucking at like fucking hundred miles per hour or some shit and Sean Connery just jumps out of it and lands perfectly? He's just like, eh, yeah, he just no, no it's knocking over all the, the it's knocking over pillars, it's knocking Denver. over metal metal fucking protection things were and not a single dent on the glass of the fucking headlight <laughs> oh, it's very it's very strong made of adamant and then it just flips over onto its backs onto yeah and top. he somehow survives all of that it's impressive even the yeah. even the Plot rocket armor in this scene is insane <laughs> It's, 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 Sean Connery gets out in one area, then Sawyer keeps going, and the, all the buildings around him are falling apart. It's just like, did Sean Connery get out in the one part of town that wasn't falling apart? Like, <laughs> is he dead? Is this old man dead? <laughs> is this all a fever dream? Collapsing around and then, but he gets out in the middle of a gauntlet that they're running. Yeah. It's... So he'd just be mowed down. It's, well, it's like for someone who doesn't know the context of this movie, I just want them to see this bit, right? This is Venice. This is Sawyer. Tom Sawyer driving his car through Venice. Just look, look at that. <laughs> it's like, what? 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 Me, me, me. I don't understand this movie. It's like, you're not supposed to understand it. <laughs> they didn't understand when they were making it. It's incredible, is what it is. Uh, no, incredible was when they when Moriarty revealed everything that was fucking incredible. Just like my, I'm, reve I'm revealing everything. Why am I doing this? Cause you're dead, see? Cause I'm gonna blow a hole in the side of your submarine and automatically assume everyone, considering you're the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, is just gonna die. That is one of those um, sort of. I feel like it's a really cheap writing move when you're like your villain gives away the entire planet. Well, because I know they're gonna die, and then they don't. And you're like, right? Yeah. Well, you give away the hmm. time. The most responsible yeah. people yeah. that he collected himself to steal their abilities. He just, just didn't use blowing a hole in a submarine would kill them all. And I guess he's like, I wanted. Well, why would he think that would kill Nina? Mina, for example. Like, what the fuck's that gonna do to her? She's just gonna fly away. <laughs> oh, I mean, even even Doctor Hyde, you know. I mean. Well, yeah. To be fair, it doesn't really do anything. Like they, they, they pull those levers, and then everything's fine. It's like, all right. Yeah, he opens could've, the flaps. Could have done a bit better than that. He intended to kill everyone, and it didn't. It killed a couple of crewmates, I think. I'm not even sure. So. Are you kill yeah. <laughs> it's just like maybe you should have planted I'm, I'm some thinking. more bombs. Yeah, it was Dorian Gray. Whereas second, his second in command gets killed. It's Ishmael, isn't it? Yeah, Dorian killed Ishmael. Ishmael. And I was sad. That but, was well. I it should have been sad, but I was watching it thinking, I am not in any way or, or shape or form affected by this death. I, I, was anybody? It's just like I don't know who that guy was really. Oh no! I I well I know who he was because the first thing he says is "Call me Ishmael." He literally had two lines: "Call me Ishmael," and I'm dead. <laughs> I don't remember dead, him saying boring. "I'm dead," but <laughs> oh wait, that was a joke was in not... the movies, wasn't it? "Call me Dead Ishmael" or something like that. I think Ishmael. <laughs> not very clever of uh, Dorian to let this guy live. When he knew who he yep. was, but I guess they're gonna oh, reveal it later. But still. all those bullets. <laughs> he got shot like five fucking times, for God's sake. Oh yeah, and because he, he just crawls out of the ship, he's just like, "It's Doria, Doria did it." And it's like a oh, nice one. Everyone like, walking <laughs> past him normally, like no one's even helping and him. And how big that ship is, he might have, he could have had to walk a mile to get there to that <laughs> ramp, depending on where the engine room was. That Did ship is in the trail. No, I must die on the platform. I thought it was funny too because he's like Dorian. It's like he, he says it was Dorian, and then Dorian activates the little octopod, whatever the fuck it is, and he's just like gloating at the end, and like everyone while he's just loading it slowly. It's like, wait a minute, is, is is this film actually the Avengers? <laughs> Dor Dorian Gray's Loki. And Ishmael is cool, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to the beat. Wow, of the Whedon, you ripped it off. You ripped off League awesome. of Extraordinary Gentlemen, you hack fraud. <laughs> I just thought it was awkward because it's like, uh, if you remember the, the little pod thing, like, drives away, and they're like, we're going to blow it up, and, and Nemo's like, I'm going to catch it. And it's like, but how though? You're in Venice. If it turns a corner, you're fucked. Like, <laughs> what is gonna, how are you gonna do this? And then they show us that they're in like the sea, and they're going at the same speed. It's like Jesus Christ! <laughs> like, you, 
That little pod goes fast. It's very fast. The League of You cannot outrun Avengers. the Nautilus. Do not fucking don't even try. The Nautilus is faster uh, than a plane. They really, really didn't think about just the magnitude of that kind of invention. Holy fuck! No. <laughs> It's, it's magic. Like said, Nemo it's is a just magic. Person. It's it rose just up magic. on the fucking harbor of London that would probably be about yeah. 20 foot deep. And then suddenly it just. <laughs> it can just sink into like, a puddle if it needs to. What the fuck was that hiding? Like, what the? Jesus Christ. It just. It could hide in a bathtub or a glass of water. <laughs> just that's its power. If there's. If it rains and there's just a puddle in the street, it could stick its little periscope up. It's got a portal. There's a portal you see, and it just emerges from the portal. And it's there. It's going down the canals of Venice. Yeah. And then it's so. like, oh no, we're going to. Bust this bridge, this concrete bridge. Let's all stop. Like, wait a minute, you've been dragging your bottom on the ground for the last five miles. You crazy, normal. crazy ship. Yeah, kind of. Joss Whedon still. That was the, and just the air. And that was the heli carrier in the Avengers. Yeah. yeah. Joss, Joss, you hack. And he's like, what do I do with Hulk? And it's like, well, that Hyde character, you like to smash Jekyll stuff. Jekyll and Hyde is yeah. definitely the Hulk. Yeah. Uh, we got, a uh, Invisible Man was obviously... Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and Sean Connery was, uh, Captain America. Mm-hmm. And, Tom uh, is, uh... Iron Man is, uh, Invisible... And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say Invisible Man was Iron Man, because he's, like, doing his own thing and being sarcastic. Oh, I thought we said Nemo, Nemo was Iron Man. Nemo definitely Iron Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, he was Tony Stark. Tony, is he, Stark, well, actually, Tony Stark's the guy in the suit, as if he knew this. He's pretty Iron Man as well, just without the personality. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. And bam, then bam, we've got bam. Black Widow, of course, which is Mina. Yes. It's all for, It's all coming together it's now, still all isn't of it? it? It's kind of embarrassing, you yeah? know? Joss, you f you hack! Wow. <laughs> stole from the League of Extraordinary even the part, How embarrassing. Even the part where that guy drinks Hulk serum and becomes Super Hulk, remember? Yeah. He turned into the abomination. That was the abomination. Mm -hmm. And then he was just like, oh, I'll nick a little bit from the Incredible Hulk as well while I'm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that part where he just starts Josh washing himself with the mixture. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He just washes <laughs> his face. Yeah. I'm Fuck you, mixture. My mouth, ice, and pores. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, why did Dorian was, think he'd killed? Uh, I don't uh, know. As well. That that fight could have had a way better ending. It's just like I got gotcha. you. No, you didn't. I got but you. But it did have a good ending. She stuck him to the wall. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like the the reason she got that on him is because he mistook her heart for her stomach. I guess. Just like oh, just lame. And he then, wasn't familiar with the vampire lore. Yeah, oh that's man. Uh oh. But God, you should, if I just stab her in the stomach with a sword, she's dead. If you have the blood of a dead person on the blade and you stab a vampire, the vampire will die. Oh, it yeah, that's... Person. Different different things, because, yeah, dead blood fucks but with vampires. He could vampires, have used his it? blood, because he's technically... I mean, you, there's an argument to say that he's dead because of the supernatural element to him. Because mm -hmm. every, every, every time that he dies, it transfers to his painting. So technically, he could have put his blood... Uh, he could have stuck, run himself through and run her through, which would have transferred his blood into her. Do you remember the like, incredible... The blood of a dead man. The incredible CGI for when he dies. <laughs> oh, no. This one is bad. Look at that. Oh, that no. Mina looked horrified when she <laughs> saw it. Oh, that looks so bad. Uh, <laughs> that's the horrifying aspect of it. That's what she's scared of. She's like, wow, they actually like, did Ugh. that. They like, Jesus, that. that's CGI. Ugh. Fuck Gross. no. <laughs> this, <Yeah. laughs> this, this looks worse than it did in bloody Indiana Jones 3. Well, that's it the thing. shows poorly. <laughs> when you do it with, like, you know, uh, prosthetics and stuff, it's just like, it looks fucking way better. Usually. Even, even like, the worst of versions, because this thing did not age well. It just looked funny. No. 
Blah, 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 blah. And I was saying in, in our recording, it would have been way better, I think, because they can't fucking pull this off, to just show the painting going back to normal and then hearing him scream and showing her reaction. You don't need to show the actual thing, because then we can... Yeah, they should have shown the painting. Yeah, I, I agree. No, it should have been I, left to the imagination of the... Just the, show the... Show the painting changing and her reaction to him, and he is changing off screen, and you just hear it. Yeah, and he screams. The painting goes back to his because the painting self. recovery looks fine. Like, oh, yeah, it's fine. I'm yeah. down with the painting. Um, so yeah, is there anything else we should talk about this movie before we start looking at other people talking about it? Uh, <laughs> probably, but we should. Um, ahead. um. The ending was really shit with Moriarty. Moriarty lost to every single turn in this film. Yeah, he he kind of sucks. He, he remember never... when they stumble across a random graveyard in Venice so that they can have a mini <laughs> boss fight? That was strange, and it didn't make any sense because Moriarty could have just left the whole time, but he just doesn't. Yeah, last time we saw him, he was standing next to his henchman in a submarine. By the way, no no evil submarines ever attacked an Nautilus. Yeah, yeah. No, I wanted, yeah. I wanted a sub, sub on sub fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could have like had sent a, they could have drilled into the side of the Nautilus and like put a launch party on there to go and fight them, and then they have to fight. You could get an action sequence inside the Nautilus where they're fighting off all the baddies, and then it slows yeah. them down because they have to fix the hole, you know, that sort of thing. I and there should have been a when uh, Sean Connery turns up at the beginning ish. To London and the guy and Moriarty introduces himself as M. Come on, yeah. Where was the, yeah. where was the bond? When was the bond joke? Yeah, you, well, you just have Sean Connery say something like, "Of course you are." Of course you are. Or <laughs> I've been here before. <laughs> this feels so, familiar. <laughs> yeah, that name so, sounds awfully familiar. The baddies could have built built like a huge sheath to catch the Nautilus and <laughs> stop them like that. <laughs> the sword of the ocean. Been captured by Damn the shield, the, the shield this condom of the, of the ocean. Yeah, where's the shield of the ocean? You're right. A sword and a shield, like Pokemon. So yeah, we all thought it was an incredible movie. Might might call it a masterpiece. I'd say. Much. Nemo was... is the Pokemon Go master of the world, though. I mm -hmm. think this film is a is a guilty little pleasure. Oh yeah. Well, if there were a sequel, like I'd be a... like, let's watch it right now. Holy shit. I mean, the performances oh, yeah. are pretty good all round from the main cast, I think. Yeah, you the know? actors are definitely putting in. Yeah, you know. it's just the things they say and what happens and what yes. they do. That's the issue. <laughs> just, yeah. The entire content of the movie. If only, yeah. <laughs> if only the script writer wasn't cringe. Yeah. <laughs> we would have been okay. Cringe. Um. Yeah, so um, the idea here today is that we, we have a little chat about the movie, which we can have, and then cool. we check out the perspective of other people on this movie. Oh, why? I know, you complain, <laughs> complain, complain, but ultimately, it's for, it's for your own good. It's gonna be healthy for you. I don't, I don't believe you. I think you're lying to me. Well, believing... there's only one way to find out. I was no. gonna say, I can prove it, Mel. <laughs> I've been bamboozled! All right, there's your link, gentlemen. Oh, and League of Extraordinary E-Fappers. No, jeez, go. Gentle fappers. Have I got time to grab a, a glass of water? You go Absolutely right not. ahead, right ahead. Like my, my heater is drying my mouth out. Mm. Very cool. Ladies. Don't put it in your mouth, then. Jeez. <laughs> well, it's, it's very cold. <laughs> my mouth's cold. It needs to up. All right, back in a sec. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was I was thinking we could leave it to chat to decide. The two I wanted to look at today were yeah. um were Cinema Sins and Nostalgia Critic. Which one would you want to do first? Nostalgia you know? Critic. Oh, you know it's gonna be Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> Cinema Sins is annoying and stupid, but oh, Nostalgia <laughs> Critic is interesting. Nostalgia Critic's not annoying and stupid. Not 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 at all. He... Nostalgia Critic is interesting with the things he says. He's like I can I never lose my he's like a bad he, movie. He called Van Helsing oh. boring rags. I know, because he's a strange, and weird and person, and I can't look away. Oh my god, everyone's like voting Nostalgia Android. Critic. All right, then. Jeez. I think it's got to be Nostalgia Critic. Yeah, <laughs> CinemaSins is lame. Well, <laughs> you know what? I don't disagree with you that the Nostalgia Critic's insane, so there's that. He's insane, which is what makes him so much more fun to cover, because he's nuts. <laughs> he's crazy nutso.
like me some like i feel like with nostalgia critic there's a method to the madness in this weird kind of way like there's this these his brain has these bizarre just synapses going off but like to where and to what end like i don't know like there's a madman under there but cinema sins is just like this blank empty boring person really loud wow rags people often cite that he's like clearly the inspiration for what we do you, you suggesting that cinema sins isn't critic? no cinema sins oh yeah we forgot our oh. daily uh, our uh, weekly funny bit to do during the fabs huh? a weekly funny bit yeah, because he does bits in his videos all the time. That's right. The, the like, oh, skits. like skits. Oh, do oh, you mean bits. the things he does like at the end where he's like, hey, there's this thing that happens in this movie that's kind of like this other movie. Isn't that funny? You know, like, or are you talking about Nostalgia Critic? Yes. Because, yeah, I was saying, so people say like Cinema Sins is the grandfather of anybody who looks to th oh. things about consistency. I have misheard you, Dan. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I know, right? Nostalgia Critic is just one of the oldest movie reviewers there are, if not the old. He's he's at least the oldest that got popular, right? Like, I think I, I just how to stretch. Oh, There's probably some more. He's stuck around though. One of the earliest ones, which is funny to bring up whenever people like you got to respect AVGN for being one of the first. Like, all right, but Nostalgia Critic too, yeah. And then they're like, oh man, I guess so. He started in 2007. Damn. It's been a while since then, you know? Lots of things have changed. Damn. It has been. Uh, yeah. Who in chat watched all of those wonderful Channel Awesome movies back in the day? I bet loads of I, you did. I actually did, yes. <laughs> I, mean, I saw them. I did not. No, I, I was. Uh, I was very interested in watching people review movies. I thought it was fun, but... I mean... Let's just say the caliber back then was had less <laughs> pressure, you know? I, just, I, just I, saw I did, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I just we saw will... a, funny, a funny comment below my, uh, the House of Ashes stream. There's Metal and Moller going from purposefully failing QTEs in order to get character skill to Save Salim at all costs is the real arc of the story. Yes, if anyone hasn't seen that playthrough, we fell in love with... <laughs> I haven't with... seen it yet. Uh, a character, I will say without spoilers then, there's a character that made us starting to pay attention to the QTEs because we liked him so yeah. much. Oh my god! Yeah. A character? <laughs> there, there was a character? There was a character, yeah, it was great. <laughs> this character-driven game had a character we cared about, ooh. Oh my god. But yeah, so I, very exciting. I feel like there will be an EFAP arc for the Channel Awesome movies one day. That will. That is actually gonna <laughs> test your cringe, like, resistances, oh. your... your Cringe shields. It's gotta be so weird I've not yet begun to, to cringe. It's gonna I saw be a tough. Didn't, didn't he put a tweet up or something? I think Warrior retweeted it or something, or replied to it saying this is not going to be a problem. Where he tweeted out saying, "If you watch one of my videos in November, you have to change your profile picture to Channel Awesome." Yeah, I didn't agree to that. <laughs> and then yeah, and I think it's Warrior or somebody put, "This is not going to be a problem." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong, kiddo, because uh, he makes incredible videos and everybody is desperate to watch them, much like we oh, are. Okay. This very Halloween-y. Um, Yay! So if if you want to jump in as... I f oh, wait, we're all here, are we? I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Excellent, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. So this is The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, as reviewed by Nostalgia Critic. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Ah. Oh, oh my god, it's loud as well. It is loud, isn't it? What is, is that a ceiling the... fan that's turned? Is that a satellite? <laughs> I think it's a satellite, satellite yeah. <laughs> 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 ceiling <laughs> fan. <laughs> like the, like, like the, the thing on the top is what it dangles down from, and then yeah. the bottom is like the lamp part that you can toggle on and off. And now <laughs> you will never be able to unsee the ceiling well, it's just, fan. It's like, what is the symbolism there? What is the represent? Like, what is the ceiling fan to you guys? And he's just like, what do you it mean? It keeps going and going and going it round and round in going. crazy circles. <laughs> or maybe it's just like, I don't know, because this channel oh. fucking blows. Who knows? Keep, keep, keep oh, oh, whirling around and making an annoying noise. And that works both ways because you could have said his channel sucks as well. Oh, that's not true. Oh, this, okay. This that's fair. It blows. Sucks and blows. I'm a fan of this channel, oh my but I'm God. not. Like, I wonder if this video will test fame. that. If if we're making com uh, confessions, I have uh, never seen the channel awesome video in my life. Whoa! Mm -hmm. No, right. no, really? Because you're seen very few. Because back in the day, I, I feel I feel like me and Mel probably have similar 
uh, experience yeah. with them. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah, but when they first broke out as just movie reviewers, I fucking they were fun just to watch because it's just fun to watch people break down movies you know and be like, this is working, this isn't. But man, if you go watch them now, like the ones that came out in twenty two thousand seven or whatever, <laughs> oof, things are different yeah. now. Everyone, ten eighty p is a thing. <laughs> what? Um. Yeah, Every time you speak, there's a girl. growling buzz. I'm sorry, there's a fan. It keeps me cool. Is it because your shadow blows? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's cruel, well, that, that is. is. Wow. Got is. it. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Funny. Um, all right, then. Let's have a look, see. Yeah, let's do it. Sham, sham. I know you're bummed I took the Highlander 2 role. Mr. Connery, you're Watch one of the your biggest phone. stars in the world. You can make a few mistakes every once in a while. Your I friend Michael Crichton already sent me a bounce back script. It's called Jurassic Park. You're the guy wow. who owns the park. I like how you can just clearly see the reflection of a cameraman in his glasses. <laughs> He's just All standing right, yeah. right there. He's like, yo, what's up? I got a cameo. <laughs> Uh, the, I, I'm being serious. Honestly, God, I'm being serious here. Is it part of the joke that the phone is filthy? <laughs> <laughs> That's what said. Nice, nice dust on there. I, I imagine Doug, if he heard you say that, would be like, "Yeah, no, yes." You, you, know, you, 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 you could have literally, you could have just put a wipe over it before you started filming. Just no. a wipe. No, because Hollywood executives are dirty people. Yes. Okay. Uh. Yeah. That phone is the instrument that they use to set up all of their dirty deeds. So There's the probably is... Ebola on that phone, by the looks of it. Why? Because he's blind. Mm. No, because oh, the phone's shit. filthy. Wow, Rex. <laughs> oh. Wow. No, I'm not, Where did I'm that not come saying from that. Rags? I was asking. I was asking you. I wasn't oh. saying that. I thought it was yeah, terrible. I'm, well, it, I am it, I'm convinced to come from by your, your mouth. attempt to run away. Yeah, yeah, things have I'm, been revealed. By your things have to been run revealed. Away from that. I'm not running. I have nothing to run Slippery away from. Rags. Slippery mm. rags. Slippery uh. rags. I am not wow. slippery. I am firm and I taut disavow. And no, easy you, to the, hold. The rag, this rag is very damp. It's hard to <laughs> latch onto. It's slipping out. Damp rag. I am, oh, solid. I am much rag. more solid right, than stone column in Venice. Well, I, 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 I mean, but I only more. say this because this, the, the, the sketch that they're doing is like, this guy's meant to be like a Hollywood exec. Well, yeah, yeah, he's Sean Connery's yeah, agent like in this that. sketch. You'd yeah, think okay, he has a so nice phone. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. So it's just like, if you're, if you're script is like hey we got this classy you know classy hollywood rep and he's like young and hip and cool and all this and then you you show the phone and it's literally got aids on it then um it's like no, it's just why couldn't you just get a j cloth and wipe wipe it down just blow on it it's probably enough yeah just <laughs> blow on it yeah done <laughs> you, <laughs> you probably got some keyboard spray you could have just sprayed to get rid of the dust or something we saved some lives today boys yeah. by wiping <laughs> off that phone <laughs> this film's gonna save lives Aww. Rags <laughs> poor just eternals like might not even have the chance to save lives now because nobody wants to see it well Oh. I wonder if more people want to see it now because it's famous for being the I lowest rated so. MCU movie. <laughs> well, I think this is the best marketing the film's ever had. Because <laughs> I want to go see it now. I want to see how shit this film is. What are you going to say, Free? Rotten Tomatoes is a shit metric still. Let's not yes. forget that. But oh, no, surely, though. It's Still, but people very are just turning it back on them. That's all they're doing. Oh, they're just turning yeah, it back. Yeah, no, 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 I know. I, I, I find it interesting, not because I give a shit about the actual score, but more so what it represents. Yeah, like, um, in, let's in, put it this uh, way. In if, reality. That's interesting. If they rated Marvel movies by, like, they went outside and they just listened to birds chirping and it was always 100%, <laughs> and this one hits at a 60, it's like, why? What did, what did the birds, what, what happened? Yeah. Like, what is, I, I will say, the birds are dumping everywhere. I, I will say that's the most fascinating thing I've learned is no Marvel movie has ever been below a sixty percent average on that website. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> really? Well, Not that's wild. wild. That's how great the MCU that is, is, man. That's how great it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, that, uh, uh, like that is. Home runs that's every unreal. time. Frank. <laughs> Home runs every time. Oh every yeah. No. Every, I mean, every single film is is like good or better than that. That's that's definitely a true statement of the MCU. Dragon and like, because I wouldn't have expected this one to be the one, but it is. Apparently. No, no, I didn't expect this one. I thought this was going to be the one that was going to get like accolades. And yeah, shit. 
well, I mean, I, this was the I one they were going to push for, like, the Oscars. The Oscars, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't, I'm confused, um, but there we are. And again, I, th I thought it like, always looked like boring ass. Oh, totally, well, but well, they don't so think I mean so, is, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, they don't think so. Because it's just the director won an Oscar last year, so like that feels like that would be a reason why you'd want to do that. But now, I'm very curious to see how it all pans out. This was an Infinity 60 is awful. It's like, yeah, but how confusing is that? 60 well, out so of 100 is awful. Well, the, the problem is that the... Because, again, yeah, I just I think that the, the whole system is it's positive or negative, and so 60% of the reviews are 6 or higher. That's all the metric is, as opposed to, like, Metacritic. Well, no, that's not true. Score. No, no, because uh, you, could, you okay. could give it... No, you could give it a 10 out of 10 and still give it Rotten. a rotten yeah. rating. <laughs> What the if we, yeah, if you remember, if you yeah. Grace, Grace talked about this when we did our oh, 150. Yeah. I'm not going to give it a, a, a rotten a tomato. tomato. It's like, I don't understand what this system is. I know, it's so convoluted, it's just, ridiculous. Just give it, a, just give it a fucking number, all right? Like a guy, one of the ratings is 7 out of 10, and they gave it a rotten. I... But how is that? <laughs> I don't know! I, I mean, you know, I, I, you don't I gotta want be fair, to... I mean, that doesn't oh. work. 7 out of 10 is not a rotten rating. Dude, a five out of ten isn't a rotten rating. Like it's as average, far as I'm concerned, should be. that's average. Yeah, yeah. Mm. eggs aren't either delicious or rotten. They can be. <laughs> no, wow. That's the scale. They can There's be a bit stank, off, you know. Off eggs, stank. yeah, they can definitely like a be a bit stank. Off. Yeah. There's a lot of well, stank should, here. Fucking hell. It should, it should be milk. It should be I don't know Ooh, aging I like milk. milk. So like, oh, I fresh don't like milk. aging milk. <laughs> no, but that's the idea, right? So that the system is the milk. I like fresh milk. Certified fresh milk. It's like it's right out. Great the a. expiry is a Great week away. A fresh milk. And then you've got like the the uh the expiration date milk, where it's like, all right, like you got to be careful now. You know, <laughs> like this. Uh, you're playing with fire here, and then of course the you're expired playing with milk. milk. You're playing with milk. That's right. <laughs> playing with milk. And then you got you're your expired milk. milk. Yeah, it's it's you don't want to play with milk. You don't want to like, playing with oysters. Playing with milk. You don't want to do that. No, mm -hmm. no, no. I will on that subject to maybe cap it off. I uh, I think I've said this milk. a couple of times, but like, um, I get the impression that people aren't being fully like. I I almost feel like with this movie, a lot of people who watched it actually didn't like it, but they don't want to say that. So like, there's a lot of things oh. that are pushing up. I get. I just feel like if we assume that this was the movie that was going to get rooted for. If that's the case, would the people who went to watch it not kind of almost subconsciously want to root for it anyway? So, like, even if they didn't really like it, they'll try and find things about it that they thought were, like, worth commending. To I guess that's what I mean. Is like, I just story, said it was pretentious uh... twaddle. Well, what, what I mean is, like, because um, because it seems like, uh, you know how it was Triumph last time? It was a Triumph. <laughs> for yeah. Yeah. This, that was, this like, was a line. Piece, this one. Well, this one is, oh, the cinematography. Wow, it's so unique. It's not like any Marvel film ever. That's like, that's different, the marketing. Different, for different, different, yeah, different, different, different. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so I wonder if, like, that helps push it higher than what they actually thought. Because, like, a lot of the review. Then again, if they're just saying it's boring, it's like, ah, oh, it's not interesting. Come on, give me something better than that. Like, in terms well, Marvel is literally saying to these people, do you want to go for early access to Spider Man? Uh, I. It's this film is different and the cinematography is excellent. It's, yeah, that's it. And wow, that's it. should you it's see those post credit scenes? That's that's kind of the amusing part that like the post credit scenes is almost feels like people people don't watch Marvel movies to like watch the film. They want to know what's next. That's next, always yeah. what yeah. Yeah, I, want, I watch next. them to get it over with. <laughs> At this wow. point. This one is two and a half hours, Rag, so. Oh. Jesus. Uh, it's the long this movie is eternal. Jesus. I think, it, I think it's, yeah, I think it's the longest one that isn't an uh, Avengers movie. Oh my god. Damn. I wonder why uh, do they feel like they because just got so many characters. characters. Yeah, you got 10 characters who've got 7,000 years of history. It's like, man, <laughs> maybe not. Have you seen, this? um, like, there was that, there was that. Diversity. There was that thread, it got linked in the Discord, uh, that's how I saw it, from a guy just basically saying, like, oh, I fucking hate channels that focus on logic and consistency and character and plot, when this, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. And I was just like, ugh. I, I quote tweeted, and I ended up writing a whole essay, because I was just annoyed, uh, like, like, by, <laughs> that, that's how all this started, basically, anyway. Uh, so, I was looking through the thread, though, and there was someone who was like, God, 
Like, have you heard that they've already tried to address, like, where the Eternals were and how they fit into the world? I guess the logic people won, because now the films are capitulating to them and they suck. And I was like, how is this our fault? <laughs> like, it's how not, is Eternals <laughs> our you fault? Did how is you that? Did this. It's not... It, it is kind of funny how people... Because I've seen people... The discourse surrounding this movie sucks, but, like, I've seen people saying, hey, they said that they weren't allowed to interfere. That's, like, good enough. It's like, oh... Is it? Not, it's not good enough, but... <laughs> no, it's, it's not good enough because it, they say in the, the final trailer uh, that we, unless the threat was a deviant, they weren't allowed to interfere. No. And Thanos, and Thanos has the deviant gene. Well, the f well, I mean, there's that for starters, but I mean, it's even more fundamental than that of like, if your decision on saving the universe. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely, is, yeah. Oh, but but Earth, like, because if the logic yeah. is, oh, but, like, I don't know, Earth would get destroyed. It's like, that's, you should be making that decision every single time. If you got to save the oh, universe. Oh, well, was it done by the Earth? right person? Yeah, because is, is yeah, the person causing the calamity that, the right that is, species? Because presumably, because, the whole deviant thing is in place in the same way. Like, if I said, I'll only, I'm only going to quell dangers involving guns, not swords, because that's too low level. And then a guy with, like, a sword the size of a mountain just cleaves Earth in two. And I'm like, <laughs> um, oh my God, I feel like I should deal with that. <laughs> but yeah. it, the, the problem is, of course, that, well, uh, the true problem is that, you know, they're trying to retcon in, uh, heroes whatever you want to call it. i don't call these fucking people heroes uh these cr these weirdos they're trying to retcon in these weirdos after the fact they've already had 10 years worth of history uh, and, and it doesn't work because you're you're trying to force a, a circle into a square peg Wait, is it only shit? 10 years i thought they had like thousands or whatever well, it's oh, no, 12 as years MCU now has oh, no, i'm talking the mcu oh right 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 as, as, as films um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, Feels they've like been there for seven, seven thousand years. <laughs> they've seven, been on Earth. Well, uh, dude, some of the things like they're, they're apparently have meant to have shown up and like been influential in several historical events. <laughs> it's like, dude, can we stop doing this plot thread? Of, oh. oh, actually, no, really. Like they were the inspiration because I'm pretty sure one of the characters in this film it's uh Chad from um from Train to Busan. He's yeah. In uh, he Gil plays he's Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the whole point is oh, you know, Gilgamesh, wow, epic. the epic of Gilgamesh? That's mm. him. I think that's yeah. the wow. idea of like, okay. I, he's, yeah, I know. The OG it's, Gilgamesh. Yeah. I know. Uh, that's what I mean. I, I really don't like this brand of storytelling. Oh, see, it was actually this all along. You thought it, it was, was this, Gilgamesh. but it was actually. Just wait. It was, it was out there. <laughs> wait for them to start like, like 10 years down the line when they're still writing these fucking things for some reason. Someone else will make yep. claim to a thing that's already had been claimed. Exactly. Like, and they'll be like, yeah, wait, what? Yeah. You're like, no, 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 It'll that was like my guy. Needed, you already did the epic like of Gilgamesh. The territory. Like, no. You know, it's like in the new world, it's like, this is our lad. No, it's my lad. I was here first. Like, yeah, but you were fired five over. years ago. I get to make it now. The, <laughs> someone records right. them over and over. Because, of course, when Wu's impact on Earth, it's like, no one gives a fuck. Nothing. <laughs> no yeah. one's gonna yeah, care. Zero. Absolutely, yeah. No, yeah, nothing zilch, nada. It's like he didn't exist. <laughs> and, and well, I mean, uh, no, I'm not even going to defend it. Fuck it. And our brains have already just accepted that Kang fucks everything. Exactly. I was going to say, like, yeah. Captain Marvel yeah. was a complete retcon. That is like, but that, I remember those kinds of retcons where you just go, like, oh, a ripple. Oh, throughout. that's cute. Yeah. Where here it's like, hey, they guided humanity during its earliest stages. It's like, man. Oh. <laughs> Could have told us about yeah. germs sooner. And how does Kang fit into that? Hey. But also, he, he like. Did it. Yeah. But also, if you're not allowed to interfere, but like you're helping humans develop stuff, like how is that how is that allowed? Mm -hmm. What are uh, these rules? I guarantee <laughs> you they'll try to explain it and it'll revealed. make even less sense. It's, like the movie will do a piss poor job cuz I've seen people complaining about the exposition. I was like, "Oh god, it's going to be terrible." Like, I've been told that this is a kind of version of Prometheus. Ooh. Oh, that's not that's not a good thing. That's, you want that to doesn't bode that. well. <laughs> as in the as in the Eternals are kind of like the the gods, the creators. Dude, uh, I hate yeah. the kind of like retroactive thing where you just we have like a universe and a story, and then you just decide ah that was all bullshit. It actually it's like that Transformers effect where every single movie it just kept pushing back the origins of the Transformers. <laughs> yeah, like in the first in the first one. <laughs> 
yeah, like in the first movie, that was when they first showed up. No, actually, they helped build the pyramids. No, actually, they were on the moon, like when the moon <laughs> yeah. happened. Yeah, that was like the when the they moon happened. No, actually, they, they the killed happened. the dinosaurs <laughs> yeah. when the moon happened. Yeah. And it's like, no, they killed the dinosaurs. It's like, Dude, Someone just looks out of their window one day and they're like, <laughs> oh, oh, the fuck fucking moon. man. Yeah. Get out of there. The what? They've been keeping there. me awake all night with a fucking bright light. Ah, oh, fuck. What's oh, that? man. That's just reflecting the sun. Which twat put that there? Fucking oh, hell. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi, oh, Jay. Hi, oh, Jay. Jay. <laughs> Jay's going to be on uh, Friday Night Tights this Friday. Hey. Yes, possibly. 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 <laughs> I mean, possibly. I, don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Possibly. You sh you, you're fucking shirking us off now? Wow. <laughs> I mean, She's too good I for mean, you, ass. Yeah. Oh, I'm always so busy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, I, I might be on Friday night if I'm not. Well, too if I can busy, find yeah. the time. <laughs> I'm so busy. Wow. Have you no, seen? I, I, I will. I will be there. I will. I promise. Aww. Yay! We just her into doing it. Yay! Hooray! <laughs> um, as have you seen the thing? Uh, Keemstar is saying like, uh, before yeah. I retire, I'll jump on everyone's podcasts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, keep stuck. Come talk to us about Star Wars. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should do that. I think um, X-Ray Girls already already just re replied to it. Gone here. Here's our last podcast. I still don't um, quite believe he'll retire. We'll see. If he can, yeah. if, if we get him on, I just I just want to talk DSP with him. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I mean, DSP. I think as soon as something juicy enough happens. Uh, you know, drama wise, he'll be you know running right he'll back. You'll do you'll do the one video. You'll be like, no, nah, I'm not coming back. I'm just doing this one for this special reason. Then the next week, he'll make another one. You'll be like, oh, okay, I'm back. Yeah, fuck it. The, the internet <laughs> needs me. Oh, no. Who was the god? I can't even remember his name now. Uh, Ray. Ray Shadow Legends. The Ray Shadow Legends. Uh, he used to do. Oh God, I can't remember. No, no, no. Uh, Ray wins William Johnston. Ray Winston Ray Churchill. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ray William Johnston. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guy, and, yeah. And when he gave up doing that show that he used to do, which I've forgotten the name of as well. Equals three. Equals three. And uh, I used to love watching that. And then, boosh, where did he go? Well, he kept taking people's videos. <laughs> so they sued him. He got sued loads of times, I think, because of that. <laughs> Did he? Oh, mm -hmm. that, that actually, actually it, doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, he stopped doing that. He did like a DiGiorno pizza advert or some <laughs> shit. What? Really? The, the, last, the last time I saw him, he was doing a podcast with um, Epic Lloyd, and uh, they were getting like 2,000 people, I mean, watching the actual video, not even the podcast. So I, did, I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I don't know what he's I up know. to these days. Well... Sucking cock on the street so, corner. I don't know. So anyway, I don't know if you guys remember. We were watching Nostalgia Critic review the League of Extraordinary. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> oh yeah, I remember Nostalgia Critic. And the phone's oh. got Ebola on it. I don't know I what happened. That? We just we ended up talking about everything else. Um, as as happens. As yes. does happen. Yes. As happens. I, I see. I believe you found the link. Did you, Jay Longbone? Wonderful. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, have you seen League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Oh god, I have a whole thing with this fucking movie. Uh, okay. we, <laughs> we're, we were a household when I was a kid that we would just watch everything and anything. We, would ha we had like stacks of fucking VHS tapes all the way, nearly all the way up to the ceiling in our house. We had to, th we had to throw away so many because DVDs started to come into style. And wow. we had to make room, so so, and one of the DVDs happened to be League of, Extra of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Damn, my prestigious. mother, yeah, my mother, my mother loves the corny ass movies, you know, like League, 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 League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Dracula Untold. She likes that corny. <laughs> she like, I, yeah, I even told, it was, we, I visited her, and she told me uh, she was talking about the movie, and I told her about you guys' uh, EFAT movies on it, and I told her like, you know the. The blind army thing is fucking dumb, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. And they're like, we were, wa we're like, we were watching. And I was like, Mom, this is dumb. This is dumb. But like, no, no, no. I mean, she, she, her, and my father were trying to rationalize this shit. Like, no, 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 no. It makes perfect sense. People are very superstitious. Oh. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, it makes perfect sense. Like, I don't even I don't understand. 
Uh, to, for reference for people who don't know, I was gonna say, as do you know about this? So in Dracula Untold, they are trying right. to defeat the, the 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 Dracula himself and his his vampire bats army, all kinds of things. They come up with a really clever idea. Um, right? Can you can you be afraid of something you can't see? The answer yeah. is of course no. Therefore, <laughs> you put a Good blindfold point. on yourself. And so, when you can't see Dracula, you can't fear. You're not afraid of him, and so you can kill him. That's what is what? it? Is this I'm like a reverse confused. version of that movie After Earth, where like <laughs> if you're no, not I, afraid? I think it's important. Wait, it's important isn't to that note. the equivalent of a ostrich sticking their head in the sand? <laughs> no, th it's important to know that this is the one person me? who does this. I was going to reveal that after they reconciled this, just as the idea of one person. <laughs> like, this is an so army. <laughs> An army well, do this. They all blindfold themselves to defeat Dracula. <laughs> Shockingly, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's weird. crazy. Oh, thank God. I recommend. Someone in logistics lost their job that day. You know, is that EFAT Movies 3? It's back in the day, man. It was I, way I back in the so. day, yeah. yeah. It's a great EFAT Movies. It's it's a wonderful, it's a very entertaining bad movie. I like the the vampire fist made of bats. That that, that was cool. That's a good, that's a quality, <laughs> yeah. Um, vampire fist. So yeah, I guess. Well, any, yeah, yeah, Karen. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say anyway. That's one of her go-to movies is League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. She loves the Captain Nemo and his whole ship. Like all, oh, like the, the the construction on it is just so nice. <laughs> like even though I tell her like the movie, you know, the movie is kind of silly. I mean, I, you know, I like watching it with you. It's a nice bonding moment, but this movie is fucking silly. But she's like, well, Captain Nemo, you know, his ship is bad. Like, like, it is okay, very bad. So... <laughs> it is unfathomably bad. It's no, incredible. She, means it the, she, she means it in the Negroid way. Like, bad isn't good. <laughs> That's what I was That's referring what to. Like, That's oh, how Rags was, yeah, Rags was saying. <laughs> fucking no. vocalist? Badass, it is, yeah. It is, it is magical. Also, she loves the special effects on uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Like, for that day, they were actually pretty great. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, That's the only thing I agree with her on, actually. <laughs> Well, we're, we're expecting, we're probably going to agree with a lot of what Nostalgia Critic has to say, but we've got to watch mm -hmm. the skits first. That is the Jesus price. <laughs> and so, no! he's doing <laughs> the price. Skits are important. <laughs> so, from what, I, what we've gathered of the three seconds of watching this, we, we, we I believe that uh, the joke is Sean Connery's agent keeps getting him bad, bad deals, or, or rather Sean Connery does it himself, I guess, I don't know. I thought we were reiterating there might be Ebola on the telephone and it's dusty. Yeah, that's where we were, so now, <laughs> let us continue, well, I suppose. Actually, but before we do, unfortunately, I just had a, a timer go off. I need to go and get something um, really quick, and I will be back in a few minutes. Oh, so, I'll get oh, some coffee yeah. then. Oh, oh. Is it, oh, is it a, a wipe for that fucking disgusting phone? <laughs> no, it, I do have wipes in the loo, though, because you finish every poo with a good wet wipe, but apart oh. from that, no, I don't. Well, all right, Wait, go, and, go and fetch. Break. Critic is a 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. What does, sorry? Proud. Chronicles of Riddick. Oh. That's a movie for EFAP. What a, I love oh, that, that movie. Oh, that and Pitch Black so, and... Oh, yeah. And the third oh, one. So Please invite I, 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 me I, I, for that, please. Sure. <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one of those corny movies that my parents love. Rags, go get your thing, and and we will simply discuss Halloween. Isn't it neat? It, yeah, it's uh, mm, pumpkins and stuff. Pumpkins. Pumpglorms. Hey, Az, is Nine Before Christmas yeah. a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Uh, both. Can such a movie reach that level of power? Yeah. My God. That's pretty you cool. Can watch it, you can watch it on Halloween. You can watch it on Christmas. You can have fun with it on both days. I think that's fair. What if you watch it in slow motion enough that it takes you from the 31st all the way to Christmas? Shit. You'd probably die of starvation. I mean, well, I, you can have food. <laughs> okay. I, will, I will allow that because I'm kind. That's game, that's game changing. Not water, though. You'd probably die of sleep deprivation, then. <laughs> you can put it on like a, a low volume and then just toddle off if you need to. It's going to be intel unintelligible anyway, right? At that speed. That doesn't work for me. Because, well, that's true, actually, because I, I, that's what I actually do every night. I, I go to bed, I put my iPad on, I put 
like a documentary on or something about mm -hmm. ancient Egypt or something like that. And then I, I am like, mm, this is really interesting. And then I realize I wake up two hours later and they're talking about the Byzantium Empire and I'm like, holy shit. Do you dream of Egypt? I, um, I fell asleep the other day watching something and it must have filtered into my subconscious because I dreamt about what <laughs> I was watching. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Anything, anything you want to tell us about? Was it, was it super interesting? Not really, no. Mm -hmm. Um, but, um, no. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> so... Uh, any of you guys ever had a dream where you do something really bad that wake up and you're like, oh, thank fuck. Um, I don't, I don't really do bad things in dreams. Well, it could be an accident. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't mean you actually like, use serial bit or a bunch of people. It's just, it's just normally normal stuff like rape, you know. Oh yeah, I meant, I meant like way worse than that. That's, that's normal. Uh, other than that, no, just normal. Well, normal rape. Yeah, thanks. normal rape. None of that, like, none of that crazy one with, with all the bells and whistles. Do you have to dream where somebody's touching you and just like stop it, and then they won't stop touching you, and you just keep having to fight them off? Have you ever had one where you try to read something in a dream, and no matter how much you try, it's still blurry? And you're like, eh. Yeah, <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. Especially all the lights. When you, especially you when the you lights wake up. Go up. You wake up and remember, and it's like, fuck, I really wanted to know what's on that fucking book. Or and your, whatever brain, your brain is like, yeah, I'm never going to tell you. <laughs> it's, fuck you. Then you shoot yourself because it's so angry. Yeah. And then in heaven, oh. he's like, why'd you do that? And you're like, brain was being a dick. And brain is like, yeah, yeah I was, in fairness. <laughs> yeah, that was on me. Sorry. You're yeah. about thinking the brain. Oh, yeah. When yes, you yes, get yes. Some, some sort of lucidity with your dream, and so you, your like, logic centers start to kick in, because you want to go through the process of what's trying to happen in the dream, but the dream just like fucks off in all different directions and it gets you pissed off. <laughs> Dreams like we're doing this like, now. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, what's we, in no, the chest? We were meant, yeah, we were meant to be doing this, <laughs> and now you're over here doing this, and this is no. Can we come? And then, then by the time you've argued that point, they've gone again, and then you some completely other place doing something completely different. So you end up just going fuck it. Let's rape them. <laughs> Is, is it rape in your brain if they are okay? That means you make it so I've they're not okay with it in, in your my, own brain. In my dreams. I don't think I've ever raped anyone as. That one might be... <laughs> that might just be you. Yeah, he trails know. off the sentence. <laughs> all, of, all of the sex is in my dreams... Is it just me? Just me then? Sensible. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, don't mm. even, I don't even think Hitler raped anyone in his dreams. <laughs> yeah, he was just like, he was a gardener in his most of his dreams. He's just having fun with some flowers. He was living out his, you know, he's painting. My, my edgy humor seems to be upsetting some of the uh, chat. Jews? My flowers are Jews. The heads of Jews. <laughs> oh, so, I'm so multicolored. I hate it. <laughs> so, with Fringy returned, Rags returned, we can finally hit play, right? We no, can't. No, no, no. Just because I can't. No, I'm just. I'm so excited. Here we go with we go. The biggest stars in the world. You can make a few mistakes every once in a while. Your friend Michael Crichton already sent me a bounce back script. It's called Jurassic Park. You're the guy who owns the park. That sounds too small. I want a ridiculous amount of money for it. Well, Sean, if you're not willing to take a slightly smaller role, you may want to consider retiring. Bullshit! I'm as snappy as my leotard and jardage. If the people want giant lizards, I got a role for them. A giant flying one in Dragonheart. I think that would be extraordinarily dangerous. Sham, Sham, you're a good boy, and I don't like you, but you're a dumbass. Shine me okay. up for Dragonheart. Now, see, Sham, you could do you Sham, could do better than this. I don't like your short Connery impression. Well. This it's not as good as most of the average person's attempts. I don't know. That's what I mean, you know, is like this sometimes... Is nostalgia critic doing it, and he just really wants to do it, so yeah. he's doing it, goddammit? Yeah. I was about to say, just like, you know, sometimes there are other people who can do that for you, and it's okay. You it's know, okay. You don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do you all the things. Do <laughs> you don't. And, wait, are they implying that Dragonheart was a bad move? Because everyone remembers him in that movie. Yeah, people uh, are like, yeah, he did a great, great voice. No, not, not, I didn't say it was a great movie, just that they remember him being in it, uh, lovingly. 
People like that. That's something. Yeah. yeah, that's something. No one's like, like that. Sean Connery was in that movie. Like, no, it was like, that's Draco's voice. It's great. Yeah. He's very, yeah. Yeah, it's a great voice. That might not have been the best choice. Well, you know when you... Shut up. I have a rule that's foolproof enough. What the fuck was that? German? Foolproof Deal. enough. Deal. Oh, it's gone, it's gone enough. Ice German Sean Connery. I want to be a dragon. Franchise. Yeah, that's I perfect. I hear Marvel has some major plans for movies. Not that comic book crap. The 60s TV show no <laughs> kid knows about. I don't know, Sean. I got a script here called The Matrix. You play a mentor named Morpheus, and it's supposed to be really cutting edge. Morpheus. That's what I named my lead. Was Sean Connery really going to be Morpheus? Yes. That just yeah, sounds wow. so strange, that is, that doesn't is, it? Man, that is yeah, a true yeah. story. Yeah. That is a true story. I, I, I think Lawrence Fishburne that. is more <laughs> integral to Matrix than Keanu Reeves is. I think so. Yeah, but I think so. Sean Connery in that fight scene instead of Morpheus. Yeah. Morpheus is like super important. <laughs> Look at all this junk out are we doing Tai Chi? Well, maybe originally <laughs> Morpheus didn't do fighting and because the it, because they didn't get Sean Connery, they're like, oh wow, this guy can like do action scenes and stuff. He can he walk. Can, like, he can him. walk without will. We uh walk. we get the story again on why Lawrence Fishburne isn't coming back. One. All he, uh, he wasn't even masked. Yeah, he just wasn't yeah, contacted wasn't about even... it. Man, yeah. that's lame. And he said he said uh uh, uh I guess uh, good luck to them or like it was kind of like, he sounded a little nipped. If I'd be a little lines. nipped too if I didn't even <laughs> say if you, Are they if recasting he, him? Or well, yeah, they, well, yeah he's, he's not in the... played by uh, the Black Manta guy. Yeah, he's got young young Morpheus, apparently. What? We'll have to see. The guy who's played Black he Manta. Like, if you want to know Morpheus. why I'm not in the, Mat the new Matrix, ask uh, Lana. The watch out. Well, and, yeah, watch out. And then you know, and then you find out that Hugo Weaving isn't in it because he couldn't like that. He asked them if they could give him a better schedule to work with because he's already signed up for a movie, and they were just like, "No." Yeah. Oh, Damn. What? So why? Gonna, okay. Gonna All right. This movie actors be make your characters. I mean, I, I, I'll go as far as saying I don't think them being in it would have made the movie great from shit or whatever. Because I'm I'm not looking forward to whatever this script is going to be, especially from the trailer. I'm already like, hmm. But well, feel, also, feels like, weird, man. Yeah. Feels weird. Have the Wachowskis, like, made anything good except for The Matrix? No. No. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember. What, what is their filmography? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bound, Bound. The bound. They movie Bound Raster. with uh, the lesbians. Bound with the lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> um, they made, uh... Jupiter, Jupiter Rising. Rising. Oh, Jupiter yeah. Ascending is an oh, EFAP Movies movie, that is. Like, <laughs> that's definitely an EFAP Movies movie. Yeah. We need to uh, see uh, Eddie Redmayne screaming for no reason all of a sudden. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking... uh, does Viva Vendetta count? Oh, they... yeah, I forgot about no, that one. Did, did they direct it? Um, I, think I don't so. think they did direct it. I thought they produced it. Oh. Yeah, produce doesn't oh. count. <laughs> when oh. I'm talking about directed, oh, I think, well. yeah. Oh well. But that was, I like that movie. I like it too. I like V for Vendetta. I give it a thumb yes. in the bum. Hugo Weaving was uh, yeah. awesome in that movie. Yes, he was. Yeah, they're, they're classed with the um, the screenplay for it. Oh, but it but okay, then that, that's that's actually worth something. I was going to say, that, that like... probably does count. Even if someone said, well, well it was adapted, no, well, but like, still. No, because it's adapted from. Still. Um, but I mean, you, you can, can adapt, adapt things horribly. Totally. Yeah. 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 I, so like, I think that's I think that's a point for them, yeah. I know a lot of people. There are a lot of criticisms of its adaptation, but at the same time, like fuck, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. I feel like they did pretty good. Um, because yeah, we've seen some bad adaptations. We've uh, seen some pretty bad, uh, just horrible awfulness in general. Anyway. Must you always? Re yes. I kind of figured. But this one is a surefire hit. I'd bet my career on it. It's called The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Okay, look, Sean, I'll level with you. I have a script here for Lord of the Rings, one of the most famous books ever written. They're filming three movies all at the same time, something never done before in cinema, and they're offering you the role of Gandalf. You have to be an idiot, nay, absolutely insane to turn down a surefire blockbuster series like this. You guys following the joke? And, and 
So yeah, like he he makes a lot of really terrible Better career decisions. Left. Is the joke. Oh. Yeah. To be fair, the Lord of the Rings that was a really risky move. That was a big gamble in this sense, especially when like who who's directing it? Peter Jackson. Like yeah, a guy who made that yeah, exactly. the horror comedy movies that are like weird. Didn't, um, Patrick McGowan also turned down the role of Gandalf for that. Wasn't he also offered the well, role like, of Gandalf? This the skit is like how stupid. It's like I don't think so. I don't know. It's this is called it's same for the Matrix, by the way. That seems like a weird fucking movie. Well, like, this is the problem. It's it's kind of unfair because before the movies came out. It is hard to hindsight. make these decisions. You have yeah. Yeah, exactly. You have the benefit of hindsight. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, Lord of the Rings yeah. could have been some goofy B movie trilogy that maybe same they, with the Matrix. Yeah, absolutely. The premise: if you just sell people on the premise of movies, then there are plenty of movies that bombed and are infamously bad that probably have really great premises. Mm -hmm. Like the oh, yeah, I mean, that, that, gentlemen. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, a great I mean, premise. Yeah, I guess it didn't I mean, bomb. It's just but... that easy oh, no, it did to it. pick good films. Why have an agent? Um, it, I think it made its money back, but it wasn't like a big enough success to justify doing it. I think anything Van Helsing's the same as that, where it's like it didn't bomb, think... but mm. well, it's like it's opportunity costs. It's like, well, we did make money, but we could have made more money if we did something else. And it didn't make money. enough yeah, money. If to... we made another, yeah. would it uh, pan out? Well, it's just, it's just, yeah. Could we invest that money into a sequel, or will we make more money than something else? It's just, yeah, the economy of movie making and all mm. making of things. Shine me up, fucking Alex. He doesn't clean that phone. Man, I'm just. I think you're an idiot. I don't man, know. that's harsh. I mean, I don't wow. know, man. I just that yeah. is harsh. We could be in a world where the League of Restoring Gentlemen kicked off a franchise and was amazing. That could have happened. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my. All these years? Uh, Wait, Sean Connery can't see him, though. No. That's mm. right. So that joke doesn't work. <laughs> Just like... It was a video call. Oh, God, these credits. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can they make the sound louder, please? I know, I've what? turned it so far down. <laughs> That's why ex explosions... Is the, are the explosions supposed to be funny? They're very funny. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia <clears throat> Critic guy, remember? He does not shake do the... his head. Yeah, so why does he do that? <laughs> he's always done it. He's. I, I, bet you, I bet you he started That's doing fun. it and doesn't even know why. He's just like, That's just <laughs> something I do now. I don't remember it being... <laughs> Different ever. I, I feel like, dude, I know like that forever. I know so little about Nostalgia Critic. Like, I've watched so oh, little. Me too, yeah. Stuff. I know plenty I mean, about hey, him. If the head bob yeah. works. Fucking keep it. I mean, you're still I going. So, so, yeah. yeah. The I most interesting, I think, thing to, I, th bleh, I think, thing to know about him for you guys, if you didn't already, was just his decision of enough reviewing movies. I'm moving on. I think this was this like twenty. 2010? Uh, 2012? 2010-ish. 2012, yeah. Something like that. It's and he was like, I'm ago. evolving now. I'm going to create a show. I can't remember what the name of the show. Someone in chat will know it. Where the uh, idea is we're going to take movies. Real? Demo Reel? Was that it? Demo I think it was Demo Reel. And the premise of the show was to take movies and kind of parody them and recreate scenes. And the trailer for it was like, we're going to do great movies of all time, but even better. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Man. It was, it was hideous and fell apart straight away. Uh, no one, no <laughs> one liked it. Even back then, me, not caring about anything, it's like, I don't like this, I'm not gonna watch this. It was just a huge <laughs> mistake. Uh, is this all part of, like, chan is it Channel Awesome? Yeah. Oh, because all I know is that Channel Awesome, like, imploded a few years well, ago or something. Well, I was gonna say, so that it's happened, and then he story. eventually <laughs> announced, I'm going back to Nostalgia Critic, he just crippled his audience by doing all of that, and then he got crippled mm. again when all of the allegations came out. Uh, of not only just, like, it was horrible to work for them, but then, off, like, several people within the organization were, like, let's say handsy. We could put it that way. Oh. Abusive. Lots and lots of loads of things were released, and they went through fucking hell. But he's still going. He just yeah. kept going. He did. I think what he learned from the demo real thing is like, I will be nostalgia critic forever. I will simply yep. review. Which isn't bad. You it's, know, well, it's fine if you enjoy it. And he, he does seem to yeah. enjoy it. I think. So, yeah, it's whether you I, do enjoy. It. I think so. I think. He I guess enjoy uh, it. I, I think is... the uh, a big thing is why there's so many skits in there now is because 
he can't do demo reels. Vicarious, so yeah, he's like just Vicarious make do yeah. one or two skits in those ones, plus being nostalgia critic. Yeah, because that's um, like a lot man. of his a lot of his stuff gives off the impression like, man, it took you a while to make that, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> even his even the stuff he makes that's super divisive. Like his the wall review. Like watching his video on the wall was fascinating. It was what a I couldn't look away collection of imagery. <laughs> like that's the way that you can review it. Nice and positive. The man unquestioned. I think that's one of the reasons I kind of like him in a way is that there's just this. You could tell he's got this passion, and he's there just an he's effort. very yeah. There's effort and there's work that goes into it. He's not just cashing in on stuff. He's really just, he's doing what he's doing. He's like a really bad but earnest B movie. Well, like, and you just appreciate it. He deserves more respect than Chris Stuckman does. Absolutely. Yeah. Chris yeah, Stuckman's yeah, yeah. a loser, but I, I just think that Nostalgia Critic is way more passionate and actually cares about the craft than Chris Stuckman is. Chris Stuckman <laughs> snubs his nose at what he does. Absolutely. I'm sure he, like, he thinks of Nostalgia Critic is like, oh, uh, when children attempt to review movies. <laughs> 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 Time to upload my eight minute John Wick review. Yeah, I worked half an hour on this. How long was the movie? 90 minutes? I worked 90 minutes on this review. Yeah. <laughs> Others have a naked streak. Sean Connery has both. After years of being one of the most charismatic and attractive actors of all time, something finally started to crumble when he turned down several blockbuster hits and instead chose awkward avenues of awfulty. But see, a movie with Ray Fiennes and Uma Thurman, like, that, that's not exactly like a, some weird random thing that he would have Based chosen. Based on an existing IP from the 60s. Yeah, like... The Avengers it, TV show. And I'm pretty sure, like, didn't he choose The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen because of the fact that he was like, this seems like another weird movie, but I've, I've misstepped with avoiding weird movies, so maybe this is one I should just should just run with, and then it turned out to be a disaster, yeah. and it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm out. <laughs> like, this, I can't take this shit anymore. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck's oh happening? no! Well, I'm the nostalgia. Was... You don't have to. <laughs> no. Some people help. You found a way, and folks have been regretting the extraordinary gentleman. Someone just choose where we are, please. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a team captain who just makes these decisions. We're three and a half minutes in now. I don't know where we're we. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, we need we need to have a come to Jesus meeting right now. All right. All right? Okay. Um. So that's the intro. There is he smiling. That's that's too far. There we well, there. That's where yeah, we were. Yeah, we were at the promo shot. Like yeah. Works today. Called the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, great. Oh, okay. I'm glad we were just for a second. So Thank you. <laughs> Why is it so loud? I don't know. That's not balancing. Comic by Alan Moore, balancing the guy who sucks. Watching, directed by Stephen Norrington, the guy who directed Blade, and starring the guy who inspired the greatest Celebrity Jeopardy episodes ever made. How can this not be friggin' amazing? Well, it found a way, and folks have been regretting this extraordinary dumb hood for 15 years. <laughs> I don't regret it. Extraordinary dumb it. hood. <laughs> extraordinary <laughs> dumb hood. How long did no, it take no, to like, write that one? You guys don't get it. That's highbrow humor. You That's highbrow, yeah. You don't get it. <laughs> you guys just don't get all it. The hated you know, I want to put that in Goodell, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. <laughs> the League of Extraordinary Dumb Hood. It's like, oh. yep. That's like, uh. That is some okay. cerebral humor. Yeah. I I find it funny that somebody wrote that, sat back and went, ah, brilliant. Really? Well, maybe they didn't say brilliant, but I they would... said like, ah, that is that is good enough. Does he swear? <laughs> I can't remember. Does he swear? Um he does. maybe he doesn't. I think oh. I thought he did, but now I'm wondering. I think, he, I think he low level swears. He'll say damn and ass. But I don't think he'll say like the really bad ones. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I've never of, like, heard him drop the N bomb. I'm trying to think of if he said fuck <laughs> before. Has he? The N word. Oh, he critic. has. All right. Well, dumb hood just makes you think like he's gonna say a heckin' fail. A heck. What the heck? Yeah. It was a heckin' well, fail. <laughs> yeah. He decided he had one more oh, film in him after this. I guess it can't be that bad, can it? Let's find out for ourselves. This is the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. You've already said. You've already given it away. Yeah, didn't he just introduce the film you, you, and then he did it you again? You already gave yeah. it away with your skit, and also you said it a moment ago that we've been regretting it for 15 <laughs> years. I, I'm not on the edge of my seat anymore unless no, I'm wanting to leave. Reveal. 
What a I'm heckin' confused. fool. He, he's behind the green screen, right? He's in front uh, of it. Yeah, he's, he's in front of a green screen. Not, be, not behind. <laughs> he was no, behind no, the green screen. That would be bad if it's behind the green screen. He's in front of a green screen. Classic mistake. Classic I mistake. I think he's mistake. in front of a wall. I'm pretty sure it's just a wall, yeah. I don't think it's... Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I, did, I didn't know because it looked like a, like a line where it looks like he's... Why is okay. his tie so loose? Because cool. Because Why? he's oh, he's, he's wearing doing a, a thing. He's, uh, that's not a it's that, punk rock. He's not even wearing. Oh, but he's not he's wearing a um, square. He's not it's wearing like an undershirt. Shirt. Yeah, yeah. He's wearing a t-shirt. It's punk rock. Yeah, he's doing the t-shirt and blazer thing. Ugh. Well, I'm okay Let's, now. I'm, I'm not, not opposed to the t-shirt and blazer no, not, thing. Not again. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I I think it's fine. But I think the tie is the thing where it's like, dude, what it is that? It does not like, complete the ensemble. It, it instead. Acts against it, would you say? There is me? no it ensemble absolutely. when you have a t shirt and blazer. It, Where do you hey, look, go from Phil there? Spencer, Phil Spencer wears a t shirt and blazer, and I think it works fine. He can have like. Wow, well, it's oh, like, wow Hitler wore I'm, a belt. What do we get? So. <clears throat> what point was that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused by the belt one. <laughs> does it doesn't matter if someone wore a thing that one time. So, what I was going to say was that. I think that you can see in that example, it's like, hey, look, I'm like a businessman, but I got like a shirt that has psychonauts on it. You see, I'm hip with the youth. I'm down with the, with um, with what the kids enjoy. It's like, yeah, exactly. You can, you can like show off the things that you like while still being business. I think that's it's a good combo. I, I think that t-shirts with blazers are, uh, it's just this awful combination of trying to be casual and trying to be professional, and it makes you look like neither. I, I think you need to just... Yeah, that's there, what I, I mean. It's bold. It's brave and bold, as far as I'm brave concerned. Brave and bold? Yeah. Listen, invade <laughs> Russia when you're in the middle of a war with the Allies, that's brave and bold. I don't think you'd disagree with that. <laughs> He's just gonna say that the book look is not as bad as you think it is. <laughs> but the tie makes it worse. We can both agree that the tie yeah, makes it worse. Yeah, the tie is worse. absolutely a disaster. Regardless of your like, stance on t-shirts and blazer, dude, blazers, whether or not you think it's terrible or whether or not you're wrong, the tie makes it absolutely worse. I'm, I'm bold. Yeah, like, this nice. is, um... I gotcha. This tie is, like, what the... What the... Why? <laughs> so, so, I think that's just part of the character. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't respect dude, it. It looks like he's got a noose around his neck. <laughs> it looks like a Christmas decoration. <laughs> that's what that he repurposed. That's, that happens it does when you try like to rebrand and it doesn't work. It just has a noose around his neck. Maybe he's just <laughs> anticipating it not working out potentially. Oh then. no. <laughs> oh, Jiminy Christmas. If my, if my League of Extraordinary Gentlemen review doesn't pan out, I'm just yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all betting on this. Rafters, and then, yeah, it's <laughs> my, my old my next uh food that feels what? like a comedy oh. skit a dude who wears a noose around his neck just in case his day is so bad that he wants to wrap it around <laughs> like a pole and kill himself that's, like a thing he's just incredibly <laughs> it's a really wholesome story by. oh and he decides like today's the, wholesome the day now. where i take it off because i you know what? i love living yeah. then he gets caught on something and he fucking hags himself I just make sure <laughs> that I you gotta live in the moment. You gotta live in the moment, otherwise you miss out. You know. I just make sure I've got canisters of uh, pills on my desk. That's all. That's what I do, just in case. Yeah, that's the backup plan. Yeah. Oh, I guess Maybe I should have just bought a tie. As well as expected. They can survive Cleopatra, but not the mouse. An opening crawl says. What? I don't get it. What? It's like, oh, 20th Century Fox. Look, they didn't. The, I don't know. They can survive this Cleopatra but on the mouse. again, though. I it they really didn't do much with this in the film. No, they didn't. So the idea there is that they made the Cleopatra movie was bad. I'm assuming from 20th Century Fox because I haven't seen it. Is that the idea that that's bad? But, I haven't either. And they survived that, but they couldn't survive being acquired by Disney. Is that, I think that's the joke. Uh, Isn't oh, like Cleopatra that film? Yes. Uh, oh, that's the one with Elizabeth Taylor, yeah. I, is it bad? I, I, I that, don't even that, know. That movie, sorry, the movie was incredibly expensive. Oh, that okay. Was, it, it, it was really, it was one of the highest grossing films of the decade at a world, worldwide level, but it cost so much money that it still didn't turn a profit. I see. Damn. Or it only narrowly did.
Oh, so they're not talking about Cleopatra, the uh, young rapper band from the early 2000s. No. They talking they're about talking Cleopatra, about it to this day. Uh, Cleopatra, Cleopatra coming at you. Directed <laughs> by Patty Jenkins and starring Gal Gadot as Cleopatra. Oh, oh yeah. shit. That's oh, happening. fuck. Oh, right. <laughs> Mark I Anthony, totally no. Forgot, I totally fucking forgot. <laughs> oh, has, that come out? has that come out yet? No, 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 no. no. Future. Oh, that's going to be great. I can't I wait not to see that film. <laughs> She's got three films already just confirmed in her future. Like, that's... Most directors don't have that many films and it's just like, yeah, you are guaranteed to make these. Man. Because it's Rogue Squadron, Cleopatra, and Wonder Woman three, which I she's getting a Star yeah. Wars movie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She, Rogue One. Oh, fuck! How? Because Wonder Woman eighty four, man. That's just you know. Who is she blowing? Everyone. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> everyone. Everyone. Jeez. Even Seriously said, though, it. did Not anyone fair. like Wonder Woman eighty four outside of High Top? Because those. I, don't like... think anybody did. <laughs> I, don't, I think it, I think it is the general consensus among like even normie film watchers is that, that movie was weird and shit. <laughs> And that's if they didn't notice the rape. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> uh, if it funny, it was a dream. Freaking bizarre. I just don't get it. I've... Jeez. I think it's Ugh. just people like, one woman was good. It's like, oh, it's not. But, it's not, know. but okay. <laughs> League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, I guess that Disney merger didn't go as well as expected. They can survive Cleopatra, but not the mouse. An opening crawl says... Man, comedic what time. opening crawl yeah. says. Yeah. Really? You this, uh, he leaves... I remember this from even fucking ages ago. He, always, he leaves gaps for laughs, and it's always like... Mm. But if you don't... Don't, don't, leave, uh, don't leave gaps for He's very funny. It's, it, on, it's like, always been like, something I find hilarious, because it's just like, but dude, the other way is better. Don't leave a gap, because then if they don't laugh, they're on to the next thing. But if they do, then they have something they can watch on the next time around. If they miss it, it's fine. Yeah. And also, you're, they're laughing. You got them. Keep going. Yeah, good. keep going. You can replace them all with, things suck. Some asshole might make it better, but things suck. It's easier than following the Phantom Menace text. The Phantom oh. says isn't that complicated for whatever. whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 the Phantom is, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, the Greedy Trade Federation wants money. I mean, we whoa, all whoa, whoa, understand whoa, whoa, whoa. that. What? What's their motivation, though? Uh, what, is the, what is the motivation of the Greedy Trade Federation? Yeah, like, yeah, what why, a, why do they want mystery? money? <laughs> I just don't it get it. It can't be money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, be moving money, swiftly money. on. <laughs> Attention to the starring credits when a goddamn tank is on screen. But well, that's after. Well, nobody well, fucking. I mean, you don't what? have to read the credits. No, nobody. <laughs> nobody can. Yeah. You don't. They gotta put it somewhere for fuck's sake. <laughs> Pretty name. I just like that. Dude, it's like, don't be putting tags on screen if you're gonna be doing your opening credits. Like, well, ladies and gentlemen, can you all please pay attention to the names on the screen? <laughs> These are the actors who are playing the roles of your heroes. Don't mind villains. the tag. The tag will simply be moving past the screen. <laughs> Ignore the tag. Now that you have finished, we will take. We'll have a test. How many of you will pass the test? Which was the first name of the credits? <laughs> <laughs> what a strange thing to point out. It's like, yeah. yeah, I guess so. This is especially frustrating because it distracts from the police's brilliant tactical strategy. Hold! Well, if it didn't work once, better try it again. Hold! But I don't think you're asking polite enough. As a tank, it has to stop after you say halt a third time. You're gonna say halt a third time, aren't you? Halt! The name of the law! Yeah, you deserve this Wiley Coyote death. <laughs> Thank God, newspapers were. Any, anyone got any commentary for that? I don't know. No, <laughs> um, no, I, I don't know. I, it, no, it like I mean, weird like, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I, don't know. I mean, I think that uh, I think the aspect of the the nations kind of having an uneasy truce and all that stuff. Our our commentary on ah, oh, the film doesn't really play up that aspect, even though it's the opening text crawl. Is it's already kind of been more insightful, and we're. He's just sort of doing this on the fly, and he's had this scripted, and it just isn't funny or interesting. I was I was just thinking to myself, like, what could you do with that and make a joke? And it's like, there's got to be a joke there that's more funny than Betty doesn't move. Huh? Yeah. Did he just burp? Yeah. Welcome so. to Fam. <laughs> oh, no, it's just, it's just, I liked it. It's just, <laughs> he's just like, 
fit it in and then carried on going. It was really nice. See, that's what you call comedy. Not yeah. Oh, it wasn't my burp. It was Mel's. Oh, man, then you timed it perfectly. Oh, yeah. We worked together on that. <sighs> They're in cahoots. Yeah. Someone in chat just said, I'm going to get Nostalgia Critic on. Do you think we would even hesitate to get him on every episode if we could? Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be hilarious. Just bring it. He can be a new host straight away. Instant. Come on, Doug. Already <laughs> like, gone. Um... All right, let's we'll, we'll see what happens next. It's like tweets back then, as Germany says, nine us! And the rounding up every textbook mad scientist no just us. every textbook mad. Yeah, no, no us. us. <laughs> no us. <laughs> no us. No us. Nine. Yeah, he, he said nine. Uh, that was the. I know nine. The joke. No, no us. He thought <laughs> no us. Not is yeah. Well, not is nine is not not nine that, is no. That yeah. joke did not work out. He tried. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were, you were one Google search away. Yeah, that's all you had to do. <laughs> one Google search. Scientist cliche. You know, can't one of Once these super the villains ever answer with kawaii? It's pleasant, the weather's nice, it's really all you need. I would identify more with the villain if he said he just wanted kawaii. Man, I feel like these there's, there's, there's like, a oh, Rose Hill joke go? in there that needs heavy <laughs> development. Like, why doesn't a villain ever say something that's nice and relatable? You know, it's, it's kind of the joke. The, the villain always says something crazy like he wants the world. Why doesn't he want something nice and relatable? That's the core of that joke. How do we refine that into the a way where it's palatable? The core of the joke would be something like, you know, I, I, instead of wanting the world, I don't know, I want an affordable, like, internet broadband package. <laughs> or... <laughs> hmm. like, that's his villainous plan. Yeah, it's like, I just want a hot like pocket that to... isn't frozen on the inside. And <laughs> I want yeah. you know, something that's really relatable, something that I can I understand. Want, I want a car with pretty good mileage, but also a car that I can show off to my friends. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I like need a, a car want... that is both practical but sporty. Yeah, because I have like a, a, a wife and two and kids, like, mm. and I have to convince her that it's safe enough for the kids. But I want to have fun when I'm driving. Exactly. And she and doesn't like, want to hey, get so. a Ford ST Focus, and I'm just like, oh, what other options do I have? And it's so like I, a European car, and it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to. No, like those are hard to repair, right? Like I got to import parts. That's uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's got to be yeah something you know more domestic something than American that. or like Japanese, I guess. Like, yeah. oh, Toyota? like nothing in white. Everyone has white cars. I want like a red or a blue. But what type of red? That's that's the important question. Like so, a, yeah. There's again, red there's a, or a, yeah. You got options for this joke. There are absolutely you know? options with this joke, yeah. but it's just like I'm just this is what win. you do in the writers' room. You bat around these ideas. You toss them around. A lot of no, them you, you write the first thing down, and then you go, and got then, it. My work God. is done. Yeah. This is right. A lot of, uh, I don't want to say I it's like just definitive, but like a lot of the jokes so far, the like, kind where you hear them, you just sigh. Like that's your response. Yeah, You're yeah. Just like, uh, no, I no, think I know why I don't watch this channel. <laughs> what? It's it's ridiculous. Great. Also, hi, meme. How'd you do? Good, good. I, I for some reason I thought this was tomorrow, so I just like, oh, I can sleep in, right? And then I wake up funny, um... and I see. <laughs> Dr Drinkus <laughs> thought the same thing, right? And I was in a call with him, I think, two days ago, because it was before Friday Night Tights, and I was like, uh, oh yeah, see you on Saturday as well, and he was like, you mean Sunday, right? That I, like, because I, I fucked up with something recently, they'll remember from Halloween, you will you guys will find out about it next year. Uh, so I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> and I searched my messages, I just read it out to Drinker as Saturday, and he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I fucked up. And I was like, thank fuck, I didn't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think I just had it in my head like, oh, this is the Halloween one, right? So I accounted for when is the 31st in Wales? And it's just like, oh, that'd be Monday for me. So I'm, so I'm yeah. good. <laughs> oh, so that's what happened there. Metal in his that little is, tank. That is my little tank. You should see my big tank. Way. My, my little tank. Now start saying nine us. Nine us. Nine, nine us. us. Nine, nine us. Nine, nine us. Nine. Nine us. Nine. nine. Well then, uh, let us let us let us press on. Is everybody? Everyone's in. We got seven, so I think we are. I think uh -huh. we're good. Yeah. Excellent. I think we're good. Well, I can see why they focused mostly on his eyes. The rest of him looks like a basement cosplayer who couldn't fit into his costume, so he grabbed whatever leftover scraps didn't have Cheeto dust all over him. Yeah, yeah. I just, it's, a little, it's too wordy.
I was going to say, I, 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 I lost track of the money. joke. Yeah. I lost track of the joke. I wasn't yep. even sure what it was. Me too. I, I forgot what we were making fun of halfway through. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was like, what? First of all, he was he was too fat, and then he was just putting on what he could, and then there was Cheeto dust somewhere, and his what? Boy, I, what? <laughs> we're all just like, all right then. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, like, I don't get the Cheeto there? dust thing. Like cosplayers like Cheetos? Is that a was it? Is that I a mean, thing? Yeah, it didn't. He's mixing his. <laughs> I was gonna say metaphors, but they weren't really metaphors. Yeah, I was gonna but... say that's generous. Of you. See, yeah, if you wanted, if you wanted to work really hard on these jokes, you should be making references to common foods that people ate back in that uh, time period. Could Make do people that, yeah. work harder to understand the jokes, you know, instead of Cheetos, what whatever Cheetos equivalent was in eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, instead like, of having I don't me know, go, like, oh, um... I know what you're trying to do, and it's not funny. Have me go. Oh, that might be clever. I just don't get it. Yeah, like scone dust. They wipe the scone dust off of their thing because that's what people do in Britain. They yeah, that's what they do. Oh, oh hell scone. yeah, we do. Yeah. Mm, scone dust. You better believe it, God. Now I really want some scone. scone. I want some scone, scone dust. dust. Scone. Snort some, Snort some scone dust. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> jam and body cream. Snort all it. Of <laughs> Lines of, of like scar dust. Yeah, dude. <laughs> can I just say by the way, he looks so unimpressed with us right now. <laughs> no, I think he's unimpressed. He doing something right. Joe, that's what he's unimpressed with. His own what joke. Are these <laughs> with this joke. Who do these people the think they the are? What did you expect? I don't know. <laughs> this is my dirty Destro mask, my dirty Spartan armor, and my dirty Corella Deville coat. I am Leonidas Corella de Destro. Fear me. No. Oh! Did you catch that gap? That gap I'm for really laughter. I don't why I don't watch this channel. Oh, yeah, he doesn't man. come across as. He doesn't speak. This isn't how you normally talk to people, so those <laughs> gaps don't work. Those, the gaps are so clear. Like, yes, yes, laugh, <laughs> and uh, once you've calmed down, I will continue. <laughs> I'll have another oh. banger ready for you. Yeah. Oh. The Chad Bush of YouTube reviewers, please <laughs> laugh. Please, please laugh. laugh. I don't know. Do you think behind the camera he's got his own applause sign, which he presses the button for? <laughs> and then his and staff then have so to applaud. And, and he's looking at it, feeling so happy with himself, and then he presses it off again. Oh, yeah, remember his singing in the Lord of the Rings one that nearly drove Count Ankula insane? That was, <laughs> that was good times. Yep. That was great. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Attacked in Europe, threatening to go to war, we logically cut to Kenya. As in, can you tell me why the hell I'm supposed to give a shit? Well, the guy is. Oh, 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 that's 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 a that's an astoundingly ignorant thing to say, <laughs> considering the world. Will, like that is that is a bafflingly ignorant thing to say. Yeah, what would a lot of these African colonies of Europe care about what happens in Europe? It's not like war came to Africa both in World War One and World War Two. And then there's, stupid the, thing to say. then there's the storytelling aspect of just because we've said something's happening in A doesn't mean B isn't important until we tell you why. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. And also, this is where our protagonist is, so yeah. the location <laughs> might be relevant. Mm -mm. What a strange can you, can, criticism. Can you guess live? what I'm thinking about his joke? No. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Where's Quartermain? It's shit. Ben Gosling Affleck here is looking for a man named Alan Quartermain. Ben Gosling? What? Ben Gosling Affleck? What? I, I, I guess he thinks... So he looks like Ben Gosling... Um, so Ryan ben Gosling, Affleck. Ben Affleck, yeah. Ben yeah. Affleck, Ryan Gosling... Uh, I'd have to see him again. I don't know. You see, here's the thing. There's Even if the no joke ben works, Affleck I'm not here. impressed. No! <laughs> I, can, I, I can see a twinge of Ryan Gosling, but, like, no Ben Affleck. Yeah. The worst thing no. is, he's talking about the black dude as well. That's, <laughs> that's what I don't understand. <laughs> he just calls him Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> What? Black Mumbazo, Uncle Ben's <laughs> Uncle Ben. He Uncle doesn't ben. like Uncle Ben though. <laughs> Why did he mention the lion? We should have been focusing on the lion behind, looking yes. like it's going to eat everyone. There you go. That's see, that's comedy gold right there. We're just helping you, Doug. Just just give Uncle us a chance ben's to help you out. Doog, Doog, Doogie. Doogie. Affleck here Doogie. is looking for a man named Google. And tell me if for a brain dead second you would actually believe this is him. Do I have the A I brain dead blind. second. A brain dead second. <laughs> a brain hey, dead second. Put, that is, you put that is that a very interesting unit of measurement notes. there. Pull up notes smaller. That's Which gonna is... go on your notes. What, well, what is the sentence? The question... Just wait up. Tell brain me for a brain dead, dead second. Tell, tell me for a brain dead second.
Well, th yes. this begs the question, which is longer, a brain dead second or a brain alive second? Probably oh, a... Uh, which one's longer? Oh. I mean, is there a brain dead... Like, what is a brain dead brain second? second is. Yeah. Oh, no. Well... Hmm. <laughs> He's got us thinking. Nice one, Doug. He does have us yeah. thinking. Good on you. That's more <laughs> than most you, DFAT movies do. If you're brain dead, there's no concept of time because you've gone. No, no, well, maybe the cells around that. It's a a brain dead cell. Well, a, hmm. a living cell inside a brain that is dead. Or if, um, if, if you're brain dead, hmm. you're gone. That's it. It's over. Goodbye. Well, so maybe the POV the is outside longer? of the dead brain. You know, it's like you look at the dead. A second to a dead brain is. No, I got what nothing. What the hell are we talking about? I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping someone would help me, but I just I understand it's difficult. So, well, mm -hmm. we've learned a lot today. Yeah, no, we haven't. Dead second. We... You would actually <laughs> believe this. <laughs> is... I have the pleasure of addressing Alan Quartermain. Uh, yes, you do, sir. Indeed you do. Yes, that's it. And you want to know what I'm not into? Lying. I'm told- Well, maybe if someone lies to you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> also, <laughs> if you don't know who Alan Quartermain is, and everyone's like, yeah, he's over there, and he says, yeah, I'm Alan Quartermain. What's what I mean? Well, I mean, he's like, yeah. he's like he's idiot, he's obviously know. lying. He's like, how would I know that? <laughs> what am I supposed to base that on? I don't on? know who Alan Quartermain is. Why would- <laughs> You know, like, Sean Connery doesn't exist in, like, my universe, right? <laughs> he could be anybody. Yeah, he's like, that doesn't even look like a Sean Connery at all. You're like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, would you look at Ryan Gosling Doug, and be like, Doug, yeah, that's not a Gosling. It's because they didn't read the script, Doug, that's oh. why. For that. If only we could figure out who the real Quartermain was. It could be anyone. Even that Sean Connery-shaped man to the right. Oh my god, yeah. yeah oh, Sean yes, Connery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, just, oh, wow. You, 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 I... Why would Sorry. you do that? How <laughs> 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 could you have done I this? What? Sean Connery <laughs> exists in this do universe I, Do I have well. the pleasure of talking to Sean Connery? <laughs> Also, is it, they then, James Bond? Wait, this joke wouldn't even Gunner. work. This joke wouldn't work because if Sean Connery existed in this universe, they'd say, "No, that's not Alan Quartermain. That's Sean Connery." Uh, Sean Connery. Connery. <laughs> yeah. That's not. That's not and Alan Quartermain. So this joke doesn't work on any level. <laughs> no, He's been gone for another thirty-one years. This, these jokes need work, Doug. I mean, if he was <laughs> talking about how the movie expects us to think this guy is Alan Quartermain, I'd be fine. But like, he's. It's like he's criticizing the the character instead even, of the movie. I'm but I, I would go as far as saying the movie. I think the movie thinks that we are smart enough to have noticed it because the character looks so shifty. It's like that's probably not him. Mm -hmm. Like they wouldn't make he's him so shifty if like, not. Yeah, he's not Sean Connery. <laughs> the Empire needs you. Do I need the Empire? I'm Quartermain. Oh, movie got us. Nigel, Man. Okay, I guess he was. Because I, because we as the audience know that Sean Connery is this character, this character who's actually part of the universe is also meant to know. It's, it's, That's fucking stupid, Doug. What is it? Stupid I, is I, the I, delicious, rich taste of Cadbury's cocoa. Yeah. Um, I actually think this part of the movie's fight, the idea that he gets people who just want to hear his adventures away from him as a friend, yeah. like that, it's, it's not even bad for and security. he doesn't want to reminisce. Yeah. That's and the old established he doesn't like drink. to go back to those, memory-wise. Yeah. But instead he's like, I know you're Sean Connery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're Sean Connery, the famous actor who played James Bond and was in the Avengers movie that I made fun of. Remember, remember now is in some films too. Chico's at bay. Is he? He looked pretty bad at it. This representative of the British government says it was about to no, work. It literally he, worked. It literally he worked. Yeah. With him, and yeah. then Sean Connery was the one that said, "No, I'm Quartermain." Yeah. What the fuck? It works. I don't know what else to say. Like, <laughs> so it, it, it literally Canal. worked, Doug. It literally <laughs> worked. Do I need the Empire? I'm Quartermain. And he oh, bought movie. him a fucking drink. Yeah. Got us. Nigel is N yes. useful for keeping the story seekers at bay. 
Is he? He looks yes. pretty badass. Yes, it works. No. Yes. Representative it of the works. British government says he needs him because war is on the horizon. Countries set at each other's throats, baying for blood. It's a powder keg. War. With whom, exactly? A world war. And by world, I mean mostly Europe. Which is pretty much the world to us. No, it, like, the world. No. I guess, no. Oh, no, it's the world. The, 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 I, uh. Putin hair is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a substantial Jesus. part of the planet. <laughs> yeah. That way. Do you mean the world? It's like, no, nothing like, so literal. literally. Like, is that I don't mean the Chile? world. I just mean I just mean Europe, which also owns like a significant portion of the world through colonies and other. UK for me. <laughs> why would you say this? <laughs> it's just world really world. stupid. Well, there'll be I tank battles in Quebec. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> tell me when there are tank not. battles in Quebec. <laughs> that it's a world war <laughs> when there are tank <laughs> battles in specifically Quebec. <laughs> Stories of your exploits have thrilled English boys for decades. So many directions I could take that joke. Mr. Murdoch. Then take it. That, you, you, you didn't, didn't do any, any of them. Oh, thrilled <laughs> English boys? He did he he referring to funny. molested children? He didn't make a joke. He just said that there could be a joke. <laughs> There could be a joke. He say I could point out that if you really stretched it, this could be a pedophile related bit of humor. I guess so. I don't understand. Did I don't mm. yes. You might as well go for it. These assassins here shoot the wrong quarter main. Christ, you could say a five year old girl is quarter main and they fall for it. And they have themselves no, a he's an no. old man. This is an old dude. dude. That other guy's an old man. <laughs> This isn't remotely comparable. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Jesus. For a pretty skilled knife man and a lot of Sean Connery to hit, that was pretty embarrassing. Nothing like what do you mean? That was pretty close. You're only just, death. But it's just, right. I mean, yeah, like, if anything, I don't know, like, he did all right. <laughs> like, yeah, he's did okay. <laughs> Listen, this is not the villain fucking up scene. Like, that particular one is not the one you want to go to for villains being terrible at hitting things in this movie. Yes. This is a, this is a plot armor heavy film. I know. It went through the plate, too. That's what's impressive. Yep. But there's one assassin left. What, do I smell bad? Fearing the war will come to every- Oh, that's that. Nah, that was a- well, that was a bad joke. He was writing this, and he thought that was such a fucking banger. Oh. Now, see, here's the thing: you don't need to swing all the time. Like sometimes you could just. Be but then normal I can't hit just... all the time, Fringy. That's. Has anyone, has anyone I, got that I, I like guy's that the noose, strategy, please. I could do that guy's noose. Right <laughs> give me, now. give me your that noose. noose story. I need it. The no, man with the really... golden noose. The yeah. man with the golden noose. Golden noose, I found your weakness. The bad guys are established that they'd rather kill themselves than be captured. It's like, they must have a really heavy, like, philosophical or duty-based investment in this evil dude. Yeah. Why, the, why are they willing to go know. to these extreme zealous lengths to avoid capture? For what? It can't be for money, because they... That's dead. So I don't Maybe understand. Yeah, they just not dying. They believe in the cause. What do I smell bad? Fearing the war will come to Africa, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Connery agrees to help and is flown to London to meet up with the man in charge, M. No, that's not a James Bond joke. That's really what he's called. My superiors call me M. Oh, that, that's fine. It's a Even Connery a has a look that's like, oh, dumb. I get it. Oh, you think that's bad? Listen to the what? joke that precedes it. You made that was a bad Sean Connery you impression. Not as good as and a bad joke. Yeah. You think that's bad? That dispelled out to you, the dumbass audience, where it's from. Around the world in 80 days. <laughs> Even that laugh, it seems to say, We're making this kind of movie, huh? I should have mailed the script to the Marx Brothers. Did you look in the fucking even... mirror, Doug? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> It's like insulting I mean, the I mean, film for being so heavy with references. I mean, your fucking joke so far, dude. I was gonna Jesus say, that's all Christ. his references are as well. <laughs> Take the title being told to his self awareness here is like, yeah. uh, okay, not so much. The newest generation of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. League of what? No, seriously, when do we start filming the real movie? They've discovered these- Dude. That gap. That wonderful these gap. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not <laughs> laughing. I know. It's just I'm, it just I'm, hags I'm, on the on the shot, and we're all like. Come on, then. Next I'm, thing. I'm just dying. Every time we say something, <laughs> I just die on the inside. It's... <laughs> Ooh, and the part of my soul just gets ripped away, and it's just like, God, stop. Please. God! He's introduced to. Wait, what, sorry, what was the joke? What was that? <clears throat> I don't know. Of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Sorry, you're going to have to see this, this other no, joke again. Seriously, Dang when it. do we start filming the real movie? <laughs> when you take that stupid tie off. These attacks are all the work of one man who calls himself a phantom. Very operatic. God! He's introduced to the. Oh. That, that, was, that was actually cleverer than anything you've said, Doug. I mean, that was yeah, fine with me. That yeah. I don't mind it. Captain Nemo. Alan Sorry, the Captain correct Nemo. grammar was more clever than cleverer, but okay. Sorry. Rumor has it that you're a pirate. And white, according to most movie versions. He's also greeted Wait, by. Wait, is that. Well. That's. Wait, it's, that's not true, is it? I don't know. Uh, I actually don't Captain know. Nemo, I, I, isn't he, uh, like, his, Raj, British Raj? British Raj? That literally I'm portrayed white. as white, but... Oh, but I maybe. It's, Wikipedia tells me that, uh, though originally of unknown nationality, he's later described as the son of an East Indian Ra... Is it Raja or Raja? Raj. Raj, Raj. right? Like, but it, uh, it's like R-A-G... Well, I know it's Raj, but, like, it says Raj... Not like the tiger, and like, the pronunciation. He's not the tiger's kid. I mean, yeah. just to belay any confusion that or might have existed. Okay, I'm, I'm now less confused. So, All thanks. Right, <laughs> Look, Michael Caine. Don't fucking throw bloody spears <laughs> at me. 20,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs> we are going 20,000 leagues under the sea. Oh, I thought you were going to say tangerine. You had your chance. Oh, we're going to fall. Oh, it's going to bring a tangerine <laughs> in. 20,000 leagues under it. the tangerine. Yeah, I want to watch that movie. 20,000 tangerines under the sea. He's just the shite of a league. <laughs> you, well, you got options. It could be that he's at the bottom of a massive planet-sized tangerine, or alternatively, there is a secret society of sentient tangerines at the bottom of the ocean. They dance around, like... I, I was about to say they dance around like a uh, a juice thing, like the thing to squeeze juice, but that'd probably be like the equivalent yeah, I don't know of if they'd worship a juicer. Them. I don't know. No, that'd be like the devil, you know? I <laughs> once found juicer. a jellyfish the size of a tangerine. Long time ago, <laughs> no, I was no, no, 20,000 no. leagues under the sea. A tangerine. A tangerine. She. Shy of a she. According to most movie versions. He's also greeted by the Invisible Man and Mina Hucker. Right. And seeing how M is played by Richard Roxborough, who plays the villain in goddamn everything, I'm just gonna guess and say the M stands for Moriarty. Would you prefer Moriarty? Don't even cut ahead. You know they're lame enough to do it. Wait, but... Dude. Oh, well, you've already you seen the film, that? so... Now, see, this is what I'm talking Moriarty. about. Like, why did you pause? Is that a joke? <laughs> the joke is... Oh, you knew they were gonna do it. It's like, that's not a joke. That's just like an observation. That's the point you're making. Why are you pausing? It's not even an interesting Somebody, observation. It's just... Uh, no, it, it's not. Somebody in chat, saying... please. Every time he pauses, can you just put some Seinfeld? Like, man, imagine M is Moriarty. Wouldn't that be... They did it. You're like, oh... Having watched the film, I'm gonna guess that M stands for Moriarty. <laughs> and I was right. I was right. What a Sucked in movie. Which name is that? <laughs> I call it um, Automobile. Okay, this isn't Dora the Explorer. You can say new words at a regular pace. Automobile. Or car. Yeah, except why would he do that? Why would, why would he call it a car? You, you yeah. It's yeah. he's he's explaining it slowly so that he understands why it's called an automobile. Yeah, because if you say automobile straight away, an they might just be like, "What the fuck did movie. you just say?" Yeah, exactly. Like, like, could you imagine if somebody's like, "Oh, that's a telegram." It's like, what? <laughs> like, a television can you slow that out of it. An automobile, yeah. really? Like it? It's kind of been diluted because of its usage, but automobile, like automatically mobile, like yeah. that's that's yeah. kind. Of and mm. that's why I think he's deliberately saying it, because he's, he's just like, isn't this fucking cool? Think about the name. Yeah, <laughs> like, like exactly. auto because it is a cool name. Or an auto anything, really. This is my you gotta remember the, bow, 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 bow. And you got to remember the crying. time that this film is hey, set, um, the automobile was not a common fixture that's at right. this point. It hadn't even so been he, invented at this it point. It hadn't been invented at no. this point. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. The makers of this comic were so embarrassed to be in it, they just sent their names. In fact, wait, Alan Moore isn't playing the villain? I think that's the biggest twist so far. What Why gosh. did you pause? Is that a joke? I mean, that's the Phantom. He looks a bit like disheveled Alan Moore, right? Like, yeah, so mask. they're paying Not homage really. to the person that wrote the source material. What is wrong with that? I think honestly, the payoff was just the anything from it. Alan, Alan Moore looks, looks weird. Kind of like that guy. Yeah. yeah. Are you, is he going to watch birds and then go look? King Hitchcock put himself in a cafe. Yeah. <laughs> he probably would comment on that. Where are you from? Mr. Dorian Gray. Well, ask us to do the question. What? Wait, what? It was? No, he, he could have said, <laughs> no, I'm, the joke, children. I'm Jeff, his boyfriend. <laughs> Let me go get him for you. Why would... Yeah, he wants to make sure he's the fucking guy they're looking yeah. for. What the yeah, hell? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dorian Gray, that is just like, wow, now I know who he is. You're like, uh, it's a fucking he weird really, he, video. What, like, I mean, did you, didn't you check the internet to see? They should have. Sure, Mr. Gray. You, you see, Mr. Quartermain, I'm ungoogleable. Oh, <laughs> that's his power. Fuck are you my, from? my Wikipedia entry Gray. ages instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask us a question. Oh, you're missing a picture, Mr. Gray. Then you don't miss a thing, do you? Oh, sometimes. Good scripts, for example. I miss those a lot. So we go from one big I'm building sorry. where we're sitting okay. around talking to another big building where we're sitting around talking. You know, I, I think I'm another build uh, but There's a big building where we're all talking. It's like, whoa, how tedious. Well, <laughs> going back to the stair thing with the portrait, I think our criticism was they're getting, getting really heavy handed with the reference here. Instead yeah. of kind of building up to it, they're really laying it on thick. That was our criticism, right? Yeah, because if, if nobody had said anything, like and they went up those stairs, you and I would have been like, ah. That's a, uh, that's something that the mm. director wants me to notice. Yeah. Mm. Instead, you have someone oh, go, you have a painting the, missing. Well, if they brought, they, you saw a wall full of paintings when he's walking up, and then he sits down, and behind him, there is a place where a painting has been removed something yeah or like maybe alan is the only one to even really notice it like as they're walking by he's the only one who turns and even looks at it it's not given special attention it's just he just is the only one just who cast an eye that. to it maybe just cast an eye and you see him casting an eye towards the empty spot yeah yeah this the league of extraordinary gentlemen could use a little more subtlety yeah yes yes it's i think we all agreed that earlier yeah mm -hmm. yeah talking to another big building where we're sitting around talking um, we all of us have dreams. Man. What? what the hell was we, that? Oh, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> that was death. The death of comedy. Yeah, I, I, sorry, death I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go vomit in the toilet. Be up, Oh no. <laughs> I can hear from the back. Squee. Scientist. Even Skinner has stealth. Cheers. Oh look, we can see the drink go down his throat. Shouldn't we see all the food and drink he's ever had then? Like. Over the days ever? Weeks. Why would ever? You, you, not, Doug, you know that you know the people. Not, not Doug, you know that people. You know that people do piss and shit, right? Like it doesn't just stay in there forever. Not the invisible man. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dude. just all the food he's ever eaten in a day. I think <laughs> when we were watching it, we were like, "Are they going to show the process of it turning into piss?" <laughs> <laughs> they don't call him the piss visible man for nothing. Yeah. Shouldn't we technically be seeing it turn into... Oh, there you uh, go. Why are you making me think this movie? Oh, fuck your plans. Oh, you <laughs> just... Man. He, he went really high-pitched there, and I think he should have given a warning, you know? This is pain. I know. Warning before the video starts. Shows up to try and take out our heroes. We give to you all special one-time invitation. Join me. You know the mask is supposed to cover the ugly part, right? Connery no. gets a wink from <laughs> No, it isn't. He's trying to mislead the heroes. It's a, it's so if he has a mask that shows uh, a scarry face, it will potentially mislead the heroes by thinking, oh, that couldn't be M. This guy's got a fucked up face. M doesn't yeah. have a fucked up face. There you go. Nailed it. 
you didn't watch the movie, this movie does a few things correctly. That is amongst them. Okay. Yeah. He keeps going after things that aren't problems. <laughs> and there are plenty of problems to latch on Oh, Captain onto. Nemo's not white. Ooh. And I'm like, what are you doing? Someone who's on like, his side, though. It's not hard to criticize this film. It's not there, hard, there, there are some no, very not. low dang dangling fruit that he's just missing. Well, we're, we're almost to the Venice section. I'm sure you'll have fun with that. Another shootout commences. Ladder! 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 Henry, did you survive that ladder? I will never be the same after that ladder! I think he just- the ladder was- Oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, you were so corny! <laughs> oh my god, that- that did hurt me a little bit. <laughs> Well, I, I think my joke would have been something like Alan Quartermain uses his assault ladder or something like that, you know? Yeah. But there's just no... Uh... That hit me right in the cringe. Yeah. <laughs> in my cringe gland. You sort of, you sort of real... Oh, Az, did you hear that just now? No. All right, let's replay, wait. let's replay it for Az. Oh, no. Hear it. Oh, okay. He's got to okay. hear it. Join oh. me. You know the mask is supposed to cover the ugly part, right? You don't want a mask covering your face. Who's on his side, though, and another shootout commences. Here we go. Ladder! 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 Henry, did you survive that ladder? I will never be the same after that ladder! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> oh, right in the cringe hole. Right in the. Yeah, it's just in the cringe mines. You, you uncover the, the cringe thing. Balrog, and you're like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the the pr this guy's skin. the yeah. principal skinner of fucking jokes. You know, so are they, are they is, are these are funny, aren't they? Of course they are. It's just the kids who are wrong. It's just Eva who's wrong. He just keeps fucking talking. Like, shut up. I suppose it's our fault for hitting play, but... <laughs> <laughs> this guy has a sword, and all we have are machine guns, and that's nothing compared to this guy's cane. You know the stormtrooper... No, that's a sword. He pulls it out of the cane. Um, and yes, I thought, I thought, why is Dorian being so brazen when the machine gun? Because he can't fucking die. <laughs> Nemo doesn't have that excuse though. So, so he doesn't, <laughs> no. he doesn't need to care. He doesn't need to care. And he's not just using a cane. No, it's a fucking sword within the cane, dipshit. Defeated by the Ewoks are probably looking at these guys saying, "You know what? We do good." Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, uh, <laughs> it's not really comparable after that clip, is it? <laughs> what are you? I'm White Prince. I'm complicated. Oh, that is so uh, something White Prince like, would say. Uh, What's happening? Uh, What's oh, 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 that face! Like, that uh, face! <laughs> well, here, the thing is that the joke, I guess it makes Look, sense. That's it, Mark. Hold on. Has anyone, has anyone got, got any a, cyanide, please? I gotta screen on. cap uh, that face. Oh, you can't kill yourself like the bad men in the movie do. Yeah, I mm -hmm. wanna do that. You're not in Africa, <laughs> it won't work. Yeah. Ah, I want it to work. <laughs> so unfair. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> this face, by the way, is the, the drama comedy face, but the, the, the well, the sad, you know, the tragedy <laughs> comedy faces, you know, those? This is the tragedy yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is fucking tragical, right? I'll give you that. Yeah. Well, yeah. There's no, there ain't no comedy in this, but it must be tragedy. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at those eyes. Yeah, hey, thank you. I'll, I'll your take the Benadryl. I've been offered some Benadryl from the audience. I'll take the Benadryl, thank you. <laughs> That's what I you want see. I'll try to stretch it out. Hold on. <laughs> we'll make it long. <laughs> Yeah, just stretch out. It's really funny that way. Let me see if I can do that. Reveals her power too, as apparently she's from Dracula. I don't know. Everything else is spelled out. Who's this? Um, Dracula. No, what? she's her. Uh, all right. Well, um, yeah. I, what we can't do is we'll, we'll move on. Well, uh, what, uh, no, I'm just confused. What uh, you know? <laughs> she, what else she's meant to be a vampire from? I don't, yeah, that's the, it's so weird. She's, she's, she's a vampire from fucking different strokes. Like, what the, what the fuck? Is well, it, like, in Avengers, you're like, oh, here comes Hulk, also from Marvel Comics. You're like, yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> you do know that Dr. Uh, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Okay, never mind. Yodi. And you are Special Agent Sawyer. Oh, cool. Did you trick some kids to painting out the bullet holes from Dorian's suit? Where the hell did those go? You're put, put, on on a a new new put on a new sure. suit. Put on a new suit. What? Dude, he had it ripped it's not off hard him. To criticize this movie. Jesus Christ. Why are you making it? Also, Can we send this man back to kindergarten? No, please? Sean Connery's face is perfect. He's like, shut up, Doug. 
Exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to smack you in the face like I do my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> you don't even have to say allegedly because he's dead. No, he he admitted he admitted to it. He, well, he, you'd still he, maybe could it, it? Does that work that way? If someone just says that's something I did, and then they say that's something you did, can they sue you, or is it that you cite the fact that they said I did it? No, he was he's unashamed about it. He said women push buttons. He said, oh no, I've seen the, I've seen the interviews where he's like, women need yeah. to get slapped sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Base <laughs> Sigma that just, Connery. Me, that just made me love him even more. <laughs> oh no. Sigma grindset Connery. He, he made his living essentially beating up men on the big screen, and then he says one thing about women getting hit, and oh, it's a big Suddenly wrong. it's wrong. You want equality? There you go. They travel to Paris to get one last recruit, Dr. Jekyll ripping off Van Helsing. Or... What? What? Van Helsing? No. Van Helsing oh came God. out after this. Oh my performance. god. You know what? They're both wow. shitty movies. We... <gasps> no, Van Helsing was great. Van Helsing's one of the greatest movies of all time, I'll have you this know. Is, this is a step below Van Helsing. Yeah, there was no. The thing this film was really missing a bit of Van Helsing was like a midget Tingle. sort of cooking machine of some kind. <laughs> yes, midgets on fire. Yes. Didn't he review Van Helsing? Yeah, he did. We covered it and we hated yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> that was last year. Yep. <laughs> you called Van Helsing. I mean, boring. Yeah, but, but uh, it was. Uh... Robert Louis Stevenson that created Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in fucking 1880 something. So you're saying so, this film copied so Van Helsing? No, the <laughs> film, the both films used a character which was public domain. See, so you're saying that Van Helsing ripped this film off? I'm no. getting Robocop Darth Vader vibes from this. Yes. I'm saying Doug, Doug needs to shut the fuck up. Dr. Jekyll ripping off Van Helsing. Or did Van Helsing rip off this? You know what? They're both shitty movies. Uh, they, they, they didn't, nobody ripped off anybody. They just used Hyde because... Do you Stop guys ever see the, the Russell Crowe, Mr. Hyde? Yeah, uh, no. God, no. The from The Mummy? I, no. The mummy. Oh, yeah. I it, it, that, that. Is that called... That is called The Mummy, right? He yes. turned up at the end of the mummy to do the Tony Stark thing. He, well, he has a he has a scene because I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen his scene where he turns into Mister Hyde, and it's basically just Russell oh. Crowe, but like chubbier. <laughs> and so angrier. current day Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's also got it's it's fucking destroyed. But yeah, I guess that ripped off this film. There you go. Because yeah, that's how it works. People lose. I'll give credit that the effects on him are legitimately pretty good, and I also like Brilliant. that Nemo's Sword of the Ocean mm -hmm. actually looks like a Sword of the Ocean. You know, cloud sword, but still a sword. But most of the movie is just people okay. standing around yapping. What? Too so many no. motherfuckers. Oh, no. oh, no. Gone with enough, the wind. Much. There's a lot of people just standing around <laughs> yapping. The nostalgia oh. critic. Oh, the, 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 the stats critic. You want to talk about people talking too much? You want to talk about people talking too much? For real? For real? For real? Now, all things you could criticize. Jeez, like <laughs> this is too talking. This film has a lot of fucking action scenes. To be fair, like it's just. Is he gonna say it's boring too? Like, now yeah. Sean's face is like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna give you a slappy, shucking little shit. <laughs> <laughs> it would be too bad, except they're not even talking like they're interested in what they're saying. These are the what? most famous characters in fiction. Each one of them has a book centered around them. Yet they all talk in the dullest of roars and the most. I'm gonna need an example. You have to be exciting if yeah, there's a yeah, can you, can yeah. you back up that statement? Give me please, an example. Sir. Mono of well, I was surprised you yes. ultimately joined the League. So it's clear with Da Vinci's blueprints and. Enough explosives. I mean to undo the flaws in my character. How are these examples? Some of these are some yeah, of these are these appropriate. Are I mean, I guess Nemo could have a bit more inflection, but yes. He seems to. Okay. The, Nemo is possibly the most monotone, but that seems deliberate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, he's just very. He's very. I mean, this guy yeah, is sure very on organized action. and militant. Yeah, he seemed like that's the. He wants to come across that way to his men and, and everyone yeah. around him. He's commanding. He will. Yeah. yeah, he's literally commanding a small army, as far as he's concerned. Then, like, also, the, the... also, it's a very grave situation. Like, do you expect them to fucking joke around like they're Marvel characters? Like, mm. do but, Dorian, but Dorian Gray was lying. 
yeah, he well, wasn't there. He wasn't there at all to to, to fix the uh, flaws in his character. Quite the opposite. True. He was there to lean but, into them. Also, awesome. but also the delivery of Dorian's there sounds contemplative. I, like I don't know why it. you would like want it, it to be I different. Like it. Yeah. He's he's a, he's yeah. a decadent, cocky. This is a man that has and has had everything that he's ever wanted: wealth, riches, uh, sex, uh, drugs anything pokemon cards. this man this this man has had it all he <laughs> he should be going around with an air of you know arrogance really because he's been there done that why wouldn't he enough explosives i mean the flaws in my character your past taunts you page master developed these characters better Talk about oh. haunted past, you dipshit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, you could you could tell Sean Connery deliberately takes a few seconds because, like, how do you respond to someone saying your past haunts you? It's like, uh, yeah, uh, well, a love triangle between Mina and actually everybody, but no one has any chemistry, even Two as people? friends. He's gonna sink the whole city. Yes, and. Uh... Mark off his world war. And the biggest insult is, as a comic book movie, think about what you can do with this idea. Maybe the vampire takes Jekyll's potion. Maybe Tom Sawyer can turn invisible. Maybe Neil. What? Why? Why? What? 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 what characters were? So if we gave the. What? So if we just started combining powers. A vampire, what if the vampire hide, I guess. Invisible. Why would the very what fact is these, these could... people see themselves as cursed? Yeah, I mean, that could be a heroes. potential idea mm -hmm. in some mixtures, like, oh, like if the big, like if Tom Sawyer has to take um, the, the hide potion to fight off the evil one for whatever reason, like that could, you could do something with that. But like the, the vampire turning into invisible, no, like keep them distinct. If this... they already have powers, then maybe you don't have to just cross them over, you know? and Quartermain can invent some new kick-ass weapons. Combine these characters. We're not an inventor. They, yeah, they, they have the kick-ass weapons. Yeah, I didn't know Alan Quartermain was an engineer. Mm -hmm. I thought he was just accurate. A very accurate adventurer. Hmm. It's Nemo really who's the guy that yeah. would be great. And he does have amazing new technology. <laughs> exactly. He's there. They're on it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Open oh, your come fucking up with eyes. some really interesting ideas. But none of that is taken mm -hmm. advantage of. They just also... I mean, the Nautilus is pretty impressive. Just they saying. Like... Yeah, I don't think they... I mean, the when it comes to them not utilizing characters... I mean, I think the issue comes down to screen time and how many people they have to juggle, which is the issue. Right, Not so, that they weren't yeah, creative enough. This guy's created radar. It's a form of radar <laughs> for tracking. He's created the Nautilus, the, the automobile, automobile. Cruise, cruise fucking missiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the and this guy's talking about, oh, he hasn't down. done anything. He hasn't wanted to it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's so true. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Did you watch the fucking film? I, I like every oh, time we every time we cover nostalgia critics, someone of the guests has like a fucking meltdown. <laughs> Sorry, it's, 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 I ain't got time for this shit. It's only natural. It's only yes. Really interesting ideas, but nope, none of that is taken advantage of. They just all sit around and talk at a very no, they don't. No, no they come don't. on, no, like, they don't. They're... No, they don't. <laughs> True, my dude. That's just not true. Sure, surely when we get to the Venice scene, he'll say like, okay, this wasn't sitting around and talking. This was something, this is something else. Low tone like they need a goddamn nap. They're supposed to have the chemistry of the X-Men, but they have the dozing effect of NyQuil. I don't think they're supposed to have why, the chemistry of the X-Men. Why are they meant to have the chemistry of the X-Men? What in oh my the God. world? <sighs> Did you, like, did you see the Avengers? <laughs> did you see the fucking Avengers? The, no. These people ju have just been thrown together from like, oh. and they have complete histories. They've been training together or anything. Like, come on. Why would these people have the X Men chemistry? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the X Men are constantly, like, they're not always getting along, depending exactly. on what the, the movie is. So. He's writing this down and going, oh, this is so clever. It's not, it's fucking bullshit. I want X Men. It's watch like, the film. Watch, watch, watch X Men. The I don't know. They, all, they they fucking implode, and that's what leads to the whole fucking airship getting destroyed. And oh, for fuck's sake! Very the chemistry of the X Men. Like they need a god. They're supposed to have the chemistry of the X Men, but they have the dozing effect of Nyquil. Why are they supposed to? Where does Man, what a, what a genius from? joke! Can I just say, like the 
Because you're like, oh, what, what, what sends you to sleep? It's like, oh, dude, what, what's the sound oh, that does that? Oh, Fuck. Oh, oh damn. Uh, it's the dosing effect of NyQuil. Will people understand that reference? I hope they do. I'll give them time to laugh. Does my audience know what NyQuil is? <laughs> Just to put the Wikipedia page on screen, just to make sure they understand. Taking advantage of. They just all sit around and talk at a very low tone like they need a goddamn nap. They're supposed to have the chemistry of the X-Men, but they have the dozing effect of NyQuil. So he'll attack the conference. NyQuil. NyQuil. Thank you for your uh, contribution so far. Well, so those two are awkward with each other because... They, they, the Quartermain clearly judges him for his history. Yeah, uh, Quartermain is super pro. Um, like yeah, he called him a pirate, and, pirate. and he's, he's sort of embarrassed by how he judged Nemo. Yeah, and so, so at so this point, like, Nemo's helped them significantly, and so now it's like, we are awkwardly allies, even though you're, you've done some shit that I disapprove yeah, of significantly. Yeah. Well, no, he's he's like you've actually proven yourself to be a good man, and I prejudged you as a, you know, barbaric pirate. Yeah, and I think uh, it he, doesn't he's, doesn't he's Nemo even he's wrong. And Nemo says something like, "You might not have been." That's not too harsh, to be fair, or something like that. Because they get yeah, they start getting along. Yeah, they have, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think he's yeah, it's just realization that uh, he's he keeps prejudged some, somebody. He keeps cutting the gaps between people talking and playing those clips, and so it's like. I mean, yeah, if you cut out the dialogue, it's going to look really awkward, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he wants it dense, like there's so much going on in every frame. <laughs> he wants to prove that it's really boring, but it's a really weird... Ma this and Van Helsing, he, he like claims a really like shittily paced and boring. It's like they're filled with action scenes. Some that are fucking insane. Yes, yeah, yeah, somebody's right. Why does Doug sound like a hysterical woman when he speaks? He's well. That's just he does that on purpose. He tr he was like inspired by Animaniacs. He wants to be a cartoon. Like oh, that's his whole yeah. thing. He, he wants to be <laughs> Daffy Jesus Duck. Christ. I'm just considered. I think I, yeah. want, I want to be an eraser then and rub him out. <laughs> <laughs> rub him out. Oh no! Someone draw that, please. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't draw that. <laughs> so anyway, as uses his his forehead as a as the eraser. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Imagine some of the great. Well, well, I wasn't about to say about Alan's oh. backstory and his character. Yeah, you just cut, why, you cut out all the. Us, why can't you let us meet breathe? Why can't you let a scene breathe? Yeah, because that scene, he cut uh. out the part before and after the speaking with the launching of those um, discs or whatever they are, which goes... This <laughs> is like, yeah, there you go. Fucking obsessed. Like, you know, damn, calm down, you bro. Know, they, they <laughs> like, <laughs> comic book characters of all time got together, and this is all they did. Oh, oh. no. Is it a good book? Yeah. Really? Why are we here? What did I miss something at the skit You're at the saying beginning? Isaac Asimov's foundation is not a good book? Are you Wait. fucking with me? Oh, I mean, is that off. is that the joke? Yeah, this is not a good comparison. They're just sitting around, not planning shit. Or talking about their pasts or whatever. You had to just like dicking what around. My memoirs. Oh, I bet you led an interesting life. I no, hate really. this. Blade didn't lead an interesting life. That's that's funny, right? Because that's you, how Wait. could you bring these characters together and then they're boring? How could you do that? Is is, is the joke that these are lies? Half <laughs> <laughs> his dirt phone gives him AIDS. It's one of the. That's the thing with the Star videos. Like, figure out the joke. Most of the time you could get it, but sometimes you're like, well, it's a bit more complicated this time. I guess they had the costumes, or should we like talk about our passions or our dreams? Why? That's literally the scene that you cut off. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you cut that part off. Holy fucking shit, Oh my dude. god. Man. <laughs> you imply he was listening to the I film mean, when he was taking notes. I hope no, I'm, no, not, no, no. I'm not one to go out on a limb and defend the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It's like, you're being a little disingenuous, Doug. <laughs> yeah. just, just a bit. <laughs> Leave the movie alone. It didn't hurt you. <laughs> Blade wasn't <laughs> an interesting life. I'm just like, I... The joke has got to be that these are lies, right? 
It's, yeah, it, it, the joke is, why would you take characters like this and then make them do boring things, such as write out memoirs that aren't interesting? I guess. It's not even the memoirs that aren't interesting. He's saying that I don't have a life worthy of memoirs. Also, I'm Blade. Well, that, that's what I mean. Oh, the memoirs life. wouldn't be interesting because <laughs> he's declaring Neo. <laughs> that he has no history. Like, or nothing oh, of interest. Neo? Hmm? Oh, is he supposed to be Neo? I don't know. I just thought it was Neo. Black glasses, black jacket. He might be oh, Blade. I, I thought it was, said it was Blade. Blade. I just didn't go for the racial stereotype yeah, like you, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fine to racially stereotype Blade. Just Blade is specifically a black person. Wow. That's, that's really and fucked up that you do that, right? Blade, all he Blades is black He's not typically people. a black person. Blade, Blade can be a, anyone he wants Blade to be, is right? a black person, yes. Blade can be a, a little girl if he wants to be. Okay. Lift every <laughs> voice and sing. He's Bleo. 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 <laughs> Either of you seen League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Yeah, yeah that, that sucked. <laughs> See, if it was, I thought if it was Blade, he would have had vampire teeth. Oh, oh, so the man. ending of the skit is that Blade slash Neo asks Wonder Woman <laughs> and Spider Man, why does Spider Man have yellow eyes? Is that normal? He's got jaundice. <laughs> his, his eyes. He's got a piss fetish. His eyes are. I, I guess my brain accepted it at the beginning, but now that the shock of the scene is wearing off, I'm becoming a little more lucid. But um, I get this. The skit ends with Blade slash Neo asking Wonder Woman and Yellow Eyes Spider Man if they've seen the movie that Doug's currently reviewing as bad, and they say, "Yeah, it's bad." Pretty funny, yes. When you didn't hear it, but I shat myself laughing just. Oh. Now. Oh. You do not have loud shits normally. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Oh wow, that was loud. Ouch. I wish metal shitting covered that up. <laughs> like Sorry, I tried really hard. Right or something. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Okay. Oh, we commercial the break. League makes it to Venice to apparently stop a bomb that the Phantom is going to set off. No one will ever see us. Come on, it's not like this thing can go underwater or anything. God, I don't think it's for stealth. It. By the way, how, how did he okay, miss so the criticism? Wait, how, the how obvious criticism. Go in the fucking no. canals, you dipshit. Yeah, that's not the idea that they're trying to remain no. secret. I don't think that's the criticism. It's that how the hell are they here? The <laughs> He's asking no why they aren't submerged. Be, yeah. yeah, why aren't they deeper? <laughs> He's, he got it completely wrong. He's asking why aren't they deeper in the Venetian canals? <laughs> Poor man. I feel my brain turning inside out watching this. <laughs> like an infinite density of cringe has just sucked me in. No one will ever see us. Come on, it's not like this thing can go underwater or anything. God, this is stupid. By the way, have I gone colorblind, or is there not one spectrum of color in this? See some red over there. It was, it, in the fairness, it was very desaturated. Yeah, one I agree. Spectrum I, yeah, of I, color. I share my one, wait, sorry, one spectrum of color. There is a color spectrum. Please put that put that in your dome. You put that one in well, your dome. See, see, the issue here is that Doug is also on a spectrum. <laughs> I will definitely agree with that. But yeah, it is very washed out. I that's agree, what he meant. But yeah. That's <laughs> not what you said, one. though, Doug. The fireworks have no color, and that's their only purpose to go boom. I mean, they, they're clearly. A lot of wait, wait, wait. What does boom have to do with color? Well, yeah. I, I, he's. I don't share this criticism, but I think he's saying that the, the. I think he's saying that the fireworks are not colorful enough. All right. Yeah, but he said the their only job is there to go boom. No, you no. You, if you want to criticize the color, you go the then the fireworks. Their whole existence is to be spectacular, not to go boom. Boom has no well, they, correlation to color. Well, I guess he's thinking that their only job is to go boom, and that is the explosion that they do. And that explosion should be colorful, I guess. I, I think his saying. sentence wasn't done when we paused. See so so you like, guys being cutting him off and shit. Let him finish. Right. By the way, Sorry. let him color finish. Color? <laughs> one spectrum of color. Yeah, we're the nostalgic oh, critic fans. Why do we have to listen to that again? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we're the nostalgic critic fans about, in chat. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. It's like if it was, you know, if it was somebody else. 
I'm not seeing anyone we're, defending him here. I want to like, see all of Chappie. Like, let him fucking finish, Ethan. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there they go. So let the man speak. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn fireworks have no color. And that's their only purpose, to go boom and have color. Maybe the okay, phantom is there you go. Have color. <laughs> ah, we should have let him finish. Damn it. Well, I, I think I, I was right then. Huh? You went, you went yeah. off boom. He said yeah, and you, have you, color. Yeah, well, you knew where he, you guessed saying. where he was going. Well, yeah, I guess where he was going, yeah. <clears throat> or at least you, well, if, that, if he ended with boom, the then it, you, you guessed what he was trying to say that didn't say, but then did say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genetic fusion My, of the villains yeah. from Rainbow Bright. You know that makes too much sense. I saw a flash what? frame there. What, 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 I can't what, what, what? take these pauses. Yeah, it's what, like, I, I, want, I want that to be played again. Look at that lovely amount of time you get to laugh. Prepare to laugh, everyone. You know that makes okay. too much sense. Now. But no, no, no. Oh, I don't want to laugh. I want to die. A ton of Venice's buildings. Get ahead of the collapse and destroy the next building. We can interrupt the chain of destruction. There'll be no room for error, but I tell you it could work. What are you talking God, even when explosions go off, they just talk. Wait, they're <laughs> <planning a plan. laughs> it's it's this is this is a weird piece of criticism to complain when a movie has people talking. That's uh, <laughs> that's an odd one. About how to stop? You know what? I like it when I like it when my movies have less talking. Why do I want to see characters <laughs> interacting when I could see color spectrums? <laughs> that's what I need to see. Two minutes ago, was complaining. Brilliant. Do oh, something. <laughs> yeah, now he's, he's bored because there's explosions, but they're talking. They're ruining yeah. it. Uh, it Videos be like this are why films suck nowadays, because there are such obvious criticisms in the air, and he's going for... I don't even know what he's going no, for. None here. of us he's know. Because just... <laughs> how did he miss, like, the fucking... The Nautilus should not be able to be here. Like, how do you miss that one? That's the one everyone gets. Yeah. Gosh darn. Speak of extraordinary conversations. Except the conversations are boring too. God, that sucks. Oh, no, that was a great joke. I think it was a joke. <sighs> that was a joke sure. there? I don't that know. was a joke. <laughs> I legit couldn't tell. But is yeah. this type of this type of critique which does make probably studios just go, oh, we just need fucking brainless fucking action yeah. and no development and You get Black Widow. Uh, yeah, you get black. Where the fuck, man? I ass, hope you man. liked it, Doug. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Oh, it's your God. fault. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Doug's fault. Doug's fault. Called automobile. Remember, a device so new they say it like this. Automobile. Well, it shouldn't exist at this time. Well, it, obviously, it's a him, fantasy I'm, world that he invented it. Like, yeah. I, I have much more issue with yeah. the Nautilus than I do with that. <laughs> like, it's, I have no, yeah. Like, or it, it's not even, the issue isn't even the automobile existing. It's how he says automobile. Yeah, that's what he's criticizing right now. It's like, yeah. okay. It's not even the existence of this incredible piece of technology. Oh. Automobile. It's so funny. As the new device called Automobile. Remember, a device so new they say it like this Automobile. Can be driven perfectly by Sawyer, who, despite never seeing one or being in one before, can pull a fast and furious trailer pretty quick out of his. There we go. You yeah, did it. You got a criticism. Oh, you did it. Wait, oh, fuck. We're well, unfortunately, we found one. Unfortunately, I have a problem with this. Can we? I need to hear this sentence because I'm pretty sure it's like just really stilted and crap. All right, we, we, we should hear it. By Sawyer, who, despite never seeing one or being in one before, can pull a fast and furious trailer pretty quick out of his ass. Can pull a fast and furious trailer pretty quick out of his ass. It's not. It's not <laughs> great. Pull a fast and furious it's trailer not, out of his ass be, pretty quick. Exactly. Exactly. This, and even then, system, I would have. I don't. I wouldn't have said. I it like would that. amend that. I would be yeah. amending this one. Yeah. We need there's, to make but here's the, there's. It's it's one of those things he says where there's something there. It needs so much refine. You know, like when it you needs tweaking, you know though. you know when you dig into the side of a mountain and you find like raw iron. You know, and you're like, this is. Well, I don't know about that it's personally, good. but I'm sure somebody's <laughs> had that experience before. Well, yeah, many, many people have. But <laughs> when you. I, I assumed all Australians just go digging for iron. We all just go ice. digging Whoa. for iron ore. Yeah. yeah. You just you just bang your head. I'm a mini Jeter ride hard. Nobody's yeah. gonna understand that except for a uh, meme. 
but you can have uh, but like it's Even like, he was it's like, like the raw <laughs> the yeah. the raw oh, form well, I just didn't hear the joke, joke. right <laughs> like raw iron needs to be purified and refined and shaped into something useful and nice that's kind of what his humor is when he actually has like a concept he just finds that raw iron and he just says he just slaps it down as like boom. Yeah, this yeah, is a pair I, of gardening shears. And like no, that is a not. that is a very <laughs> that's a very apt analogy. Actually, it's like it is this something? It's like well, yeah, but not yet. Like this yeah. is it's like serving somebody. I don't know, just like a pile of wheat. And it's like, hey, here's your drink. It's like no, this is wheat. It's like <laughs> yeah. what are you talking about? This is a drink. You know, this is all of the raw ingredients. That, oh, dude, th again, this feels like a comedy sketch where it's like all of the raw ingredients at a restaurant and it's like, you got to make the food yourself. And then you get this video. <laughs> 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 I swear, this is the first time I've ever driven this automobile. For a second, that was you shallow. really I love that one. You love it. Really sticking it's with the, it. That was first, that one. It's like the oh, first proper criticism funny. he's got. He's ruining it by bringing it like the brown section of Automobile. Please help me. Well, the old ones are the best. Man. <laughs> He'll be. <gasps> Another criticism. Hey, Nailed another it. Criticism. And hey, you, you you didn't hang on the uh the the thing yeah, right cut. there. You you cut it. Wow. Good job. He's getting better as the video goes. Maybe <laughs> he's getting stronger. He's gaining strength. He's evolving. <laughs> Into what though? <laughs> He'll be fucked. <clears throat> Jesus Christ! He oh, you back. fucked it. All right. Well, was little... <laughs> yeah, oh, he's yeah. back again. He's back but immediately. Crash, at least I was half joking. No, you weren't half joking. That was completely a joke. That was a yeah, full yeah. Joke. We know that was a. That, we hoped. Yeah, it, we would have half a, joking. Yeah, you, that was a does anyone joke. does anyone remember the episode of The Simpsons where Bart has like the the Fringy gadget does. belt? Remember, Wait, remember which one? The, the the episode of The Simpsons where Bart has the gadget belt and then like he encounters yeah, the yeah, police. Yeah. And he presses the send help yeah. button. Yeah. It no, it's goes. it's called the police. I told you to Well, can you read? Call the police. And they just beat the shit out of him. That's me right now. I just wanna I just wanna press the call the police button on this video. I wanna see yeah. where it says send help. Just in help. A tell. Tiny, tiny help. Yeah. help. 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 Right. I call it a telephone. <laughs> Here's a phone. Call someone who cares. No, not like that. Even I know that clip. Yeah, it's fucking great. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we knew. I remember a phantom comedy. A cemetery of oh no. Wait, wait, was there anything else? Or are we going to carry on with this? Um, I didn't want to interrupt anybody there. Well, I, well, let me use the loo real quick. Now that we're pausing to pause, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'll put us on this wonderful frame. Yeah. <laughs> That's a face I'll you want to punch, isn't it? <laughs> See, here's the thing, right? <laughs> Comedy, you know, comedy is very much like there is hit and miss. I that is, that is an element of it comedy. It comes in threes. But, um, it does. Um, but like all misses, you know, like just every single time you're just swinging and missing. Like, I don't know what that looks like until today. Somebody out there laughed at some point. Somebody did. They did. And I feel like that's worth writing a thesis on. The one person who laughed at... The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen reviewed by Nostalgia Critic. It's just, yeah, that thesis would just be called Why, and then you look into it. <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, was, was the person, uh, by any chance, Doug? Oh no, watches his own videos and laughs. Oh, could you imagine? Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be so sad. Oh, I fucking nailed that joke. Oh, yeah. One more. No, no. I'm oh, so funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. So good. I'm so good. good. Jesus Christ, so he really ready. is fine? Give him a scratch, at least. I was half joking. They stop the rest of the bombs as Connery hunts the Phantom down to a cemetery of his failed movie choices. <laughs> Look, there's Medicine Man. You see yourself. What? The yeah. I mean, yeah, see, I feel like, kind of again, like... that's one you could maybe refine into something better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if it, it's just like. <sighs> <laughs> like, there's a joke there, but Every one of them is that. Like it's, uh... 
You know, it's pretty funny him calling Connery. Weird. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. Okay, this is how you refine it. This is right. how you refine it. So you you set it up right. The 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 you start off with a part one, a, a a graveyard of Connery's acting, you know, choices. Right. Then you leave it, and then you proceed to later in the criticism where, or later in the the video where Moriarty, you know, is hiding. He's like Moriarty. Then you know, hides behind Medicine Man. And it, it, like you, you set it up and you sort of refer to it later subtly and then you just carry on, right? Instead of making this big deal out of it. I, I, I prefer that, yeah. You see yourself as the brave John Bull, but you're weak. You know, it's pretty funny him calling Connery weak when he's skipping away in fear like the naked guy from Life of Brian. You don't look like you don't the have a gun. strength here, buddy. You look like yeah. He's so the idea Which is, is he's weird trying to. He wouldn't have a gun. It, it is. Well, all of this is weird. It's weird that he doesn't just fucking escape because he does later when after he's been stabbed. But uh, oh, while well, during. Yeah, where it, I does guess. army go? You know. Yeah. Um. But he is in like he's trying to intimidate while escaping. So of course, yeah, he'd be he'd be proud, he'd be scuttling around. Yeah. Missing Hobbit dwarf. Boring. Son of snoring. But it turns out the fan. The Phantom! That's right, it was M wearing a mask under a mask! You don't know the whole thing. You know, for a criminal mastermind, you really didn't need to do a lot of this. You had a really nice place to hang out. There is literally no point in you going to all these places except to make monologues about wanting the world. The world. In fact, he only sorry, said the what? world once. Yeah. Yeah, you love that. Again. Mm. Well, the scratched audio recording, given a scratched film reference, despite it not being recorded on film, should explain. And I've been true to the girls said to me. War will come, sooner or later. As inevitable as summer into autumn, it is over. For you. I think between this guy's Clinton eyebrows and his Peter Dinklage bonking William Shatner voice, he could be the world's hammiest magician act. Even the League- I didn't follow that. Oh, for fuck's sake. It ends up being scramble, you know? Just, just, just. If there's no joke, just oh. stoned. <laughs> just don't. Just yeah, just oh, oh. <laughs> he's gonna hit the world's <laughs> worst magician act. Who the f gives a shit? It feels weird because he just went over like ten minutes of movie, and that's the best he could come up with. It's just like oh. okay. Yeah, it's kind of lame. This is definitely Mr. First script. It was a ruse getting closer to my Am I over here? Or am I over here? I'm actually right What does that have to do? <laughs> what do you mean? He's not trying to does, hide. What does that have to do with what what is in that scene? Like <laughs> He should have said doing his best M doing his best impression of that man from the fast show. Cairo. And you're just kidding, I was in front of you the whole time, but I fooled you for a second, didn't I? It appears what? he started Stop this it. war because he saw war as inevitable anyway. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. Instead of speeding it up, why don't you goddamn stop it? Yeah, but war mastermind. was inevitable. Uh, and he wants to make money from it. That's the idea. Yeah, but, uh, but he just said he, he wanted to start war because war was inevitable. Yes. Because in 1914, the First World War. He just, he just said, like, why not try and stop it? It's like he doesn't want to stop it. He doesn't right. want he doesn't, it, yeah. he's, a, he's the villain. He What's doesn't the, want to stop the war. What's the profit he from the war? Yeah, he, 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 he's correct, because Moriarty is correct in as much as he sees Europe as a complete melting point that just needs a tip, uh, and it would send it into spiraling out of control, which is exactly what happened with Franz Ferdinand, etc., etc. So he sees what's going to happen, because he's a genius, he's a villainous genius, but he's a genius, and he's prepping for it. So he's yeah, trying. The good guys are trying to stop him. Yeah, yeah. Here's he started this war because he saw war is inevitable anyway. Hey, here's an idea. Instead of speeding it up, why don't you goddamn stop it, you freaking mastermind? Nevertheless, he wants to be. Why you wouldn't, would, you wouldn't uh, want to. Just hey, hi, to. hi, uh, Doug. This is Professor fucking Moriarty, you dipshit. Not Sherlock Holmes. He doesn't do it's nice stuff. One. Yeah, he does the mean it's the stuff. the bad guy, not the good guy. Most powerful Bowser, why do you want to kidnap Peach? Why don't you just stop? Don't do that. <laughs> Bowser is mean. Stop it. Yeah. He's mean. Yeah. Kidnapping is illegal. Mm hmm. So he steals samples from Why all does the Donkey League. Kong Jekyll just stop like throwing skin, Mina's blood, Connor's down. accent? He's got them all. This is why it's a little hard to pay attention though, as through all of this, Hyde is making faces in the mirror, oddly enough, both figuratively and literally. What fool reveals his stratagem before the game? Figuratively Wait, making fig faces yeah, and the, literally making faces? He is literally making faces. He's what, literally making faces. What do you mean faces. making 
faces figurative. What is he even saying with that? Pl hey, Gadelb. He's making faces figuratively and literally. But I'm I want to so, see that notepad. I, but I want to know what he thinks he's saying. <laughs> I don't know that he knows what he's saying. There's the notepad, yeah. I'm still thinking about the statement. <laughs> don't think Maybe about it. Maybe that was what it. he It'll wanted you to do, was to think about the it. Making faces both figuratively and literally. Just but he's, he's, he's not actually making them literally. We see them as a manifestation of Hyde's duality. They are not figurative faces, though. They are literal faces. <laughs> like, that's, why, that's why I don't, I don't understand. Know, I don't know how one figuratively makes a face. Though, as through all of this, Hyde is making faces, oddly enough, both figuratively and literally. What fool reveals his strategy before the game is over? While I've rambled on. I honestly don't see how... Was he referring no. to how Dr. Jekyll was making literal faces, and the reflection of Hyde was making figurative faces? Is They're that what he literal, meant? literal, though. I know, okay, but I, is that what he is. meant? I guess that's it, yeah. All right, well. We did, did I miss the Mount Standing Why comedy I while I was gone? Nope. No. I honestly oh. don't see how <laughs> making not. faces to the side enhances anything. Especially after 20 what? minutes of it. Will you knock that what? off? You've been doing that! I don't... Oh, what? no. What are you... What? What's around oh. his neck? Hopefully a noose. Anal beads. Africa. Oh my I, goodness gracious, there's no space between them either, that's hardcore. <laughs> that's quite the face she's making, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. This it's is a body in the image, honestly. making that face both figuratively and literally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's saying, like, the faces don't enhance anything, and I'm just like, what? I don't understand. What the, is that a criticism? Yes. The entire review. That's all I got. But the, I don't get what he's trying to say because the the thing is that we're seeing the duality of Doctor Jekyll and Hyde. We, we're seeing the conflict within him because uh, his beast wants out. Well, it's, it's simultaneously, they say lower beings can detect the sound being ran through the entire ship, and Hyde can hear it. That's why he's. He's saying, yeah. like, make the sound stop. Yeah, because the, well, yeah, there's, there's two entities within... Yeah. Her, well, you know, two entities That's within... That's why the Jekyll is like, what? And Hyde is like, ah, it hurts. <laughs> I don't! It turns out, not the bomb on the sub as well, leading to the most witty of parting lines. Bomb voyage. I got that from a Captain Crunchbox. The bomb goes no, off. he it's said it. You didn't get uh, it. Uh, we got the crunch box. Right. Star Trek makes jokes like that all the time. Like I don't that's understand. Just, that's funnier than anything you've said in the whole. And fucking also, there's episode. a character in The Incredibles, one of the best written films of all time, with a character called Bomb Voyage. The French bombardier. Bomb He's the French bomb. Yeah, exactly, and it's great. Do you see why it was such a dumb idea to bring all these characters together? Because, well, they can work together to become even stronger. Yeah, why we didn't the hell didn't you just live. visit them individually to get the samples? They'd be- Well, it's easier? <sighs> Put them in one place? I don't know. Less powerful know. without all you the supernatural this... backup. Yeah. Put them in one place, I mean, take their abilities, and then kill them as a unit. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you win the Red Brown Awkward Scream Award! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's Space Mutiny. I get that yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think yep. so. I, wa I watch Red Letter Media, too. Mm -hmm. ...the ship from sinking and bring oh, it up MST to the surface 3K. to figure out their next move. Bomb Voyage, I just got it! Ha ha ha! We're getting a signal. More oh, code. Only an extraordinary gentleman would figure that out! Well, I'm assuming he's saying it for the sake of the vampire or anybody else who may not know it's Morse code. I don't know. Why not? Is this, is this not the face of please laugh? Is this not just the... <laughs> the I'm begging you. <laughs> please clap. Morse code. I'll even translate what it says. Dot, 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 dot. Oh my god. I'm so glad we don't have cameras on right now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well.
Pull ahead! Pull! They're told where M is. Follow him in the submarine to his secret hideout. Invisible Man sneaks into his hideout to report back what he finds. Of course, being completely naked and somehow surviving the goddamn freezing cold. There, you did a good job. Uh, oh, yeah. you did it, you did it. Well done, clap clap. That makes three yep. out of a fucking 30 minute video. <laughs> it's doing great. <laughs> On the, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which is riddled with- Yeah, a movie that doesn't room. make it hard <laughs> to, to just to detect these things, but it's fine. I saw snow on his dinghy. No, oh my god. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Help. help. Send help. Dinghy? dinghy? Uh, Call the police. <laughs> dinghy. That, you should reserve that for a Captain Nemo joke. You know, I'm, I'm, yes. serious question. Serious question. Honest to God, serious question as well. Is this channel like orientated towards kids? Is it meant to be for kids, or...? I'm, I thought... I, I have memories of him swearing, so I'm confused as hell, but yeah, this f feels yeah. like it's for the like, literal fucking eight-year-olds or some shit. Why would they yeah, be watching League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? He's in a scary mood today. He's a dingle. <laughs> dingle dangle. The dingy peepee. He had a joke in his Batman and Robin review that was basically just a series of fucking swear words and epithets, so for some reason I doubt that... Or maybe it's for men with the brains of eight-year-olds, I don't know. <laughs> He says in the hideout there's a ton of tanks, knockoffs, and metal supersuits being made to take over the world. Well, at the very least, we're promised a kick-ass climax of none of those tanks, none of those subs, and only one of those friggin' suits being used. Well, yeah, they're all items for the future war that he intends to support. It's not like they're all manned. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know if they're ready or not. We don't know if people have been trained in them. If they're yeah. ready, it's, yeah. Oh, Maybe people can't get to them. But it's okay, because we get this weird yeah. shaving edit in the middle of the action. Shaving edit? So he's sh he's getting yeah. shaving done, and they notice that. That's what that means. Of course, that's yeah, how that's we crazy. got rid of his mustache. It's all falling into place! Thank God they focused on that! Oh. Uh, it's not why they had it. Does he think that they did that to, to let us know? Uh, that's, why, that's why he doesn't have his mustache I'm, anymore? I'm gonna get back in two minutes, I just... Need, need to, die? to go kill, my, kill yeah. myself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See you enough. when you're done. Fair enough. They walk into the room like today. and he's just, just having line. shaving done and, and they notice that. I don't understand why that was so shocking to him. Oh. I'll give credit that there are two cool things in this climax. One is this line. We have trouble. I call it sport. That's just awesome. Okay, that's okay. fine. Why are you leaving a pause? Fine. This isn't a joke. You I just saying you like it. I guess we're, we're supposed to be like, <laughs> yeah, That's it is awesome. Dope. How the fuck? Because someone made this. Somebody cut this together. Um, like when they were cutting it together, did they watch all of this and go, yeah, those those gaps? They really bring it all together. Like who watched that and I was assume, cool with it? I thought he was the one that cuts these together. So maybe he does. But how does he watch that and, and is happy, you know? I think like, I think he thinks these jokes are funny. He did write them, after all. <laughs> He's, yeah, yeah, sure, but I mean, like... Again... I get, like... Uh, <laughs> comedy is hit and miss. But how do you have me, all, all of these line up and... And just, you sit there and you're like, Yep, that's, that's cool. Good job, me. That's a keeper. That's, and a, keeper. that's a keeper for guy? every single one. <laughs> As far as I know, he was never introduced before, but look at him! He's the only guy having fun in this entire movie! It only gets better when he takes Hyde's potion and covers himself with it! <laughs> this movie is doing everything right with this character! This is the exact weird-ass guy I want to take this potion in the exact weird-ass way I want him to take that potion! Leading to holy shit, look at this! <laughs> Why weren't we getting this movie the whole time? <laughs> so you just want you just want monsters to man, thanks, buddy. You're the reason. You are the reason. You're the Enough of this to see two big slabs of meat mashing Enough, enough with this setups character. and characters. Ugh, cringe. Puh. Give me those meat meat meaty boys. Shitty 2003 <laughs> CGI monsters.
Oh, Doug. <laughs> what have you done? Just a reminder that his main criticism of Jurassic World was that um, the, the dinosaur action didn't go far enough. Oh. Must have loved Fallen That's Kingdom. That's his main piece of criticism? Yeah, they oh. were just like, no, they should have gone even further with all the ridiculousness. They they should have had the compies going in and eating all the burgers or something. I think he said something to that effect. It was oh. really dumb. Man. Ring ass conversations are on the way. Do not. Or would you prefer Professor James Moriarty? I prefer a surprise that actually surprises. Like just. You already how covered that. Mm. Mm. They never mm. again was. But I guess this will do. Actually, no, it won't. But the movie's made. And escapes what the oh, Mia yeah. and clearly doesn't kill her like that's nowhere near her heart. But she surprises us by pointing out that was nowhere near her heart. I, you got another one. That's all, I think that's yeah. You're gonna point wow, out how yeah. her how many hairstyle changes. I, I think just noticed that. Yeah. Plot twist. Yeah, we're about four-ish. Time you missed. Oh, that's right. It's a man's heart in his stomach. If you were a guy, you'd totally be dead. I... Are you gonna point out how her hairstyle changes, please? He, he ain't gonna do that. <laughs> oh God. She shows him the picture, killing him off, while supposedly man comes to help Sawyer. It's okay, Skinner. What makes you think I'm Skinner? <laughs> what makes you think it was smart to tell him that? That's oh, another one. Good job. Another one. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Mm. Dumbass, you could have had him dead in a second. Now he's just weirded out that there's and two you cut the joke instead of letting it hang. Yeah. <laughs> Connery meets up with M and tries to finish him off. Oh no, he has an Ash word. There'll be others like me, Quartermain. You can't kill the future. Oh lord, will the villain make it? Why are you making us concerned about him? No, it's just tension to will he oh. win? Yeah, what? We're, we're seconds away from before, victory. Right? That's the tension. Does does he think you can only do that with a bad guy killing a good guy? Mm. Apparently. Goes both ways, my bro. Mm. Mm. You're wrong. Mm. Mm. And reveals, oh, though, that he has Connery's son. Yep, <coughs> his son. They borrowed from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom book of weak-ass twists and M. Wait, what? Huh? We, I need to hear that again. I... He just, yeah, he just fumbled that. No, he no. Thinks, he thinks so is his son. Does he actually think that? No, Not that can't make right. it. Why are you making us concerned about him? Though that he has Connery's son, Sawyer. Yep, his son. No, they he said, are you gonna let him die like your son? Oh, like yeah, son. he actually he fucked this Tom up. He Sawyer thinks is Connery's oh, son. Oh, Jesus. That's not, wow. that's not what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is incredible. How did you How fuck you that up? <laughs> oh. the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> this film this has is... two characters in it and he fucks one of them up. The, the, yeah, the, the point Moriarty makes is like, your son is dead, will you let Sawyer die just like him? Yeah. This, this is the point. Man. Oh, jeez. Do you really think Sean, like, like Alan Quartermain is like, oh man, you're my long lost thought dead son? He doesn't, he clearly doesn't behave that way if that were the reveal for him. Jesus. Nice. Feels though oh. that he has Connery's son, Sawyer. Oh, jeez. Yep. His son. They borrowed from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom book of weak ass twists, and M gets the jump on him. Please fact check your fucking script. <laughs> oh, I didn't know Batman counted as a fictional character you could have in this world. Lord knows no, I didn't. it wasn't Batman, it was uh, Quartermain's son. <laughs> That's hey, Quartermain's son. <laughs> That's Quartermain's yeah, son. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, Quartermain's son's getting away. Quartermain's oh, son. Get back here, I can't lose Quartermain's you. Son. Get back here. Other Quartermain's son, quick, stop <laughs> other Quartermain's son. They're, everyone's a Quartermain's son now. Quartermain's a fucking player, all right? He's yeah, got a lot he gets, of he gets around. Sean there. Connery got around, let's just... You know, we, Shockingly, you know. no daughters. Spreading <laughs> his load everywhere. Yes. <laughs> We welcome <laughs> Austrian Mr. Freeze so <laughs> Oh my god, wait, go back to that Mr. Wait, Freeze Mr. screen Freeze cap. Reference. Go, go back to that screen cap. There is a thumbnail Mr. in that Mr. screen Mr. cap. Freeze is uh, Batman his son. As a fictional character you could have in this world. Lord knows I'd actually welcome an Austrian. Oh, hello, Mr. flashback Mr. FM. All oh, right. Wow. Oh, did, couldn't have just crop that out. Yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. Nope. Someone smile. 
finishes M off, but apparently can't save his out-of-nowhere father relationship in time. May this new century be Wait, now he says just a father-son relationship. I mean, I think he's still under the impression- that would still apply if he thought they were father and son. So it sounds very like he- Yeah, he's that. really yeah. fucked up that ending. Yeah. Wow. Even the main character's death seemed dull as shit. He doesn't- oh, Shit! Wow. He said shit? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, wow. those kids are gonna be like, "Mommy, what does shit mean? <laughs> what does shit mean?" <laughs> the crazy Google man in the television. He said that he said the s word. <laughs> like he yeah, died. He looks the like the cartoon man. Clip of him singing from Darby O'Gill and the Little People. She is my darling one, my smiling and big island. So What's they bury him back. I have no fucking clue what any of that was. All right. No. no. Okay. I don't care to know. Okay. Back in I'm Kenya. Like, okay. Don't worry. I'm sure Doctor Frankenstein will drop by to whip him into shape. I have long hidden away from the world. Hey man, Harry oh, Potter's the Antichrist in this universe. You're all welcome to join me. Even the funeral in this is like, yeah, okay, cool. I miss him, I guess. But fear not, as apparently Kenyan shamans have cured death. Turns out the secret was dancing. Dancing cures death. Um, it's probably the magic. magic. It's probably the magic part, yeah. At the beginning yeah. of the film, he stresses Africa where he lives will not let him die mm -hmm. so he's returned to africa where he's buried and africa refuses to let him be dead didn't you say he did something for that shaman guy like he saved his family or something so, yes yeah, oh my god jesus christ it was set up for and yeah like I, I don't know if someone was like well magic's dumb i'd be like i mean look at what's in this like you're not okay with that. let's be frank he just wants to come back from the dead to say, look, uh, Tom, you're not my son. The Nostalgia Critic got it all fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't listen nostalgia to the Critic's a dumbass. properly. He just jumped the gun because he was just like smashing through, writing a first shitty draft, which he never fucking changed. Uh, so, okay, here we go. That's why I had to come back from the dead. Can share? Yeah, the downside is he's reincarnated as a CG dragon and still can't sing. It's not a downside, it's pretty fucking awesome. And that was the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That you didn't watch properly. I'm sure it tried its best. Uh, I know you didn't. I'm sure you tried your best. Yeah, he, he, put, <laughs> he put a bit of effort in there. Always whine about their best. Winners go fuck the prom queen. I will go through all of Sean Connery's IMDb page. Everyone okay. seems half awake. It's visually colorless. The effects are hit and miss. It's just what is this all music. Visually colorless. Visually colorless, like as opposed to hourly colorless. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Sometimes you put on Shostakovich, and I just cannot. I just cannot I hear any colors. of those colors. Yeah. It just sounds. Uh... Everyone seems half awake. It's visual as the effects are hit and miss. It's just an all-around <laughs> boring movie. I can't say it's anywhere near the worst I've seen. Not even I like close. it where he does the, the effects are hit and miss and actually puts a decent car trait, the car bit in it. Yeah, you we should have a relevant, what we call a relevant visual. You should have had the abomination from the end, which looked really shitty. Yeah. Are from the greatest stories Still ever creepy, written, though. but having them all together doesn't seem to make any of this work. That's gotta be some bad writing if you can't make them leap off the- But to be fair, you couldn't identify much of the bad writing. You got a couple. <laughs> you thought that they... Tom was Alan's son. You, and, yeah. you, and you thought like the, the problem was that there's too much talking. When I think we came to the conclusion like we needed more talk, more yeah, interactions, better talking. You have too many talking. characters. Yeah. yeah, we need a little bit of- Make the movie longer, maybe. Uh, just make it a real, real flick. A real epic. Yeah. Got a lot of people to juggle. And if anyone is foolish enough to do a sequel in the future, it had better look something like this. Now that'd be a final film for Connery to go out on. I'm not a nostalgia critic. I remember it so you don't have to. What? I think I just watched. What the oh, he left. Oh, yep. Edited by Doug Walker. I couldn't Walker. wait no. to get out of here. <laughs> fucking I abandoned us. I remembered. So, was it? No, but he said. I am the nostalgia critic. I remembered so you don't have to. That's his catchphrase. Yeah, that's what he says. I remember it so you don't have to. Yeah. What? Even though we remembered it better. It helps yeah. that we saw it the other day, but... What does it even fucking mean? 
Well, you used to only do old movies. and Yeah, it doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he just does well, everything. Well, I think if it's, you know, it's about, it's almost 20 years old now. That's yeah, Oh, that's I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about, so he covers everything now. So that, that, that catchphrase worked when he was covering stuff that was nostalgic. But now he covers, like, brand new movies too. So it's just like, um. Oh, hold on. It says directed and edited by Doug Walker. Who wrote it, though? Who Surely wrote he wrote it. Ooh. Let's find out. Pops and costumes. Thanks, Bonnie. Camera. Sorry, I can't hear you above the <laughs> 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 Wait, is there a, Oh, is there Wait, a post credit ah, scene like a Marvel movie? Have we still got not a writing credit? I mean, okay, who wrote, it? Who wrote Did we miss the writing credit? Was it at the beginning? Credits YouTube library. No, there was music. no writing credit. Is it going to be at the end? Holy fuck, there's no writing credit. I'm so ex excited. Did this have a script? Unless, God, unless, he, unless he counts under editing includes writing. Not that it should, but maybe it does. Um, maybe under... Oh, fuck it. He uses the old Instagram logo. Okay. You're running out of credits. What are you, is this has gone on for so long. Uh, is it a sponsor? Oh, no, okay, okay. Here we go. And what the, is what this has got like two oh. million has this got like two million views or something? I don't know actually. Hey Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out and Okay, the charity shout out. Without... Whatever. Oh, yeah. Makes some sense. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, good uh, yeah, good As charity, for okay. view count, yeah, about one and a half million views. Jesus Let's look at that. That was terrible. That, yeah. Listen, what I find odd about these videos is just like, you didn't, you, for all the faults of the film, like, you, you didn't use any of them. <laughs> like, it's just, yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. If I reviewed this movie, it would be at least an hour long, easy. Pro more. Minefield of Errors, so you just walk and, oh, another it's so one. much fun to make out of it. Doug's impression yeah. of Connery made me crack up, but. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, it's bad. Sam Cresil, you are crazy. No, Sam. Why'd you do this to us? Shut up. Damn it, Sam. You were the chosen one. <laughs> you meant to destroy Nostalgia Critic, not join him. Yeah, yeah. Same. Hideously unfunny. It just the references are actually wrong a lot of the time. They're just criticisms that I don't know why you're even bringing them up. Interesting video, I guess you could say. Very um, interesting. <sighs> well, that was that was disappointing. I mean, yeah. not in the like. I I was I wasn't disappointed in like the there was a lot to talk about with that move with that uh, video. It was really bad, so we had a lot of things to comment on. But, True, like the video was really bad. Yeah, Doug, I expect better. I think. I, I mean, I I don't know. I guess I just expect it to be terrible, yeah. I guess we'll see. Wait, that was my first Halloween. nostalgia critic video. That was my first one ever. You gonna subscribe? I'm so sorry. Uh, no. What? Uh, no. Wow, not a real fan. No, I'm a. Uh, you bastard. I I no. What a shame. The only big no. fan is his logo. Mm, nice one. Yeah. I guess, yeah. That sucks. Uh, yeah. That's a callback. That's ripping off an old joke that I did hours ago. You and past rags working together. We are. So, um, that's that. What, a, well, what yeah. an atmosphere yes, it that. leaves this call with. <laughs> of yeah. just like, right. apathy. What happens now? <laughs> what do we do? Where do we go? What is How existence? can we continue? I don't know. What a, what a, what a video for a, what a film. Now for the CinemaSins video? I mean, I feel no. like I, did I don't like, I don't like CinemaSins and See, CinemaWins. I just really You've don't. already got four hours of content, Yeah, to be fair, we should probably right? get to Super Chance, actually. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but before that, I would like to offer, if anyone here would like to escape into the yonder wilderness, uh, I would like to, to give you that chance. Yeah, I want to kill myself. Oh, I didn't no. mean that. <laughs> you already, you already did. Twice. Not on our stream. That no, I, I, I've, no, I've just, I've just run the warm bath so I can, oh, okay. so I can slide oh, in and then, oh god, then ra raise no. a blade, no. fucking wrist, and then just. No. Oh, I thought you'd man. go for the toaster. Bath, so you'd like, you'd be like numb, or. The, I gotta say, I gotta say, the the company tonight was amazing. Uh, the banter was superb. The yeah. video was fucking shit. What? 
I thought that was like the best part, man. <laughs> Doug is going to uh, be slow, such a hater. I, yeah, <laughs> and it, I'm sure Doug's a lovely guy. Um, I'm not sure at all. Um, but um, Jesus Christ, that video I, I, it was appalling. Because <laughs> you saw League of Extraordinary Gentlemen today, right? Yeah. So just fresh off it, just like that's coverage. It's like he didn't really cover much of the movie, did he? No. Well, if if you're gonna do, I mean, far be in it. This guy's like huge channel. He got a million and a half views on this vid. I'm sure he's he's whacking himself off happy about it. But if you're gonna do a review, then surely you got to have it fresh in your mind. So I would have imagined. I don't think it's out of the realms of. Uh, expectation that he would have seen it the day of the day before the writing he was. Of, yeah, yeah, the Mostly. writing of the script. You'd think, you'd think. And judging by the script, it didn't take too long to fucking write, and it was the first draft. So, um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that just wasn't was even touched upon. He didn't even get the ending. He fucked the ending up completely. Uh, the jokes were... I mean, I say jokes. Let's just... <laughs> no. So, some of them you do wonder, like, in terms of construction. It's like, all you said was that something is a thing, and it wasn't even interesting, and you, you treated it like a joke. I just don't get it. Well, when he went... He could be the world's worst magician. Yeah, all of us were lost. Oh. It was just like, what... What are you doing? Stop it. You're hurting me. Doug Gosh. makes the laughter disappear. Yeah, you're oh. hurting us. Yeah. You're hurting me, Doug. Doug, why are you hurting her. me? Why are you hurting me, Doug? Why are you hurting me, Doug? Please, no. There's people in chat who are like, yeah, let's do Citizens. There's other people who are like, please stop. No. 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 <laughs> I, I legit I'm like. I'm getting like, I'm, I'm, I'm I've had a life's work. Dogs. Well, I want it said too that Cinema Wins is also cancer, like in terms of coverage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Worse. I think Wins is worse. Because, well, he I has, would rather he watch Sins than Wins. He has the trophy for the, the worst quote between them, I think, the pretend it's what you wanted thing. All right, hold yeah, on. So yeah. For the people in chat who are legitimately worried, I'm not going to kill myself. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are some people in yeah. chat who look like. He's making an awful lot of suicide jokes tonight. I'm a little bit fucking worried. Look, as you've got plenty of Batwoman to see, there's no killing yourself on the on the table, right? <laughs> yeah. I know. I, that's that's the straw which will kill me. <laughs> Season three finale. Then you'll kill me. When if they when if and when they announce the cancellation of it, that will be it. It'll be over for me. That's right. that's that's the last straw. He's so can't. upset. We need yeah, I can't season handle. four. Oh, I love this one. Meme repository looks more suicidal. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I, I what are you gonna do the cinema sins? I I I think not. Not just to, okay. to spare chat, but also some of the cast here, and the fact that Aww. we are we are near four hours. So we, we, oh wow, we get like we we made a deal a long time ago that if we hit four hours at the end of a coveragey thing, we're gonna go into super chats and. I believe okay. we should stick to that before we'll well, never I, catch I'd, up. I'd like to say thank you ever so much then for having me on tonight. Absolutely, thank sir. That. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you, chat, uh, for for being awesome. Chat's always mm -hmm. awesome. That Even when they hate me. Um, uh, <laughs> Jay, I'll see you on fucking Friday Night Tights. Oh my god. Yay! Yeah, you better be there. I'll fucking rip your tits off. Oh my god. Oh no. Um, oh, damn. <laughs> And you and hit me too with that. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Stop him. <laughs> and happy Halloween. Wait, before hey, you go. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Why, why should people subscribe to your channel? They shouldn't. No. Not... <laughs> You're doing <laughs> it wrong. <laughs> to say the it's other really thing. It's really bad. It's just, it's really bad. Uh, if you want to, you could subscribe to Heal vs. Bayface, which is my channel. I uh, shout at clouds uh, if clouds are bad TV shows and uh, pop culture and stuff like that. Hmm. I, hmm. I don't script. I never script. So everything I do is just uh, off the non scripting top of gang. Gang, gang. And hmm. somehow you're more insightful and nostalgic critic. How did you do it? He scripts. Uh, he, doesn't have a, he doesn't have a brain dead second. 
<laughs> oh yeah, brain what dead second. Brain yeah, dead, brain second. dead second. <laughs> He doesn't have a brain dead second. Oh, I think I had plenty of brain dead seconds in that. No, mm -hmm. not you. Lots and lots. Uh, yeah, and I'll see uh, you, Mauler, on Tuesday. Oh, yes, honey. I'll see you there. Okay. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely night. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I, I, uh, never invite me back for a nostalgia critic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're to make Bye. lists for all this. Yeah. See that's, you, that's dude. Blowing endorsement. Oh, they're not demands anymore. What are they? They are... <laughs> what do they call them now? Sanctions? They're not... <laughs> no, they're not demands. They are... Seri what do they call them? The Netflix people. The Netflix people? Flickers. Yeah, they, they wrote a letter to the... Uh, CEO, and they didn't. They didn't put a list of demands. They like list of like requests. Um, or... Yeah, like firm, re firm, re firm, firm suggestions. That was yeah. It was mandates. A firm asks that they Conditions? have firm asks. Firm asks. Demands. Yes. So I have a firm ask to never, never see to, nostalgia never critic again. Nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, please. I don't know. I still, I still enjoy covering his videos because of how bizarre and hit and miss they are. I, f I think with him, much like many people we cover, I need, you know, some time away, and then we can come back. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I could feel like you could get burned out on him pretty easy. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to watch another, like, two in a row. That's, that's like, 24-hour stream kind of asking material there. <laughs> yeah. but Six, six to nine months break, please. Okay, I'll write it down. For nostalgia Crick. Okay, have a great night. Uh, thank, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Toodaloo. All right. Uh, who else wishes to go to a different area in the world of the internet? I might uh, have I will to leave in around 45-ish minutes to do a Halloween thing for oh. a little bit, but then I'll probably be back after that. I'll probably be gone for about two hours or so. Um, um, so. We'll figure that out when we get to it, depending on how far we get, if that makes sense. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, I have to go because I have to finish uh, editing my Dracula review, the second part of that Sweet. review. Dracula. Dragul. Well, that yes. sounds pretty sweet. Um, thank you so much for jumping on so randomly. It was, it was You're fun. welcome. And we shall see you for whatever we may see you for. Yes. There you go. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Yeah, see you Goodbye. later. All right. Is anyone else <laughs> going to escape, or are we? Are we? Are we? Is this what's happening? Yeah, we're the I can for a couple of hours at least. Unless you want me to leave because it sounds like it. Um, <laughs> well, Metal. we can put it to a vote. You can, you no, can not do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something we actually needed to do. So we can do it now, I guess. Um, plushies. We meant to me mention this to chat. I'll try and make a poll, I guess. But That's right, we did discuss what, this. Yeah, what? In the dungeon. Chat, feel very special right now. You have intense control over this discussion oh because God. you are here right now. What do you guys you make firm asks? What do you guys right want in terms of what, what would I put, like? When would you want generations to release? What kind yeah. of timeline would you be looking for? I think that's going to be the first oh, question. Like, I'll get a poll for that after I see. I'll see a yeah. bunch of suggestions in chat, and then I shall uh, come with come with a poll. Because we don't five years. We don't want to have them come out too often, but not too rarely. And we yeah. want them to be themed if we can. Something that the trio of us can always put out together. Tetri. Um, give us a yeah. Give us a thought. Give us a give us a little thought. See here. Give us yeah. a thought. I think annually, every month. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, like when you tell us this, like please, we if how often would you buy them? Kind yeah, like of not going memeing, for like actually, not meaning like a real yeah, because like uh, yeah, these, these things these are campaigns that people work on, and they you know this is a thing. We figure, so like I get to ask of three options. I think on the YouTube polls, we'll go once per six months, six months, one year, two years. Should we try that? Yeah, yeah, once a century. Oh god, Mary Pie's making some weird noises while I'm trying to type this. Oh my goodness gracious. Is it going... Is it going... No. Okay. Because, yeah, the angle here is just... Uh, people already want more of different kinds, so we're just trying to figure out when... 
uh, the best yeah, plan we, is. We, we want them to be, again, we want them to be sort of thematic, if we can. We want to have it to where the trio of us can have our, have them out together, um, with the group discounts, of course. Um, we, we, we want people to buy them, is a big thing, because this is a money-making scheme. <laughs> knew it uh but we want to have ones that are nice that people will like and that people want to have you know so we're trying to balance it all together and this is sort of out of our we, we don't really know about this sort of thing we've only done it the one time so if True. there's a uh yeah so so we're kind of looking we're sending out feelers here to you guys to let us know you're feeling the audience we're nice. feeling up the audience all right um Four scores in seven years per plushie. Makes sense. All right, your options are presented. Let us see what what the the public is thinking. Yeah. So give give it a thought, uh, and if we get mixtures of answers, maybe the maybe it'll be in between someplace. But yeah. we're just maybe it won't be consistent. What you guys you know? think. Yeah. Maybe it'll be maybe, like, yeah. Maybe it, it won't be. be. Yeah. How Maybe are we we'll looking find at? them to have, you know. Who knows? Once per year seems to be in the lead. My god, second place is once per six months. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it would be preferable for people answering this to the people who actually would pick them up, just so that we know. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, if you don't have any like intention of buying yeah, these. Yeah, I'll never buy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because remember, these these are done, we have to take like the company makes them. They make ones for us, they send them to us, they get approved. Then there's the the run and it has to sell a certain amount. Mm -hmm. So if you don't buy these, it's kind of it's not gonna happen, you know. They have to hit that hit that basal number. Well, we can let that sit for a little yeah, bit. Let and it, we'll come let back. It go. To that. Covering up my chat, Mewplead. God damn it. Hey, you still get a big chunk of chat, it's alright. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every 50 oh, EFAPs. You, so. Every second. See, I feel like that's a bit ridiculous myself. I don't know. It might be difficult for them to come up with examples yeah. and you know, dolls of one a second. They have to have a lot of people. It's a lot of Asian It's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. All right. So we'll remind chat that it exists every once in a while. We'll try and get as many votes in there as possible. Um, and then we could probably mm -hmm. talk a bit more about other other things other than when they would come out. Uh, like dreams. Exactly. So. Every time you cover Nostalgia Critic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. So anyway, uh, we'll, we'll just start with the first one of the day. Who would win in a fight? A raven or a squirrel that weighs 50% more than the raven? Uh... Probably a squirrel, I'm thinking. How good are ravens at fighting? I don't know, probably not very good. I think birds, and especially mm -hmm. birds that are not, like, predators, they probably want to really avoid taking damage. They're probably pretty skittish. Because birds are Say fragile. the question again. Basically, raven versus squirrel, and the squirrel weighs 50% more than the raven. Is the squirrel uh, like physically bigger or just heavier? Because I feel like the, the 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 squirrel would have a hard time moving around if it was still squirrel sized. Um, in that case, the raven can fly rags. I know, but its ability because if they're fighting, your ability to leave combat is not going to help you necessarily win it. Um, I think squirrels can. I guess I guess squirrel bites are pretty powerful, but. Uh, these are not animals that typically fight things, um, but you know, I, like a lot of rodents, if you back them into a corner, they could probably be pretty fierce. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna right, go with the squirrel. The I have no idea on this one. Like, I don't know enough about it. Yeah, I think the raven is gonna be a bit too fragile when compared to a squirrel. Um, that's especially that's sized up like that. I'm gonna go with the pro. Or the raven, I guess. I think ravens are... I'm pretty sure crows are pretty smart. So they got that working in their favor. Yeah, I'll go with the crow. Someone said ravens commonly kill squirrels. At that point, you start to wonder. I didn't know that, yeah. Who knows? 
All right then. And yeah, they have air superiority too, which is you know that's a huge advantage. They can poop on a squirrel. They're incredibly intelligent too. That yeah, they're smart. Squirrels smart are smart critters. as well. <clears throat> well, but can they of, talk? But... Ravens can talk, man. Squirrels are smart. Ravens can they can talk, figure out traps right. and they could learn their names and stuff. Yeah, I've seen squirrels play chess. That's true. They always lose, but I've, I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, I've <laughs> seen them play it, so it counts. <laughs> squirrels, uh, squirrels are smart enough to play chess, but not smart enough to understand castling. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, yeah. It's a 50 so they're basically like the average human. So there you mm -hmm. go. Um, boom, boom, boom. Thoughts on Last Night in Soho? I'd love to hear y'all talk about it. Happy Halloween, the best holiday. Hi, Rags, and Fringy, and Az, and Drinker. And you, hello. Am. Hello. No, I haven't seen it. Is it in theaters or is it on streaming as well? I don't know. I never know these days. But um, I'll be invested in seeing it because it's like a horror movie from Edgar Wright, right? Isn't that the idea? So, um, mm. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I but yeah, don't know anything about it. But I will share my thoughts when I see it. For sure. Why? Uh, maybe you should tell Gary the stream starts half hour earlier so he'll be on time. <laughs> Love how local booba <laughs> geek need to watch this movie. Uh, yeah, he recently uh, sent me a message and he won't be able to make it. Unfortunate, but we'll try and get him on a, on a different episode in future. I will correct. He actually loves League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I'm sure he, he does. stand that we were making fun of it. Well, unfortunately, I was going to try and get like a little, a little history about the graphic novel from him, but um, I should have asked Az that too, damn. Well, you know what? Next he would have brought it up if he... I think he would have... You know, I think as with his big fucking mouth, he would have... He would have just gone... Wow, oh, you could have said big fucking brain, but you had to go with mouth. <laughs> it's connected to his big fucking mouth, his big fucking brain. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Compliment. Nailed I just love reading the character descriptions for Le the League comic on Wikipedia. Just all the insane fucking way, all the insane fucking things they do with them. The fucking Antichrist, Harry Potter, Godzilla yeah. shows up. Antichrist, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, shit, dog. I mean, sequel, 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 right? They had their chance. Yep. Unfortunate, but it didn't do. Mary it. Poppins uh, is represents the kindness of God and turns Harry Potter into a chalk drawing that's washed away. It's so... <laughs> Again, you're not saying anything that doesn't line up with what I know about Harry Potter, so... Yeah. Oh, it's... Um, I'm getting a message. Uh, um, yeah. uh, the, all the paper crafts on efap.me have been revealed. Ah, oh, we, can, we can show them. I actually have been tra keeping, keeping track of those this time. I don't know, give me that. Ooh, la, la, la. They showed them on uh, Friday Night Tights as well, which is pretty neat. Nice. Um, Some of those are quite impressive. Just a moment. EFAP. Dot. Crackly me. rags. That is a slur. Ooh, total runtime as of movies number crackly. 33 is 69 days. Oh! 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 Alrighty. Oh my god. So, what we got here is um, number one. Rags as Skeletor, which, um, there's that been... A, that is a good one. Th they're all fucking pretty good. I'm just gonna they're say. all pretty fucking they're great. Pretty fucking stellar. Some are absurdly good. Wait, Some are suspiciously is, good. Is that... Suspiciously I'm assuming good. it's not on purpose, but is there one of those wild wheelchairs in the background on purpose? A reference to old <laughs> malignant. <laughs> wild yes. wheelchairs. I'm assuming it's a coincidence, but that's great anyway. I dressed up as Doctor Doom this year, which, by the way, uh, that is a costume I would consider. Pretty fucking cool. Doctor Doom? Yeah, yeah. Victor Von yeah. Doom. I mean, you can't help but combine his mask with the gas mask. That would be pretty neat. Excellent stuff. What else we got? Bring his Green Goblin. You know what he makes mm -hmm. sense? Naturally. Yeah. He's got little no-bombs. <laughs> no-bombs. Explode. <laughs> no! Sonic weapons. Like it makes like a really high pitched yeah. no when it explodes. Metal Commander is Modoc. That's pretty neat. <laughs> I'm assuming Charlie is morphed into you at this point. Probably, yeah. Look at you you're crying too, it's so upsetting. <laughs> and also smiling. Mixed messages right there. Moriarty as Lex Luthor. Aiden Paladin as Mystique. Blessed Pikeman as the penguin. Look at that nose. 
Damn. <laughs> Beautiful. Like Jay, Jay's Electro. <laughs> Don't you know? Jay's Electro. Jay's Electro. Stand aside, gentlemen. Meme repository is Sinestro. Nice. I'm very happy with that one. <laughs> Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sinestro. Gorgeous. Is he a bad guy? Sinestro? He's, you know, is, is, is he, that a wire? Maybe. I thought he doesn't he isn't he is he like good guy turned bad or is he just bad guy? Uh, he, he starts off as like a, he starts off as like the top Green Lantern, and then it's eventually revealed that he was basically a, he he had used his power to be a dictator um, on his planet what to a try and enforce order, yeah, and then he got kicked off. And it, that's oh. where the villain arc goes. Damn. Oh man, Sinestro was bad all along. I knew it. Who would have known? Theo was Riddler. I'm sure Theo would appreciate that. <laughs> Do you guys remember um, Jimmy Neutron? Do you remember Beautiful Gorgeous? <laughs> I don't, I'm afraid. A character, Beautiful Gorgeous. Are they gross and ugly? No, he's gorgeous and beautiful. Oh, I've been subverted. Um, Heel vs. Babyface as Kingpin. Another excellent choice. Jay yeah. Longbone as yeah. Catwoman. <laughs> Meow, because she does the voice of Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> a little tail as well. Look at that. It's like when I see a picture of Catwoman from that that comic, I'm just like her voice is what. Yeah. You know, generally when I read, it's in my own voice in my head that narrates. But sometimes it's someone else's voice. because You just <laughs> get so used to it. Um, Indigo Gaming is Deathstroke. We got a little, little headset. Southpaw as General Zod. Chase face as Bullseye. That's what I assume Bullseye looks like in the comics, right? Yep, yeah, that's about it. Meme is the only person I can rely on for this. <laughs> Ooh, Sargon of Akata's Galactus. Check that one out. Ooh. That's a pretty Ooh. cool mashup. You know, it was Sargon's fault that uh, all the demons were attacking me and Mel the other night, so... True, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of fucked up. Yeah, you have to talk to him about that. Fell into his mouth and everything. Mm -hmm. like... That's bullshit as Dr. Otto. Oh my god, look at these legs. Or arms, rather. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Man, that's must, that, that, that one must have been a pain to I was gonna put together. say. He is. That must have been annoying, man. But they look great. They look awesome, man. Hope he ends up in the movie. Or that's <laughs> bullshit, specifically. Nerdrotic as Joker. Or the Joker. I wonder if Joker prefers Joker or the Joker. I don't know. The flim flam. Shadows Thanos. Thanos. The Nos. Norms. Thanos. Internet historian as Brainiac. Ooh. Oh, wasn't sure what was happening with his head. I was like, is that... Is that oh, like, no, they've gone full Silver Age with this oh one. My goodness. Brain pieces coming out there, or is that the robot stuff? I don't know. Either way, another villain. Literature Devil is The Shade. I'm unfamiliar with The Shade. I, I think he's a, uh, he's a Flash villain, kind of a, a villain-turned-hero kind of dealio. He, he controls shadows and stuff. He looks neat. Very large top hat, and that's what's important. That's Star Wars Girl's Enchantress. I know her from Suicide Squad. Count Dankula is Magneto. Enchantress? Oh, she was a. Oh, so I guess she's using the comic book outfit? Yeah, I think so. Presumably, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Critical Drinker is Ra's al Ghul. Oh. A drunken. Uh, he's a villain as well, right? Ra's al Ghul? Yeah. yeah. ER is the Condiment King. He would be honored. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> is that salt and pepper on his ears? Is that how that works? I think that's... That, yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. My Lorella's Mysterio. I am the Condiment King. We got... Um, PSA Sitch is Black Adam. Wow, he made him black. Just because he's black. Wow. Just because he's Jewish, you made him black. Wow. 
Mark Cyborg as Polka Dot Man. The very selfish character, okay? Driven by his narcissism. No. You'd almost expect him to be Cyborg, but uh, I guess it's purely villain, so. Cyborg is kind of villainous. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> Weekend War is Kite Man. It's pretty funny. <laughs> kite Man. Kite Man. No 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 shredder. Look, he's got a a helmet that comes off too. I wonder how that look at those legs as well. All these details. And we got um oh they've got like our our icons turned into paper paper lads as well. Before rags updated to a vampire. A little ghost. Neat. It's a really good one though. I really like the um I really like that. I I can swap right now, in fact. Yeah. I'll do that. That's a, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I I really like this vamp. I, there's so many that I like. <clears throat> I'm spoiled for choice because of all the spooktism pictures I have. I just I just love the our little avatars here have been transposed into paper versions. They look oh, wonderful. <clears throat> Well, um, once again, thank you so much, Ebikins, for all That's the really work. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. These are all I'm wonderful. Continually impressed. And for maintaining the site, of which has so many features, so many informationals, statistics, bloombastics. I see that we're already like significantly past the anniversary, and it's like you're heading for another one, guys. Yeah. It's like, oh oh boy. Bam, yeah, Give us a goddamn minute. Twenty percent of the way there, or something. Right. I don't know how the math works out. I think so. You get to stay up twenty-four hours again, aren't you excited? Mm -hmm. I mean, the last one was really fun. Fringy needs to sleep before this one, but <laughs> yeah, hopefully that'll be the case this time. we will gonna sleep for like a few weeks beforehand. It gets you that charge. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, the site is amazing. I love the 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 variation for this. Wonderful month. I imagine Krimis will probably get one as well. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much. The papercraft shit is amazing. I'm just wondering when it was like, what all, there's a lot of papercraft ones now, because it was like the original ones. There was a, already a Halloween variant ones, right? Or am I making that up? I don't remember anymore. Oh, the papercrafts uh, from yeah. last year? Uh, oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. You got it was a long the original time ago. set. Yeah, Halloween 2020. There was uh, a whole set of them. Look at it. And a Crimis one. And then the Justice League ones. With metal as cyborg. There you go. Yeah. Man, you must cry like digital tears in the side that's not <laughs> a, an eye that's normal here. Yeah. yeah. Excellent stuff. Thank you so much. Back to back to Mario Party, I suppose. Pario Marty. For those listening in chat, you still have access to a poll that'll tell us things about what we, what you, you may or may not be looking for to give us information. While you should never lie on polls, please don't lie <laughs> on this one. Yeah, this one especially. This is probably the most important poll ever delivered to humanity. Life. Um, they'll, they'll be talking about this poll in the next century. Van this Helsing. is the great war of polls. Van Helsing, Salim, and the Dawn. The world is in good hands. Hello from Ketchikan, <laughs> Alaska, by the way. Hello. Oh, get some. You're cold. Hmm. But they've got those those chats to keep them warm. Characters to look up to. Uh, how to celebrate Halloween when spent driving for job? How to spend Halloween when driving for job? Oh, run over trick or treaters. Yeah. It's a little Boy. bit illegal though. Just only if you get caught. Um, only, okay, only run over trick-or-treaters in self-defense. Right, 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 right. Some of them do attack uh, at Halloween. The full moon, man. Get some weird attitudes. Or in the late hours when no one's around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here's my peace offering. Hoffering. Hello, Raggleton. Soupy ween is almost over, but you Halloweenies are all right. Hey, that's not nice. Okay, yeah. I, I love me a good Halloween... I think all Halloweens are typically good because they're just wonderful times of year. Yeah, Resident Evil Ox. Almost complete, by the way. Last one's out tomorrow. 
I'm gonna be playing, uh, finally playing that alien game after all these years. Yeah. I've Look heard this one that. is slightly better. I've heard this is better, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, watched the House of Ashes playthrough and the new RE EFAP movies back to back yesterday. Quite the roller coaster. All had Salim's mighty stake. All oh, hail. Yeah. Yes, yes, all hail. Uh, first we get FNT with Muller and Drinker, now we get EFAP with Drinker and Az. I am spooled. I should think so. You are spooled. Don't forget it. <laughs> so I hope you're having fun with all of the spules. Spules. <laughs> The League of Extraordinary Jebs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a movie we all want to fund. You have to wait for him it's to... It's just one Jeb, but it's called League of Extraordinary <laughs> Jebs. Or it's Jeb and he constantly is just swapping outfits, like the glasses and the mustache you put on. I do like the idea of just oh, multiple okay. Jebs, but they have different powers, though. <laughs> oh, like a multiverse? Yeah, and it's the high Multi Jeb and the invisible Jebs Jeb. The multiverse. Multiplicity Jeb. What are you guys' thoughts on Lightyear? Pixar running on fumes or an interesting direction to go with Toy Story IP? Personally, I'm curious. I mean, I... In con I don't fucking care, honestly. I, don't, um, I guess I don't really have any thoughts. I'm pretty apathetic on it. If the idea in full is just... There was a movie that the toy was made from in-universe and that's the movie you're gonna see, I'm just like... I don't... Yeah, I don't care. I, yeah, I, just, I think I we already we really kind of already got that with um, the adventures of Buzz Lightyear. So it's like it's an idea that's already been done, and with Tim Tim Allen as well, because this one's going to be Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear. So it's like which is not going to feel yeah. right. Uh, no. As soon as it says to infinity and beyond, we're all going to be like, mm, maybe, maybe you can go to the beyond. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, wait for more yeah, time. I is see that going to create continuity issues? Because the toys have the the voices of, like when 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 Woody was in the show, um, Woody's Roundup, right? He had his same voice. Same with all the other characters. So is it a continuity break that Buzz Lightyear doesn't have Tim Allen's voice in the show? You just have to assume that when they made the toys, they got a different guy to do the voice box. But we see them put the VHS tape in in the Adventures of Buzz Lightyear, and it's voiced by Tim Allen. Yeah. Well, this is the original movie. See, things moved on as time went on. Why is it so visually as the Buzz Lightyear movie in that movie? Uh. If if this is the original movie that came out in 1995, why does it look like an animated film that came out this year? Because mm. it's, it's a different universe. Developing. The animation of the Toy Story universe was fucking leagues ahead of what we were. Ahead oh, of at that point. I guess I guess we have to presume that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's all gonna make sense. You guys are just nitpicking. It's gonna be perfect. Does anyone know any good sci-fi books, specifically military sci-fi? The only one I can think of is Dune and Ender's Game. Also high rank. Yes, I do. I have excellent recommendations. The the Halo novels, uh, the Fall of Reach, flood, the the Flood and First Strike. Those are great sci-fi military novels. I would highly recommend those. Those are a fun read. The Flood was my favorite of the three, but I think they're all pretty well written. Um, I have no recommendations, I'm afraid. I need to read more. I can't read. Fr <laughs> Fringle Frang, do you have any? Uh, I mean, I agree. Read. Fall, Fall of Reach is a really good uh, book that's worth reading. Um, I'm blanking at the moment. I'm sure there oh, are hey, other Starship ones, Troopers, how about that? Well, I haven't read Starship Troopers, so I don't know. Well, yeah, um, Dune. Dune's got military stuff in it. Um, that was Frank Herbert. That's chat. a that's a book. Uh, oh yeah, that was the one he said in the super chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I just I'm just slinging out suggestions. Um, hmm. Yeah, sci-fi military books. I mean, I guess if there are any good Star Wars novels, Interstellar Marines. Ah, that's Ooh, a, yeah, Interstellar, Interstellar Marines. Marines. Now, don't yeah. be fooled by the title. Nobody knows what it's about. Or the cover. Or the author. <laughs> interstellar Marines. The story of Marines going into the interstellar. interstellar -y. There, There you go. There's loads of recommendations. Enjoy. Um, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen comic by Alan Moore is great. As an adaptation, it's an enormous dumpster fire. On its own, it's entertaining. 
I mean, yeah, I found the movie entertaining, uh, which is, you know, nice to have as a factor, I suppose. But um, I would like to read the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen comic at some point, though there's parts of it that I've been informed by Gary that I was like, oh, that happens? And he was like, yeah, it's pretty edgy. And I was like, oh. Something that I wouldn't even want to tell you guys for the sake of not just scaring you. Oh yeah! Don't spook me. On this raw, this I know we're night. this. You know, I know we're balls deep into October, but I'm I'm not ready mm -hmm. for that kind of spookery. Into Stella tangerines. <laughs> yeah, Stella tangerines. Uh, world. I went to see the scene where Mira Hyde bullies Jekyll into ordering a really big top hat for him. Also, yes, Halloween demolishes Crimbo every year, every time. Oh damn! More not than true, everyone. but I'm oh, glad it's, you're it's passionate. It's good to be true. passionate about things. I want to see the scene with... So... Oh, right. So so, so they want a theoretical scene where he's bullied into getting a giant hat for him. Because he does have a big hat. When uh, I think we commented on that when we were watching it. Just... One of the few good little... Yeah, one of the... I'm not going to say the few good things. But one of the th things about uh, the League that was good was when Tom Sawyer he picks up the really big hat. Like a little nod to how come his hat's so big. I like that. that was baffled nice. by it, yeah. My favorite way to spend a Saturday is playing Guild Wars 2 and listening to EFAP. P.S. Hi, Rags. Hello! Oh, right that's, now, that's wonderful, yeah. I imagine you're doing it right now. Good chill game. Um, also, the demon in Shang-Chi looks like a ripoff of Zaitan with a demony head. Who that? Mm. Zaitan is one of the. Uh, the big evil dragons in Guild Wars 2 oh. story. He's the undead one. Oh, neat. Neat name, too, Zaitan. Sounds a bit like Satan, but yeah. that's okay. Zaitan. Uh, Shippo proved with facts that Squid Game is anti-capitalist. Oh, Shapiro, I'm guessing? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he said he gave it a 1 out of 10 for politics, right? Yeah, which I <laughs> wouldn't... But that's yeah, okay. I just find it amusing, he's, that's all. <laughs> yeah. He's an odd one. He's an odd one. Um, um, I really like the Star Wars rankings, though. That was interesting. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a thing that happened. Uh, this one just says, it's bigger. It's just yeah, fantastic dialogue. Um, Low Egg is my... F oh, right. So League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is my favorite Sean Connery film. Low I don't egg. tell people about. <laughs> oh, right. It's the best of the ones you keep behind the sofa. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Um, I remember watching this movie eight years ago and thinking, why does Dorian Gray keep his mortal weakness in his own house? Well, it depends where in the house. You want it hidden, right? That's the idea. Yeah, uh, you want it hidden. And I assume it can't be destroyed... I, uh, I guess so, yeah. So, I think that's how he kills himself in the old movie with um, Peter Cushing. Or am I thinking about... No, it wasn't Peter Cushing. I'm thinking about the Curse of Frankenstein. Um, but I think that's how he kills him in the old... It kills himself in the old movie. Spoilers. Is hmm. he destroys the painting. But that movie's a fucking slog. I wouldn't recommend it. A lot of the ones from those, those, a lot of those times old movies are a little are slow, yeah. They really are. A lot of those old movies, those old classic horror movies, they are fucking, they are just a fog. <laughs> um, please EFAP knowledge and defense. It'll be interesting. That's, no. That, I, that's, it'll be interesting. Mm. Um, was that? Sorry? Was that? Yeah. Knowledge Some and weird guy. He's, he's like remarkable Republican. You know? Oh, yeah. that's a channel name. I thought it was like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Merry Spooky Ween, boys. Looking forward to this one. Oh. Also, hi, Count Ragula. Oh, he's a oh, ghost hello. now. Oh, <laughs> hello. It's okay, because you can be a ghost and a vampire at the same time. That's true. If a vampire dies, I assume he becomes a ghost. Yeah. Ghost. But I don't think he becomes a vampire ghost. He just becomes a ghost of someone who used to be a vampire. Like, he doesn't get the powers of both. I mean, he's a ghost with fangs, but they don't do anything. Yeah, it's more decorative. Mm -hmm. It's like a skin. Um, 
Hello, Fappers. Since you guys have been accused of being angry, man, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that there's a place in the world called Angerman Land. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Angerman oh, Angerman Land. Land. Nice. Do you just go there to be angry? Because that sounds kind of fun. I can be angry here, in the comfort of my own home. Yeah, but what if they have theme park rides related to being angry? <laughs> oh, actually, that, that could be fun. The, the harder you yell, the faster it goes. <gasps> oh, I Angerman figured it would just Land be like a, a ride where it punches province. you in the nuts. That would make me angry, that. but yeah, I mean, not, that's not the kind of angry I want to be. Oh, uh, yeah, fair enough. I might there be on the floor, options. like rolling back and forth. I'm angry, but I'm also like, you know, out of commission. Yeah. True. Angerman Land is a historical province in the northern part of Sweden. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Um, hi, Metal. Did anyone in your family Hello. serve in World War One or Two? Mm, no. Wow, missing out. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, Moriarty without Sherlock was sad face, but I liked Hyde and Invisible Man. Also, your title says Gary, and yet we are short one boomer. Justify yourself, please. Hi, Rags. Hello. I'm afraid he couldn't make it, but the title will be updated when it goes on to the Moolah channel. This one just has a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Hey! Thumbers. Thumbs yeah. up are good. Yeah, I think so. Big ol' thumbers. Thumbs up are good. Not to be confused with thumb ups. Yeah. Finish. Will EFAP ever watch the 1994 live action Jungle Book movie? I don't know. I don't know. I've not got a desire to, but if, if they want to, I'll be like, all right, I'll do it for you guys. I'll make a sacrifice. If it's Mimi enough, it could be something. Hmm. Me, 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 me. Um, in this film, is Moriarty Dracula from Van Helsing's mortal twin brother who's pissed off he's not Dracula, hence amassing a supernatural army? Could make some sense. Could be his entire motivation. He's yeah. not as cool as Dracula from Van Helsing. Hmm. Dracula, or, or Dracula from Dracula Untold. I was saying Dracula too much. Dracula, That's a prestigious Dracula. Dracula right there. That is a powerful Dracula. Uh, a sensory overload Dracula bat hands and battle, bat hands battle, bat fist, battle bat fist. Yes. What if Moriarty felt the world was stagnating and he believed that conflict would allow for science and technology to advance? I mean, you could have had him with a motivation like that, yeah. That war makes everything desperate and innovation flourish or something, I don't know. Would have been more interesting. Yeah, instead of just, I'm bad and I want the world. I want money. That's um, cool. Hi, Rags. Hello. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, hello. Have you watched Star Trek Deep Space Nine? If so, what's your favorite character? If not, get on it. It's good stuff. I've heard it's good, but I have not seen it, no. It is my favorite show, and my um, favorite character is Garrick. There you go. Ale Efap, cheers drinker, Shamai Mauler. The rugby today, ugh, uh, is, <laughs> um, So that, well, that's the highest for everybody. Hello, cheers. And hail. Uh, Moore's original work would have been hard to do justice to, but the film is still a poorly finger painted replica of a masterpiece. Yeah, from what I, I understand, it's a poorly finger painted version of itself. I don't, yeah, I don't think it has much to do with uh, the source material, from what I understand. It didn't uh, take a lot from it. Uh, do a fap on K and D, Mauler. K and D. Knowledge and defense. I'm assuming. Oh right, yeah. Uh, TLJ Critique Vid, no, he's, he's a loser. Go he's away. Worse than cinematic Venom, just the first five minutes, the stupid's insane. You have to see at least high rags. Oh, I've seen clips of Hello. it on the Discord when everyone just fucking round table makes fun of it, and it is amusing, but like, I mean, there's no point in covering that at all. Worthless content. It's okay, like, it's, we've talked about this before, but it's like the last thing we want to encourage is people fucking making shit like that just to get covered. Because Remarkable yeah. Republican, remember, he was a troll. And this guy I, 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 seems like that's the idea. I don't know. Because nobody makes arguments that bad. Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> like, we've had quite a tenure here on UVAP. 
discovering such incredible no arguments. Um, how much you guys know of the Gentleman War of World War One? Large aspects of the lines not wanting to fight should have played into the Gentleman aspect. Yeah, they could have used that, but uh, I don't know much about that. No. Yeah, I don't, no I don't clue. Really know anything. No. Stuck on a desert island, you take ten films you consider objectively the best, or ten of the most entertaining films, regardless of objective quality. Uh, entertaining. I, I gotta mean, be entertained in a desert. Definitely gonna island. go for entertaining for okay, myself. Yeah. yeah. I still, the question for me isn't really about those, it's more so like, I'm gonna take Lord of the Rings, because it's really fucking long, and there's loads to appreciate, you know, and I can definitely get a lot of use out of it. That's the kind of thing I'm probably gonna want. Yeah. This one just has a poop. What am I to make of oh. this? Oh. Because, because, uh, what's his name? Nostalgia Critic. His video was really poopy. Ah. Uh, Mina equals Thor, just look at the hair. Did, did you guys get Thor vibes from Mina? No. Mm -hmm. No. Say, I didn't really get Thor. I'm yeah. very curious what you are referring to there. Is it just look at the hair? Which Thor hair are we talking about? Because he's got he's got different hairstyles at this point. Um, anyone hear about Kuchelane, the OG Hulk? Kuchi Main? Is that what you said? Kuchelane. Like Coochie Lane. Classic horror character or something? Coochie Main, the classic horror character? Hmm. Never heard hmm. of it. Yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. Or if I have, yeah, I don't remember it. Uh... There's a familiar flavor to it, I just can't place it. Mm hmm. I stand behind Alec Baldwin because I'm sure as hell not standing in front of him. Oh my god. I stole this <laughs> joke. By Metroid Dread, High Rags, and the gang. Hello! Um, yeah, from what I hear, Metroid Dread is fantabulous. Really like it. Yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. Oh, why, you have to make everything about you, Metal. Because I'm fucking amazing. That's true. Uh, Wild Wild West has the same sort of energy as this slash Van Helsing. Will it get an EFAP movies? I'd say definitely. Uh, that movie, I know yeah. it, it'll work for that, it'll be fun. Also, peace offering scratches for the best of best point. Everyone's offering peace to offering. <laughs> 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 Peace to you, Doghouse. Thank you very much, though. Mm -hmm. Mina Harker is also a German band. Neat song, Macht. Fair enough. Good stuff. I mean, that's as good a name as any for, for a German band, I'd imagine. Um, sure. To be fair, there's been a time here and there where Nostalgia Critic got me thinking. But, but why? Was it because he said something bizarre? Or, I don't know. I mean, the question is, has he ever made a good video? I do not know the answer to that. I'm sure he has. Maybe there's one in there. Surely, just through statistics. Them. Maybe. Yeah, uh, the one thing you could say is he... I wonder if he's the person who's covered the most movies. He might be. It might be. And I'm not... I can't dislike him, you know? Well... <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, I don't. Yeah, I I can't dislike him. There's something about him that's too earnest, and it's in his goofy weirdness. I've watched the channel awesome movies vicariously through Oni Plays Gang. Have they done like a reaction to them? I would watch the fuck out of that. Or are you just saying like the references to it? Because yeah, they are um, they are like channel awesome groupies or anti groupies, I guess you could say. Um, wait, channel awesome made movies? Yes, they did. Uh, What's the, the... They got. I think it started out as just a meetup, and then they recorded something at it, and then the following year they yeah. were like, "We got to do it again, but now more." And then they kept doing that until. It got like the whole really big, weird. Uh, AVGN versus yeah. the nostalgia critic thingy. Well, they did the fake fight of game reviewers versus movie reviewers. Yeah. It was great. Everyone remembers it. Why you don't sound very sure of that? No. No, you <laughs> don't. Yeah. Well, I feel like you're reading a lot. That's like that's like reader response theory or some shit. You're just going nuts. And he didn't say anything back, so I assume that was true. Then nice. <laughs> I was reading something on Twitter's. Was it interesting was enough like to share with the class? Um, 
No. Cool. All right, but then. it's interesting to get a little bit of my attention. But yes, uh, Channel Awesome did make movies, and you'll see them on EFAP movies one day. But until then, you can go and check out other people's reviews of them. I, they've become a bit of a punching bag. Uh, which, you know, in a <laughs> yeah. sense is a little bit mean, because most of the people involved with them just did it out of, like, obligation to Doug and mm. Channel Awesome. But I oh have boy. returned. Why? Go back. Um, no. Okay. I've watched Channel... Oh wait, yeah. Uh, hi, hi, rags. Hi. Did Fringy's goo make you slippery? He doesn't have my goo. We wouldn't have to have it to have been made I don't slippery need his by goo it. To make myself slippery, yeah. No, but somebody's asking if it was my goo, but you can't, you can't answer that because you don't have it. Wouldn't have to have it. No, they were saying, did you get wet using the goo? And I'm just saying, definitely he didn't get wet. Whether or not he got wet, that's up to him to decide. But whether it was with my goo is not... Like, it's just not in question. It wasn't my goo. I feel like it could have been someone else doing it to him with your goo, right? No. No one has ever handled your goo? No one else. It's a, just mine. It's my Anyone goo. done it without your knowledge? If they did, they'd be breaking the law. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't want rags to get wet unlawfully. That's right. Yeah, so Every time that I get wet and slippery, it is totally within the bounds of the law. Um, this looks like it was filmed on a flip camcorder. I'm assuming they're talking about League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Or maybe the video at that point, actually. It's hard to know. Yeah, Doug is not upgraded his setup well he upgraded it once to go to hd but he's never like switched to anything beyond a camcorder which is embarrassing oh and you know what it crossed over 100 uh, sorry a thousand votes which probably end the poll there and just uh oh boy. a strong 60 percentage or 57 oh, percent it, it jumped around there yeah 57 for one per year Seems like a relatively fair sort of thing to understand. I just want to make sure that you guys would be up for that. Um, I suppose maybe in another EFAP we will ask them for ideas about what kind of stuff they'd like to see. It would make the most sense. But yeah, all right. One per year. Hmm. Lots to think about. Lots, Lots to, to consider. Think about. Lots to consider. Um... You should read Lead of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It gets crazy. The, some of the things Gary told me, I was like, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that was scary. Fun fact, Zack Snyder shot the Everybody Knows scene from Justice League, along with six hours of assembly footage. If anyone says Justice only uses 10%, tell them to... Tell them that to humble them. Um, what's the Everybody Knows scene? Uh... In what movie? <laughs> Justice League. I don't... Everybody knows scene. Oh, that was the uh, the opening, like in the credits, the opening credits montage. I think. Oh, is that what that's called? Well, a lot of that was well, a lot of that was just footage that was in a different context, right? Yeah, I think. I think. So it wasn't Joss's choice to have guys randomly kick the the oranges or whatever they were. <laughs> Man, I don't know whose choice that was. He, he desperately made use of it though. Uh, well, he did it in slow motion, so maybe it was Snyder. Mm -hmm. Doesn't Eternals imply that the Celestial that wiped a planet in Guardians 1 ordered our losers not to interfere until the threat of death? I rags. 69. 69, come on! Hey! So... Um... The one in Guardians 1... I mean, like, I guess we'll have to wait for Eternals to know exactly what the context of information they're going to provide us about Celestials is going to be. I guess, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. It's going to get weird. Yeah. Um, Longbone, also high rags. Hello. Um, uh, I am going to step out for a bit. Uh, I've got the thing I had mentioned earlier. Gonna head out for a while, maybe. I will be back, and you guys... Will you guys be going in two hours from now? Um, 
So the thing is, to be done with today's ones, probably going to take us about 20 minutes. Um, in which case, we could simply save them. And, um, well, if it'll if it'll only take twenty minutes or so to get through them, I can stick, uh, I can stick around, and we can do those. Yeah, if, if you're for that. All right. Okay. That close up of Captain Nemo fighting the mutant. Um, yeah, I did try to show some of that, but obviously the mm. copyright can be tough. I like the design of the. Um... Of, of the evil Jekyll, you know, the evil man potion guy. It's just the the way he looked, you know, the, the execution of that concept. Yeah, it was not great, but he could have been really creepy. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, you mentioned talent before. How do you define it? Like hardworking, etc.? Talent. Hmm. Talent, uh, depending on the way that... Uh, it was being used probably just the capacity to do something well I would assume um, if you yeah. show great talent in you know an instrument it means you could play it well or it really kind of goes to anything but I assume that's how we used it yeah I've not thought in too depth how exactly I would uh, define talent because of course it's not like you can have innate talent at something and then something's developed into a talent so it's like it's not Defined by that, I guess it would just be how how good you are at a thing. Mm -hmm. That's why we say natural talent instead of just talent all the time. Like you can have natural talent, but also you can practice and have a great talent at doing something. Proficiency um, in a skill that could be it. Yeah. So, yeah. Where I'm, Mahler is is not very talented at defining talent. Well, what was wrong with what I just he said? will be if he keeps practicing. If he if he works hard, he will be very good at defining talent. <laughs> I feel like I already nailed it in the time you did that. I had a little montage of training. <laughs> Sweet. I, in movie time, it was extremely impressive. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen High Boys Explained by an Idiot videos? Hilarious. I, I have no No, clue. I haven't. Don't know what that is. I don't I have. Me neither. Can't say I know. I'm completely lost on that one. I don't know. Um, okay, EVAP crew, discuss the Matrix. Go. No. So, mm. we're gonna do EVAP movies for the Matrix trilogy and then the fourth one, because it's coming out on streaming, so you'll get coverage of that soon enough. And we'll talk all about it. We'll be like, oh, look at the bit with the thing. Ooh, ooh. So, everything. No, I haven't actually on. sat through the Matrix, so I can't really discuss it. That's like I your know opinion. generally what it's about. Yeah, it is. Well, um, they are interesting movies, for sure. And they do deserve discussions. But not quite today. Soon enough. Uh, Saw Antlers, it was a pretty good monster movie. Funnily enough, they share a plot point with Tross and pull it off better. Lol, happy Halloween-disms to all. Hey. Antlers, I've heard of that movie, but I don't know much about uh, it. Guillermo del Toro. Making a spooky monster, I think, but... Oh my um, I was on a different stream where someone else talked about it. I can't remember if... It's f I think some, uh, from what I've seen, people are liking it. Nothing hugely passionate, but that's, you know, it's fine. I'm still interested in seeing it. Uh, where do I sign to join the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? I know this movie gets ragged on, but it's still a favorite. Aw. Hey, you know what? You can pick anything for your favorite, and that's okay. Ragged on. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I get amused by it, so. Uh, when your schnitzel isn't gluten-free. Gluten-dorf enough. Oh. Uh. Top notch. <laughs> uh, can you guys eventually cover Man From U.N.C.L.E.? I recently rewatched it and it seemed really... It seemed to really stand up as a fun, goofy spy movie. Uh, um, I'm not opposed to it. So is that the new one they're talking about? With, uh, Henry Cavill? Yeah, is that the one? Uh, I've, I've not seen it, so I don't even know. I don't know. If that's what's yeah, being referred to. I've only to. heard of it, but I know nothing about it. But yes, perhaps. Uh, yesterday I finished a complete 11 hour playthrough of Soma on my YouTube channel. Thought provoking rat. Long man. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Hopefully you had fun, slash, we're engaged. 
kind of wish the Dr. Sen would, would have been 11 to 12 hours long. <laughs> uh, Nostalgia Critic doesn't tighten up his tie because his undershirt isn't a collared shirt and doesn't have proper collars to tuck the tie under. It's a mess. Oof. <laughs> Look, Nostalgia Critic's got enough problems without you ripping into his wardrobe, okay? <laughs> Poor guy, let's see if he can just get the joke writing done first, then we'll talk about the other things. Mm. Uh, Chris Stuckman was in Nost Critic's TFA review. Oh! So that would have been, what, 2000... the end of 2015. I wonder if they're, uh... I wonder if Chris Stuckman feels he's evolved past Chris, uh, Chris tri Critic. Bleh. You'll get there eventually. Chris Trickett. Chris Trickett. I just get five coins. Eh, could be worse. Happy Halloween, you massives! I'd like to suggest Jaws 4 for EFAP movies. As well, I believe Nostalgia Critic's best stuff are his Christmas reviews. Also, hi, Rags. Also, also, hi, Mola. Hello. Hello. I feel like we do the Jaws series at some point. We're planning on doing lots of series. And I hear Jaws 4 is definitely the best one. Yeah, we still got... There's there's like four Dragon Hearts, five Scorpion Kings. Mm -hmm. Three mummies. Three mummies? There's got to be a joke there. Nostalgia critic in a nutshell. Yeah, he, well, so the problem with him is that when he hasn't found the joke, he'll just be like, well, i got to say something. And it's like, no, no, you don't have to. You don't have a job, you don't have to. how much he skips over. He skips over huge swaths of a movie, and then will reference something that he doesn't have a joke for, which is odd. Yeah. I won't play Soma if it doesn't have Fear Flashes. Well, I guess we won't play it Shitty then. Shitty game doesn't have Fear Flashes. <laughs> the Starter Critic explains the punchline of the joke before trying to deliver the joke. That could be another way to format the problem with his jokes, yeah. Well, Norm MacDonald does that really well. Sometimes he'll he will add the explanation of a joke to the joke and it will be just really funny. He's Norm MacDonald. Huh? That's probably why. Oh yeah, he's a talent yeah, Norm MacDonald is an is a is an extremely talented comedian who's very clever and funny, so I reckon that's part of like what's key. And you know, Nostalgia yeah. Critic will get there one day, maybe. Being talented. Mm. One day. Finish. Ryan Reynolds is a better actor than Ryan Gosling. Oh my god. Um. Hmm. That's a tough one. You know, if, if if I like them both, but if I were told to rely on one of them for the best performance, I'd probably go with Gosling myself. I'm not sure though. I'd probably go with Gosling. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, sat, I had to think about that one for a while. <laughs> I do like Ryan Reynolds, and I do wonder if it's the fact that he gets cast as a goofy comedy person too much that Everything, makes me yeah. think he can't pull off more drama roles, which it may not be true. Um, Remember the Change the Time Zone CEDT dudes? Oh yeah, mine uh, would have switched by now. Ooh, well. Yes. No, wait. Oh, okay. Tomorrow it switches. No, it is tomorrow. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday to Monday it should change, I think. Alrighty then. Oh. Uh, do the Resident Evil zombies have brain dead seconds? Probably. <laughs> a brain dead second? Alan Quatermain was a series of 12 novels, two movies, previous movies. Uh, Indiana Jones before Indiana Jones, only more badass. Oh my. Wow. Alright, Alan. I hope he's not a Mary Sue. Yeah. I'm only at episode 37, so much content. You'll get there eventually. It's an easy road, you just sort of slide right down the EFAP tubes, you know? And they just suck you right into the next thing. <laughs> Sean Connery is right about women. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Nor. Nor. Rags, you in a for a vamp. You in for a vampir lady and doggo rumpy pumpy three way? Uh, depends on the other two people involved. Apparently there's a vampire lady involved, but I. Did you like I don't Lady Dimitrescu? Is vampire supposed to be like cold or. You can something? heat them up, right? 
No, I think he's level right, room. but maybe. Yeah, if he, if yeah, if they just sat around in a hot room or a greenhouse, maybe. Well, no, not a greenhouse because the sunlight. Um, just a Corner, warm maybe? room, I guess, by a, like a fire on the inside of a castle. They just toast it up. If she just heated up dinner for me, maybe I don't know. Put her in the oven. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, they don't like, like fire. What's her like? She's, my, my, oh, ahead, she's a safe distance from the fireplace. Enough to get warmed up, but not enough to get burnt. Mm. Asana? Yeah, Asana would work really well. Asana? <laughs> Asana? Um. As I just checked my, my time changing tonight. So in about two hours, it goes back one hour. Neat. Yeah. Women get slapped, men get punched. Equality? You can slap <laughs> men if you want to. Go right ahead. You should. Pu you can punch women if you want to. <laughs> That's the angle I'm going with that. I thought you were going to end it with going right ahead like I did, but you didn't. No, I, I did you, but I had to hear. Yeah. League of the Extraordinary... The kind of the um, middle ground between the punch and the slap. So maybe you just do that to everyone. Or just, like, spit on them. Maybe. Some of them like it. League of Extraordinary Halloween Costumes. I know. Think of what's gonna happen next year when the next rollout. We got one more day of Halloween wang wing winning. Yeah. Halloween oh, wang. wang. What did he say uh, about? I can see his. What did, what did he say? Danky wanky or something? Dingy. Dingy. Known as dingy. Dingy dingy. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> so hey, more gang. Dingy. Just wanted Hello. to say thanks for all the great extra content this month. No problemo, but do not expect yeah, it to man. be the norm. That's <laughs> not yep, gonna be the norm. Though, uh, I look forward to next year's Halloween movie arc as well, and I say that as if it's, it's over for this year. It's not. You've still got one more Resident Evil. Oh, That's boy. Right. And tomorrow, right, we have... Well, not tomorrow. Next year, I can. That only works on one day. That you can mix those up. <laughs> but next year, we have the next one planned. But we haven't planned the next one to watch for the year after that. So good. Oh, so many things. Never How ends. exciting! How exciting! Thrilling Boring. Borrowing from the cinematic Venom book of misunderstanding what characters say in a movie, I choose not to like. Yeah, it was. He concluded that Sawyer was actually Quartermain's son. He's just like, that's just what it was. Poor guy. Yeah, I. Yeah, that's. Mm. Nostalgia Critic is made for deaf people. <laughs> Wait, so the visuals are great? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I feel like I'd be even more distressed if I couldn't hear what he was saying because I would just see this very deranged man moving mm -hmm. around. And then well, you wouldn't know he was deranged if you couldn't hear him. I don't know if that's true, is it? I don't know. I've had these screen caps I've been documenting mm. tell a different story. You would assume he's saying things way smarter than he really is. Like, ah, oh, yes, that was a great review, I think. <laughs> Everybody sing Alan Quartermain had many sons. Many sons had Alan Quartermain. I am one of them, and so are you. Many sons had Alan Quartermain. I am one of them, and so are you. Was that a song? No, I. Well, it could be. I don't think so, but maybe it is. Never uh, heard of it, so I wouldn't know how to sing it, you know? Rags, if I intentionally lose at a game of cornhole, is it still considered throwing? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you intentionally lose, that's it. Yeah. Idiot. Cornhole. Apparently there's an American Cornhole Association. <laughs> I'm glad. I said no blowhole association. Please. By the way, you guys, a cornhole is when you have, it's like the lawn game where you have the two boards with a hole and you chuck the bean, or the, 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 what they call the bean bag sacks, the, the bean sacks, what are they called, the hacky sack things out of, uh, into the hole. I am unfamiliar with that game. Yeah, may here, uh, you, maybe I'm just uh, explaining it poorly, but that this is this is cornhole. These are cornhole boards. You ever play I, those at like when you're a kid, like at fairs and do-it-yourself games, I lawn games? Boring, yeah. uh, it's unlocking some small memories, I think. 
think I've played Maybe it. Maybe if I saw it. Um. Also, EFAP movies Tremors 1 through 4 when? I, I'm on board with that. Uh, we'll have to figure out a time. But uh, Tremors is a fucking classic. I don't even know what the state of the rest of them are. I think I've only seen the first one. Finish. Maybe? I don't know. I didn't even know there were more, but it doesn't surprise me at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, In the SG... Squid Game. In the, in the Squid Game, you forgot to mention that the one-year time skip doesn't make sense if Protag didn't withdraw any money. He still had his debt with the Mafia. Um, I got the impression, which I don't think this is much of an answer, actually, but that he became, like, a drifter to the point of not having any, like, I guess, uh, way to find him? But I guess he must have, right? Because the bank found him. Yeah. I assume that he paid the debts, but that was, like, it, right? Because he, he, I guess? Well, yeah, I think I the know. banker Maybe says you haven't taken too. anything out of the account since the day it came in, so... Ah, so yeah, that might be an issue. Yeah, it might be. Um, no, they mentioned withdrawn very little money. But he owed more than very little. Yeah, I don't think it was little amount he owed. And... Yeah, I'd have to watch it again. I can't remember if there was more dialogue than that. Mm. Wasn't the Mafia connected to the Squid Game? I don't think so. At least I... I I don't, I don't think there was anything to necessarily say that. I know that the, the Train to Busan man mentioned that you'd signed away his uh, physical rights or whatever, but I assume that's just because Squid Game people monitor everything. Rather than they work for the, the loan sharks and stuff. Um, I recommend for Halloween is Nicholas Winding Refn's The Neon Demon. Beautiful cinematography, so vivid, Hitchcock-like mood, and most messed up ending I've seen in the last few years. I've heard of that, but I've never seen it. I would be interested to see. Yeah, I, w I would like to see the Neon Demon. There you go, we'll write it on our watch to watch that. thing. Yeah, we could watch we'll that later. We'll do it sometimes. Every frame is done being paused. The EFAP is over. If you switch to Super Chads after four hours, then it was only a four-hour EFAP. Short man bad. Therefore, I am profund. Hi, Rags. Hello. Four-hour EFAP is not short. I'm going to kill this in the cradle. That's what they no. say, right? Sure. Yeah. Cool. I'll do it now. That's that's what it is now. No more Lareffens. Movies of pretentious garbage. That's fine. There's a bit of pretentious garbage in everything, right? Okay. Your face. Oh. We have plushies every time you cover Nostalgia Critic. Hmm. I think we have a coverage rate of him about two per year now, I think. So sorry about that. Off topic, did anyone come from Southpaw saying Civil War was bad? Also, I recently rewatched. That doesn't. That's not a question, it just says, did anything. Oh, did anything come from Southpaw saying. <laughs> Civil War was bad. I don't. What I don't know what would come from that. <laughs> it's just like Civil War good. In fact, Civil War very close to great. I, I don't know. We, we've considered calling it great, right? I yeah. I, I would call Civil War great. There's too much good in there. Pretty great, yeah. Also, I recently watched Stargate and thought it was all right. Have any of you seen it? I have not. I've watched. I have not. Stargate, Stargate the first movie. The uh, I don't know if that's what we're referring to, but it might be. Oh. The one with, uh, Bruce, uh, God, not Bruce Willis, um, uh, Mel Gib, no, Mel Gibson, mm. fuck, uh, oh, what's his name? I Bruce Gibson. No clue. Ah, oh, just a second. Uh, Kurt Russell? Kurt Russell, that's it, yeah, the one with Kurt Russell. Oh. Yeah. Wait, I, um. James Spader as well, that'd be cool. He played Daniel, yeah. Neat. I mean, yeah, if you've never seen it, uh, I think I would like to rewatch it because I watched it here and there when I was a kid uh, on VHS, and I and I kind of like really liked it as an action movie. I'm curious if it's really holds up or not. I'm, I'm I would like to see it again. I watched the uh, the show a whole bunch of friendos. Some... I've heard the show's good. I remember there's some really funny stuff in there as well. They have like some a couple of goof episodes, uh, like anniversary ep episodes. They're mm. really funny. Uh, 
Yeah, I really like that. I wonder if, how much, how good, it, how, how well it holds up these days. But I, I really loved it. Good shit. I watched Sweet. a few episodes of Atlantis back in the day. That's about my experience with Stargate. Mm. Um, ravens are like crows and remember Forest Speyer. Forest Speyer from Bravo Team had a grenade launcher and it was, and was Star's sniper. Clearly, don't mess with blackbirds. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean, squirrels shouldn't be, you know, ignored. I still think they've got... They, they, I'm pretty sure they can make projectile weapons from their, um... Well, er everything they pick up, right? And you got Conker's Bad Fur Day. That kind of... That, that adds to it, right? You guys used to play with Conker's. Sorry? Play with Conker's? Yeah, you'd like... I can't remember if you drill a hole or if you just wrap a piece of string around them and then... You try and find the best conkers and you sl like slam them against other people's conkers and the first one to break loses. I got no clue. Chat, am I alone here? It's okay if I am. Just play conkers on my own. Conkers are like, uh, wait, is that an alien, Tim? Or is, does that make sense? Like a conker? I, I don't know what that is, yeah. Hmm. I thought you were just memeing right now with all the conquer you just said. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Not actually a meme, but it could be more conquer tree. That's probably what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that's what they're called. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are conquers, and they split apart yeah, really well, so they make for fun when you slam them together and stuff. They they, they use those for. Oh, you saw the Wikipedia picture as well. <laughs> I'm on Google Images, but yeah. Well, that's the first one that comes up. It's on the Wikipedia. They got page, spooky so. shells, but they open up into yeah. things, and then those open up into things. Uh, for a while, you could collect these here in Germany and bring them to Haribo facilities and get Haribo for it because they use it to make different Haribo stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. It looked like nature's babushka doll. Yes. What are those again? Conkers. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I don't know. I'll have to do some more research on that one. Uh, great listening while working outside, but I seem to have developed a headache. I'm not sure if it's from fresh air or listening to idiots here to Stalder Critic. I, I, I doubt fresh air is going to do it I, for you. Yeah, I don't think we'll be blaming the fresh air on that one. If I get headaches, I go around and I walk outside. I just take really casual slow you know easy walks around outside and it tends to help a decent amount uh which cut of lord of the rings should be watched first extended, extended just yeah always. don't need always the theatrical watch always watch extended forget the theatrical ones exist do you know ranks yeah. that they're releasing <laughs> or at least they've promised to release a lord of the rings edition that's gonna have like fucking 40 minutes of new footage or whatever oh my god Really? Oh, from yeah. where? Mike, uh, Peter Jackson. Stuff, gonna just... touch up? I don't. Um, I don't know more specifics about it, but apparently that's going to be happening relatively soon now, or it should be happening wow. from when he promised it. So that'll be fucking really interesting to see. <laughs> Color me excited. Like the sacking of the Shire or something. I like presume that? we're going to see what looked to be when Sauron and Aragorn fought at the Black Gate. I'm assuming we'll be able to see what that would have looked like. Yeah, I, I would imagine it would be just stuff that they shot but never like finalized like mm. things that weren't deleted scenes like the stage underneath that yeah um yeah tom bombadil as well interested. probably pop up so oh, yeah wow. it'd be uh be neat to see what's going on more stuff now uh, where would i find this cut to purchase slash purchase slash rent if it's not the standard one um can you stream Lord of the Rings on services now? I don't even know where it would be. I do know. Somewhere, but I have no idea. Yeah. Well, uh, you should be able to pick them up in, term, in the form of uh, like a Blu-ray or whatever. Or DVD, I don't know. Whatever you prefer. I'm sure they're available because it's Lord of the Rings. Well, uh, I'm just checking my Amazon Prime video and they seem to be on there. Or at least you can rent them there if you just want to watch them and buy them. Amazon Prime video? Well, yeah, there you go. And I imagine... I guess you have to Google to check what what editions are there and whether or not you can choose different ones. I don't so know. This, this is the German Amazon, so Prime Video can get them for uh, 12, 12 euro. 
digitally, extended edition. One of them. It's pretty pricey, Jesus. Well, there you go. Wait, there's Thanks a trilogy for 20 bucks. Extended edition. That might be worth it. I would it. say it's worth it. Max is black mold in his home. A fresh air fixes headaches. He gets at home. Well, most of the the vast majority of headaches I do get at home, but that's because I spend a lot of time at home, uh, and a lot of it probably has to do with me staring at screens for a large portion of uh, that portions of my life. Could be tied to it. Yeah, which is generally it's either that or the fresh air, right? Well, it's it. Sometimes I'll get them if I like sleep in a weird way, and my head's mm -hmm. in this weird. Sometimes yeah, that that'll happen, but. If I'm, it, it's, I think it's a combination of getting outside and moving air. Um, I've got a fan, but that's different, you know. And always um, drink plenty of water in case it's a dehydration thing. Yes, and I drink crap loads of water. Water's uh, really cool. I don't generally, I high -five water's it. great. Um, no, I think it's just a combination of mo walking around a bit, kind of getting the muscles moving around a bit. Mm -hmm. the, the open air. Um, not staring at anything particularly bright, like when outside's bright. Yeah, but it's 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 all kind of brightish. It's not like you have darkness and then a bright screen that you're looking at. So it's that part of it. But it does help just getting around, moving a bit. Um, and they follow the same for Lord of the Rings. I mean, which is my f the first time, which is superior. Again, first time, just just go with extended. There is nothing about theatrical that is superior to extended, from what I understand. Mm-hmm. Not that theatrical isn't like if you couldn't if you could only see theatrical in your entire life I'd still see that over not not seeing Lord of the Rings. Of course. Um, hi everybody. Your thoughts on Freaked? What is what's is that a Freaked? is that an old TV show? I, I, uh, I don't know. Freaked. Hmm. Filmed. I'm afraid I'm not sure. Oh, Rags, what's the worst gun you've ever fired? My P64 Radom is the most uncomfortable gun to shoot because that's a tiny little macro. Uh. You know, it is what it is. But, okay. Yeah, little there's this little one. What um? Did you say it was a film, Mel? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at Wikipedia right now. 1993 American comedy film, directed by Tom Stern and Alex Winter, both whom wrote the screenplay for That's... Tim Burns. The only reason I know anything about that is because of Red Letter Media when they were covering um, uh, Bill oh. and Ted's. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds familiar. Fucking, I forget the name of the new one, but yeah, they were saying that um, Alex Winters went off and made Freaked. As I've not seen it, but I know of its existence, yeah. They have a review of Freaked from a year ago. Oh. Jay and Josh. I've probably seen that then. There's a good chance. The review, but, I mean. Oh, according to the Reddit bar, I've watched half of it. <laughs> ah. Uh, watch the OG 2D animated Buzz Lightyear movie. And you guys seen that? I have not. Oh yeah, I was, I was talking about that earlier. Yeah, that's why oh, I that's think Lightyear is a bit redundant. I have not yeah. seen that. Um, Kill or Be Killed by Spite is Fringy's Mortal Kombat music. Tis lore. Alright. Wait, what? I don't know. Kill or Be Killed by Spite is Fringy's Mortal Kombat music. Oh. I guess that means that music okay. plays when you enter the stage? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Sense. Also, you should go to the Night and Day Fest in Ballarat. Parkway Drive for the win. Uh, perhaps one day. Who knows? Uh, Rags, did you ever read the Halo book Ghost of Onyx? And if so, what did you think of it? Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Uh, no, I only read the first three that came out. I didn't read any uh, other ones after that. I've heard that one's good. Mm. So, I'm, I can't remember the... Uh, let me... Uh, Ghost of Onyx... Eric Nyland? Oh yeah, he wrote. Um, he wrote. Well, let me the, make uh, sure. He, I think he wrote three. the trilogy, uh, but let me double check. Yeah, yeah he, he read. He read Halo: The Fall of Reach and First Strike, which were pretty good. I'm not sure if he wrote The Flood, which is my personal favorite of the three, but they're all good. Um, let me just a second. Halo: The Flood book. William C. Dietz wrote um, D I E T Z Dietz, uh, maybe. But he wrote The Flood, and I really like that one quite a bit. Mm hmm. Uh, play, us, pl bleh, play DS3, you dumbo. Also, I've I've played DS3. Sekiro <laughs> is usually what they say to play, but. Well, Sekiro, yeah. rather. Uh, also, Halongo Frongo. Also, High Rags. 
Hello. Oh, it says Hyragus. I don't want to mispronounce that. Ah. Um, I'm sorry to say that Hytop's new video on Shang oh Hytop's video on Shang Chi has a sponsorship from Blink Tats. Blink I mean Blinkist. I would imagine that's what they're uh, doing. Blink Tats. Ooh. Ooh. Blink tits, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, blink tits. You should review L O. It's on YouTube. What is L O? Oh, L. Yeah, L O. I. I... I feel like we're gonna need more than two letters to identify a piece of content. <laughs> Let me check. Even though I got oh. SQ, I was like, Squid Game, it's just like, some of these are tough. If you have the characters to spare... I think they did. They must yeah, have. Yeah, please don't leave us guessing, you know? I'm not sure about that one. Hello, Massives. Hi, Rags. Uh, hello. Hello! I know Mola hasn't played Metroid Dread, and I'm unsure if Rags has, but I was wondering if there's a chance EFAP would cover David Jaffe's criticisms of Metroid Dread. I think kind of did. We, we did it in a private call, though, didn't we? Or did, was, oh, <laughs> or I can't that... remember. Those <laughs> go on as long as EFAPs. I was so going to say, I'm sorry, chat, things. but there are some private EFAPs, I'm afraid. Whoa. Whoa. We're halfway. Oh, well, we're more than halfway there. Don't worry about that. We, yeah, we, we, we're almost actually at the end now. But I just like that song. Um, but I mean, if if he continues saying stuff like that, or he makes like a full video, we could probably we we could uh, just look at it on an EFAP at some point. Um, if someone can link me like a something efficient instead of like a stream or whatever. Uh, more. If we ever have to stand together against the horde, I promise that I won't randomly attack you and you me at the same time. Steak greater than truck. Yeah, I don't want to spoil that. Um, Rags, if you end up watching me and Metal play through that fucking game, I'm just I'm just gonna say that I would mention something right now, but I won't because it it happens soon. In it's in the opening half an hour, and I wouldn't want to spoil end. it. Fair enough. It's yeah, I I gotta check it out. I, I just haven't yet. <clears throat> probably end up um, being able to do that tomorrow. If uh, yeah, I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow. Like I said I just would I wouldn't want to spoil such a great moment. Um, on the last episode of Midnight Mass, and holy shit, it's awful. Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah. But Believe me, man, um, it'll come out in, you know, ten years from now or whatever, but, uh, when we finished watching it, we were all just fucking sad. Mm -hmm. What a great show. Ruined by, like, a horrible ending. Yeah, that ending sucked. <laughs> Uh, I remember really liking the channel awesome specials back when I was a kid. I feel like I would still like some of them unironically. I think it would become ironic enjoyment because the you would just be like, "Oh my god, they did this." Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, wasn't but one maybe, of those maybe. called? Wasn't one of them called Kick Assia or some shit? That was yes. the second one, yeah. <laughs> Kick Assia. Uh, hi, Rags. Hello! Is Fringy's goo wet? Also high rags. Don bless. Is Fringy's goo wet? I assume all goo is wet. I guess Fringy could con maybe confirm if for us. Yeah, maybe if it's very, very thick goo. Uh, maybe not, but I it, it, it strikes me as a wet kind of goo in my head. Like how I'm imagining it. Fringy gonna confirm or deny? What's happening here? I d I'm not- I don't need to answer these questions. Well, you could just deny it then, right? Don't leave him hanging. Yeah, what? Hmm. You're right, you made him angry, Super Chatter. Sorry about that. You know, there's nothing I can do. He's very furious just, now. I'm not that- I'm not mad. Just, that feels like protection. Oh my god, he's- I've had to turn him so far down. He's on 1%. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's shouting so loud, Jesus. You're so unwilling to just accept that there are some- Ah, gee, ow, my ear. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Are you sure you can the fine, or... Oh do my you, god. Do I'll just mute him, it's fine. Alright. Moving <laughs> <laughs> so, on. Oh, look at this next one. Friggy is very defensive about his goo. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I have the right to. The Froggle Oh yeah, you have the right to be defensive much. about whatever you want, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's philosopher, socialist king, Andrew Ryan. His socialist teachings have really inspired EFAP uh, yeah. as a whole, I'd say. Yeah, uh, yeah the Frogal doth protest too much, methinks. 
Also, high rags. Hello! More peace offering scratches for the good boy. Oh, thank you. Did you see that esports coke ad? Talk about cringe. <laughs> esports yeah. cringe? You're talking about what? the one where. The the, put down their weapons. Yeah. And that. It's like an esports game, I and um, they just decide to stop fighting. So. You see, Coke through esports has solved. You should, as you should say the, the in game characters decide to stop fighting. Yes. Right, the it, right actually. Let me. Where, <laughs> it's even more. Because you remember the one with. Um, what's her name? Uh, the Kylie Jenner with the, with the Pepsi? Remember that one? This is like that, but now it's, it's not even real people anymore. It's in game characters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they just throw the whole tournament. It's just like, no, we're not fighting anymore. <laughs> Some. Um, so bad. You feel nothing but bad. It's just unfortunate. Watching it again, it's like... <laughs> I yeah, saw a poster get... for it when I was walking around in the real world, and I was like, no, you stay really? on the internet, cringe. <laughs> you get away from me. <laughs> so cringe. Walks in the human and is like, let's stop fighting. And you've got all these streamers like, what is going on? Yeah. And people are like, oh it's my written God, by extra credits. Stop fighting. <laughs> extra <laughs> credits. What, what are you reacting to? This is unbelievable. They're not fighting anymore. And they're all crying because they're so inspired. Well, I am, uh, I'm going to have to head out. I do. I, I delayed a bit, but uh, I do need to head on out. Uh, but uh, I will I will be back later on if you guys are still going. If not, that's all right. We got eight of them. Should we just save them for next time? If there's only eight, do them. Uh, 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 what if they regard you? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I mean, like, like do them. Like, if there's only eight, then let's do them. Very well. Here we go. Uh, peace offerings, cringe coke. Do you like Huey Lewis and the news? Yes, yes. With all yeah. my heart and soul. I have not heard enough of them to say. I hate when films end with "It was all a dream," except Wizard of, with Wizard of Oz, <laughs> which we're all okay with for some reason. But was it a dream? Was it a oh dream? Oh my goodness gracious! A return to Oz confirms that it was not a dream, unless that was a dream too. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Remember Scarecrow in that film? <laughs> we're, we're watching that film for you, fat movie. It's gonna happen. First time super chat, long time fan. Was curious what the required criteria is for someone who wants to be a guest for EFAP as an episode. Oh, um, nothing that'll be on paper. Yeah, nothing, nothing that's figure out a bubbly. But um, thank you so much, and I'm glad, I'm glad you're having fun. Also, any opinions on Ghosts of Onyx Halo novel? Uh, Owen High oh. Rags. Hello to you, but I have not read it. And I don't. I'm guessing Fringy hasn't as well. I don't think I've read that one either. I'm afraid no opinions to share. Uh, reading a book called The Righteous Mind: Why Good People Are Divided by Politics and Religion. Worth checking out and really eye-opening. I feel like that's something it. Adam's talked about before. Something or like that, I might yeah. be making that up, I don't know. But, yeah, neat. Uh, here's some spooky coin to celebrate the best holiday. Also, what was y'all's scary, ex scariest experience media counts? Yeah, you guys answer this one. I, I gotta do something real quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> scariest. <laughs> um... um. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like things that scared me the most in my life. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I got, oh, yeah. I'll just go for the media ones. I've explained some of them before, but it's the uh, the the ring, the American Ring remake. It was specifically when the the climax for the guy. I say the the end of the film. What happens to the guy? When I saw that as a kid, my imagination went wild. It was a bit spooky. Um, then. Um, I was, really, I was freaked out by a couple of things, but I don't know. Any of you guys got anything? I just remember as a kid, I was ter terrified of the zombies in Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. When you become adult Link, I remember as a kid, I was terrified. But that's it, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Darkness Fall scared you as a kid, Lock Man. Darkness Fall is fucking terrifying for a child, are you kidding me? Uh, she floats around while breathing heavily, and she tears your parents into shreds. I don't know. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the most friendliest person. At least she's afraid of the light. That's the plus. War of the Worlds messing up. What scared you as a young frog, Fringold? Um, hmm. 
I, it's funny, because I know that they, there are things that definitely did, but I'm blanking at the moment. Um. <clears throat> damn, I'm, uh, I'm not sure at the moment. I know that they exist, though. Well, perhaps we shall get more on that some other day. Um, Fringy, do you like Australian metal? <laughs> like, Australian metal music or metals out of the earth? Or metal when he goes to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm assuming they're talking about the music genre, I don't know. Well, then I'm not familiar with it at all. Darn. Rags is now EFAP's Buddha, and instead of rubbing the belly, we rub the belly and say hi, Rags. Hello, Rags. <laughs> you know, he probably took a call or something, but that's actually the last super chat, except for this one. I quite like this. <laughs> Jim Sterling S tradition of watching a Halloween film that isn't good than watching Nostalgia Critic do a bad job of mocking it. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Who knows what we'll do next year? It could be hey, um, anything. Hello. Uh, just to answer that question, I had to leave on for a moment. Um, scariest media experience, was it? Ye well, it didn't have to be media, but go. you could do that if you wanted. Uh, yeah, I, I guess Odd as it sounds, uh, it was the first paranormal activity. Uh, that it's came out a long time do. ago. I was in like um, high school or something at the time. I actually I can't remember. Fuck. No, I wasn't. It was after that. Anyway, I I didn't watch a lot of horror stuff, and I got a copy of one of the endings. Uh, anyway, I, it scared the shit out of me for whatever reason. It just really the, the first one I thought was like really really scary. The the other ones were shit. But the I, first I, one was I, actually really scary. I couldn't care. I was um, old enough at that point though that things really went able to get to me that much but i still remember i was like that was actually quite scary i have been scared yeah for me it definitely was i i still don't really watch horror stuff i just don't so and yet you uh, watch Van especially Helsing. at the time yeah and yet um <laughs> but uh but yeah that first one really scared me i was terrified i lost a lot of sleep over it makes sense like i said i, I think i told you before but i showed a friend it and they hated me for it for a while and i was like oh <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't fucking sleep, you asshole. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> have an ice cream, you'll be fine. Um, Teehee chat is free. Why? The, this side of things doesn't make those show up. Why are you saying Teehee chat is free? What, what happened? <laughs> are there no more mods? Is that what's happening? Uh, membership. Uh, there's free membership chats. I think I started something. Oh, I mean... Welcome to whatever. <laughs> like, it's totally fine. Uh, EFAP to Hassan's chat. Abandon your posts. Flee. Flee for your lives. <laughs> Very true. And on that note, uh, we'll, we will end there. I know it's not the longest of EFAPs, but five and a half hours, guys. Right. And you got a bonus Worked. one. Mm. On Wednesday. Um, but we'll be back on a Wednesday, more than likely, to do a catch-up. More than likely, yeah. doing some more Batwoman watchings as well. We, we gotta stay up to date with season 3 and you'll get them eventually everybody tomorrow you get the last of the Resident Evil arc and you get me, Fringy and Rags playing the new Alien game it's gonna be wonderful to say goodbye to the wonderful month of Spooktober as our avatars and format goes back to normalcy oh, very exciting come it's kum, it's an umlaut a kum a kum um is there anything anyone would like to say before we end this wonderful night of spooks? Yeah. No, yeah, honestly, um, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> take off. I'll catch y'all later. I gotta, I gotta scoot and do some Halloween stuff. Very well. Oh, apparently, right. has a Keep meme. Keep an eye out on. Everyone has the a meme. Oh my goodness. Our channel Epic for a man. little spooky Wayne surprise today, <gasps> or alternatively, very light. <laughs> <laughs> You'll you'll find out in the coming hours. Ooh. A little spooky ween special. Um, but yes, links to everyone's channels are in the description, as you probably are very familiar with the cast that you see right now. And um, oh, the last one was pa Padoru Padoru. All right. Padoru Padoru. Padoru. Um, yeah, that's where the, where the Avatar movies take place. Yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. It's been fantabulous. Hope you enjoyed your homework of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and then looking at Nostalgia Critic poorly attempt to talk about it. I thought it was a, a wonderful time. 
This will go up on the 31st on Moolah, so it'll just be like right on time. And then you'll see a whole bunch of other things on that channel too. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining Next us. Time. Thank you so much for the donations. And we shall see you probably tomorrow. Or well, today, yeah. I guess, for goodbye, me. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, boy. Yeah. Bye, bye. Bye. Wait. bye. Yeah. Waves goodbye. Bringy, when you do it, you always sound like you're dying. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs>